That is. Sorry, one second. We're also just getting everyone ready. Uh, our wonderful TO, Adam Sky, is getting up front to make sure everyone else knows these announcements. But I just have to tell you guys, uh, we will not be having FFF on November 11th, unfortunately. unfortunately. But we will be back the following week on November 18th. I just need to make sure everyone in stream knows that. No FFF the 11th. We're back as always on the 18th. Yeah, and, and uh, instead of that, you know, you can always, on the 11th, just go, you know, find your way to, to DC Esports and, and watch a, a tournament from a previous week and pretend that you're there. Yeah, exactly. The same experience. Uh, and, again, our uh, TO Adam is just giving people this announcement and a few more pertaining to the tournament uh, while we get ready to set up for Winners Run 1. Yeah, and we can see in the back here just, you know, some, some fans, uh, you know, of the... That's not, this is Toby here in the pink shirt. He actually just took me to Target a little while ago, today. Nice. Like, it's like place. an hour ago. And For so, sure. uh, sorry, Burp. Uh, so that was fun. Yeah, very legit. Target is uh, a yeah. place to go. I, I like to think it's like a bougier Walmart, you know what I'm saying? See, Or so it's like, it's Walmart that thinks it's higher class, but it's not really. I mean, like... Like, my mom would always be like, you know, like, Target's so much better. Um, yeah. Not, I guess, exactly that. But I always liked Walmart because Walmart would sell Nintendo games for $10 cheaper. $10 cheaper, yeah. And, like, uh, that's amazing. It is uh, wonderful. And that's about the only thing I spent my money on, so. Yeah. Especially as a kid, yeah. What else is there? Same here. Uh, yeah. Especially because uh, Nintendo games, like, never drop price. Oh. I, I was oh. talking to someone the other day. Uh, now, piracy, don't do it. It's illegal, guys. But I was talking to someone the other day about how, like, Nintendo games go for, like, hundreds of, doll hundreds of dollars. Old Nintendo games. Right. Like, um, Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance, and Radiant Dawn. Both famously expensive. Every, like, classic Pokemon game, like Pokemon Platinum especially, very expensive. And it's like, they just never drop price. No. You'd expect so them to get cheaper. And, the, and then they don't put them on any modern console, like the Switch. <laughs> So, because they just don't have a virtual console anymore. Yeah, maybe um, maybe one day I'll sell my copy of Shrek Super Slam for millions. It's true. Yeah. The example I used at first was um, Super Mario 3, but Super Mario 3 is on the Switch because of the NES thing. Oh, yeah. the SNES thing. Yeah. Um, that, was, that was super cool. I like that game. Mario 3 is really fun. It's a very fun game. I think um, that's, like, one of the first Mario games I played and, like, beat. Yeah. Solid. Like two players too. Yeah, it's one of my, it's one of my, it's one of my favorites. For sure. Always, always just get the whistle, go straight to the, straight to the end, and then inevitably die because I inevitably was not die. the best. I wasn't good. You were not game. prepared. I, I'd get there and I'd be like, so, Damn. If you, so if you were a speedrunner, you would be doing great. But true, true, but not, uh, but alas. I wonder if any people speedrun to like death state, like the first time you can die in the game. <laughs> That'd be funny. You know what I mean? Because that like counts as an end state. So yeah, just, that's just die. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you would get to like a pretty consistent like timing yeah because i was thinking like because mario one is easy you just have to run into one one goomba <laughs> and oh we got our melee to uh zach aka mainframe telling people to get ready for that bracket because we got a bunch of side brackets as usual um we got melee we got pokemon tournament i think brawl and smash 4 are unfortunately not here this week but again melee is the main one to look out for for sure very really exciting very uh gcu melee az melee is cool that's awesome it's awesome for our state to like have another uh event for such a classic game for sure. um, so many fun things here yeah. never and and uh yeah i was just saying like because i think imagine like a breath of the wild speed run if the if the first death state counts yeah. as like the end goal people would find some crazy things yeah because like your i your ideal scenario is probably just to find the first place you can die from uh fall damage yeah. i guess that'd probably be a lot of games i mean i know um, you go out on like a hill so you could probably fall off that but i don't know if it would kill you there's that, that boulder that's what i was thinking is that like yeah the the first like area like plate well, you step you start on you can't like if you jump off it you won't die it's not high enough for you to die so like huh. i mean yeah maybe the boulder there's like a boulder right outside the you just game. push it a little bit and let it fall on you yeah die die be interesting maybe it is something because you never really know you know you know yeah. the speed run that's like the slowest to beat a game i've actually never seen that what is that people will speed run how slow they can beat a game yeah, like, I mean, it's more of like how long can you be in a game and like before it, yeah before it's like oh. yeah. and and it's like you have to like play straight like you can yeah, you can't just like stand still. Yeah, so you have to be like playing the game. People get that, that would actually be a very interesting one for Mario as well, just because or like Sonic as well, just because like their games with like 
the timer. level, the, yeah, the level you're on already has a timer. So the goal is to just time out by getting to your goal. It's very much like Smash Brothers in that sense. <laughs> True. I mean, you could also just find some infinite life glitch and then just like be good. Yeah, we were actually talking right before stream started that um we just noticed last week's got a thousand views. Yeah, and I think it might be because one of the clips got posted on Twitter, and that blew up. And then people were like, "Can I see the full thing?" And so the Zach, the player who the clip was of, he said, "Starts at the timestamp and then ends much later because it was a 45-minute long set." Yeah, <laughs> and it was like, yeah. so, you know, if you ever wanted to watch a short film but didn't have yeah. time to watch an actual movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah. If you've never seen a short film before, watch EO4 versus the Zach. Classic. It'll change your life. Classic. Is that blue shirt Casey? Yeah. Storm. Storm underscore. AKA Spastic. Uh is 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 here. For the old people. Yeah, for the for the for the old heads in chat. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, you're gonna say we're getting we're getting ready now because they just finished announcements. Oh, yeah. it means uh, Winter Run won't show up any second now. I'm excited to see who's in it to be honest because uh, I am also it's exciting. Very intrigued. You never know. Froder is here tonight. That's cool. True. Um, we've been getting like at least a PR player per week, if not two, so which is cool. Definitely the best place in uh, Arizona for Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. So I thought you were gonna call Stroder the best player in Arizona, which a lot of people would say. I think that is pretty true. That is pretty apt. I have played against them, and I have lost greatly. I have lost as well. So. Who hasn't? It's like a rite of passage. Yeah. Like, have you really played the game if you haven't lost to Stroder? Especially at FFF. It's like, have you, ne have, you, have you not endured the round one slash round two Stroder? I've, I've, I've endured the Stroder came up to me and said, you want to play friendlies? And I said, okay. And uh -huh. then I just lost a lot. I mean, yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. So, I saw someone give a really bad t take on Twitter recently, which happens a lot, as you might imagine. For sure. Uh, yeah. But no, it was someone basically being like, "Oh, why would you ever practice with someone that's way better than you? You, you, like, you're just losing. Like, you have nothing to learn." I'm like, "What? You don't learn from people who are like worse than you either. Like, the whole point of learning is that someone who's experienced is passing their experience. Why do you go to school? Yeah. Um, why do you have parents? Like, I'd say most of the team members are not better than our coach. Yeah, uh, Bethel 3D. Um, Bethel 3D. Honestly, same, it's honestly, same goes for club. I'd say most of club is not on par with Squambo. Yeah. Rip Starry, baby. I don't know. It's just because Squambo's good. Yeah. Bethel 3D is cracked. Bethel 3D is mine. cracked. That's what I'm saying. I was like, I was like, you guys could be on par, but I was like, it'd be kind of arrogant to like assume that you're just better, you know? Yeah. Ooh, I think we're we're looking at kind of the first match on stream. We got we got Watt on Watt. one side. We're wait, I'm waiting to see who's walking up to be his challenger. We'll see. And Watt, pretty cool. Nope, I was not playing him. games with him. Yeah, I saw that. Got panda. I, with I saw him. you do a very funny like uh like, what was it? He was playing Bowser, obviously. Who you were, you were playing Mario? Oh I, yeah. Was, was it up smash? I think. I don't know. Well, you basically like it. you basically hit him. You hit him behind you. Oh yeah. Um, because his hitbox is so big. It's forward because the game's crap. Oh yeah, it was forward air and he was behind you and you went. Whoosh. Like yeah, makes sense. So, pretty pretty. Part of it is because Mario's arm like swings over his head, so yeah. it starts back here and it goes. It's gotta whoosh. be kind of uncomfortable, you know, if you have to like do that. Yeah, you're like. Every single time, like, I don't know if I could do that. Whoosh. I don't think I'm that. Far. That is how he does it. Uh, and so yeah, it's because he has to swing from all the way back here. The hitbox starts here. Um, and it's also just because Bowser is big. Yeah, you know, it's really big. So it's easy to hit him. Hypothetically, you can spike people in real life. That's true. Do you want to try it? Okay. I mean, the only problem is that, like, obviously you have to be, they have to be going up, and you That's have true. to, you know. Could you, like, footstool someone, too? Yeah. Like, say you're, like, at the Grand Canyon, yeah. and your buddy, he slips, and you're like, oh, I'll save you, and then jump off. That's what I mean, though, but you'd be falling at the same speed. But if, like, mm. they're on, like, a trampoline, and you're above them. Trampoline is a much better example. That's true. Smash, like, does, Smash is kind of just, like, jumping on a trampoline. Yeah, you know? I'm, I'm in physics right now. I have yeah. the credibility. It makes sense. A physics class yeah. or a physics field? Physics class. What is your major, actually? Mechanical engineering. Ooh, so, smart man. I could I, I'll that. be honest, I wouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> I'm a film major, Let's and I think go. a lot of people guess that. That's, <laughs> that's fun. I always uh, I always joke about that. Whenever I say something kind of silly or stupid, someone I'm always just like, well, that's why I'm a film major, and you're doing mechanical engineering. <laughs> Um, it's the same thing when we were doing like a uh, test run for Overwatch. I'm I'm literally just a commentator. I'm talent, one might say. 
Uh, and then we have our lovely PAs and PDs and for well, sure. not PDs. We do not have a production designer. See what I mean? TDs, cool. technical directors, um, and all of that. And I'll they'll ask for something. I'm like, I don't know what that is because I know nothing about computers. Yeah. That's and, good. and I'm like, that's why you're doing your job, and I'm not about touching <laughs> any of the computers. Absolutely. That's why they don't have me touching the thousand yeah. dollar computers. I've learned so much working here of yeah. just like what stuff is. Me too. Honestly. I know what an um, XLR is now. Yeah. Someone was trying to describe to me. Oh, this is gonna make me sound really funny in front of the Smash screen. Uh, Ags was like, "What is your opinion?" You know, Ags, Jacob. He was like, "He was like, what is your opinion on L canceling, bro?" And I was like, "I don't know what that means." And he's like, "Oh, it means you can do this." And I'm like, "I don't know what that means." <laughs> okay. I was like, "I don't play Melee." Uh, I I was kind of I was yanking his chain. Yeah. You know, I. I know what canceling a move means. I know yeah. what that is, and how. And I know what the what L is. I'm like, come on. Well, anyways, we're we're gonna. We are get finally getting first round match. one up. It is not what, however, it is not uh, what we once thought. It is, Alter Baron versus player player name. name. So we got Cloud Captain Falcon. I have not seen Baron play in a while. Most of you didn't not stream in a while, for sure. Good player, definitely seen a lot of improvement. So yeah, I will hope that uh, you know does the go to GCU always pretty yeah. pretty legit. Um, I don't think I've seen player name before, but uh, pretty, I have. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he was on stream if he's been on stream this year though. Um, but I I do know of player name. Um, I still mix up. With I, I was gonna say we are seeing uh Baron's greatest weakness kind of play out as his strength. It's a, a play style is very aggressive. Um. He kind of crosses into your space way more than he needs to as Cloud, and he throws out a lot of landing aerials. A lot of rising aerials, actually, to be honest. Um, Ooh, hardly got just like that. that. Could have died. Nice Good back air, but it doesn't quite kill. He, he really wants to just spike him through that ledge. Well, it's honestly mostly just to force him to get up. Um, I think, half of the time you're using an option, it's not even to like connect it. It's just to threaten them that it eventually will. Um, yeah. that's why, that's where characters like Sephiroth excel. Yeah. Um, like again, bring it to bags again, <laughs> you'll notice, at the time you try to Giga Flare, it's not to throw it out, it's to get you to move off of the ledge. That's, that's, and that's like all, an... And that's what, uh, Baron was doing there by just plunging his sword into it over and over again. Yeah, that's like another, like, parallel, I guess you can see within chess, because like in chess, you'll move pieces in order to kind of like, activate them. It, it, yeah, it's, it's creating yeah. pressure, yeah. Yeah. And like, the, you know that they're not gonna, like, they're not gonna move their queen, like, into where your pawn can kill it. I was just gonna say, I was like, yeah, um, that's like the first few rounds of chess. Are you just positioning pawns? Yeah. To get to, to so you can move your pieces behind them later. Like you said, it's activated. Okay. See player, see player being much more patient at the ledger, kind of just wait, waiting at roll distance, just kind of threatening that as well. Yeah. And then punishing. Them, so. Exactly. So I kind of got a lead here. Kind of Baron struggling to kill, but uh, I very much doubt there's gonna be a three stock though. Yeah, I bet Baron. I'm very surprised that but... first back air from uh, Baron didn't kill. Mm -hmm. Catching him with that straight uh, up beat into up there air. Nice. I was going to say, I'm surprised that first back air didn't kill because it was very much close. But uh, playing him has probably just been uh, excelling with some good DI Ooh. there. Not, Got him not with that meaty up smash. I do think we're probably going to see a uh, player. Ooh, nice air dodge through blade beam. I was going to say, player name is kind of just. Uh, he's, pro he's probably taking the lead on this game for sure. Um, unless unless Baron clutches out with this back here, air. I yeah. say here comes the Falcon back air. Yeah. That's uh, deleting Baron from on top of that platform. Yeah, there's definitely something with like Captain Falcon just wants to like run in and punish stuff. Cloud gonna want to space with back air more. What's up? Yep. No, 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 no. Other way around. Player name. Uh, there's one O for player name, and now they are going to move to ban. Small battlefield. And yeah, uh. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Is is kind of the like Baron's not really playing very bait and punish, like even though it's kind of Cloud's biggest strength. Um, like I, like I was saying at the beginning of the last round, Bar uh, Baron likes to play very aggressively, and it um kind of works against his favor when uh player names just got that movement, dashing in and out. Um, to basically threaten Baron to make him feel pressure like he has to throw out a move, mm -hmm. but then never get hit by it because he can just run back. <laughs> Baron seems pleased as pie, though. I feel like he's uh, well, he's got a pretty good mindset going right now. Yeah, which is always good. And then, you know, regardless, you know, you get to watch a match of yourself later, kind of see, you know, maybe what you want to improve on. Exactly. Always, always good. 
makes it easy. There's a nice parry. Nice little nair. Ew. I was going to say, uh, Baron is definitely mixing up his options a lot more right now. So I say we're seeing some uh, tomahawk jumps, some yeah. uh, short hops. Starting with a good lead. See if he can hold yeah. on to it, you know, kind of continue that pressure. I think that's a lot of things with, like, Cloud is just pressure and, like, option coverage. I would say we were just talking about, like, pressure and tomahawk, like, like, Deciding to like throw in more tomahawks made me such a better player. Uh, and tomahawking is just like basically just an empty jump. You're throwing at a jump, but not double jumping or attacking. You just jump and then land. Um, which again is just to make them like kind of pressure. Be like, oh, I could throw an aerial here. Who knows what I'll do? I like the the empty hops from from Baron. Just kind of like yeah. That's what keeping I was him he's, guessing. Always always good. As I said, he's mixing up his options a lot more, and it's uh it's definitely helping for him. He is jumping a lot, but again, when half of them are Tomahawk jumps, he's not really getting a punch board right now. Yeah. Got a very ha kind of hasty use of the limit there, but it did uh, successfully keep player name pressured at that ledge. Yeah, it does get caught off guard by the, the down B, though. Now he's see if he can make it back, get off the ledge. Yeah. It is kind of funny. I, I, I was just thinking about the down B, the Falcon kick. It is funny how Captain Falcon is basically just like a uh, a Smash Brothers fan fiction. True. Um. That like, was good pressure, by the way, by Barry. Just kind of covering that ledge, getting the getting the KO. They player name kind of just fishing those uppies out. Now he's going for the now he's going for the falling aerial. Uh, it's funny because Baron has um pretty much yet to uh really land a limit super successfully. Well, he did he did hit uh limit cross slash that one time. Uh, however. I was gonna say he is succeeding to like just create pressure in all of the scenarios, which is kind of why limit is such a uh, such a good option. Char and charging limit before Steve came out was honestly the best way to the best like tool a character had to literally force approaches. Because mm -hmm. um because usually the only other one is just like oh throw out a projectile because then they just have to deal with jumping and getting hit by your projectile if you don't if they don't run in. Um and Clyde has one of those as well. Um. Oh, unfortunately. But uh, Baron, well, just Cloud, rather, just has the benefit of being like, I'm charging my super move. You better come do something before I get it. Uh, One thing I always forget about Cloud's Limit, too, is that it makes him move faster. That's the, and so yeah. sometimes it's like, why use it? That's actually one of the, be the uh, best things about it, is that it gives him uh, gives him better, basically just, it basically just gives him better physics, um, including increasing his movement and airspeed by, like, a lot. Like, your name definitely brought this back. Uh, kind of has the lead now. We'll see if he can... Kind of hold this stock. Definitely getting some damage right now. Pretty, say pretty that was, legit. I was going to say that was a... Uh... Oh, hold on. I say this might be it soon. Player name kind of has Baron uh, pinned down at this ledge. And I think he might be without a jump. Yeah. Oh, he covered. takes the uppie and hits him back with a spike. He said, nope, and That is 2-0 for player name. First match of the night. Yeah, valiant, valiant uh, effort by, by Baron. Definitely did well, but yeah. wasn't able to close it out. And, um, yeah, I was, just, so. I was just about to stretch, and then I'm like, oh, they're coming back. I'm embarrassed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> always, always, and you know, there's always the chance for losers. Make that yeah. cracked losers run. See. Uh, see yeah, I'm actually gonna double check bracket like real quick to see how many people we have now that we're waiting because we're be gonna be between matches again now. Just wanna hold on. I'm gonna check and see how many people we got tonight. But the last time I checked, it was about 60, which is cool. Yeah. It's uh, it's kind of wild to think about how much people come play in these tournaments. I think, I say, we actually, if it is still that, about that, we actually have slightly less than usual, but I think that might just be because Lumber Smash is tomorrow, so a lot of people are getting sleep for that. Are you going to that? No. I might be but going to that. Sounds fun, though. I, I think also people might be coming here to, like, Kind of warm up essentially. That's true as well. That's that, probably why Schroeder's here. Experience for sure. Um, so sounds uh sounds cool. Yeah, for sure. Oh hey, here's uh Dan the man Mena. He's yeah. uh he's the one running the Pokémon tournament bracket tonight. Um, oh yeah. I wonder how that's going. Maybe I can maybe I can have him up here and ask sometimes. All right, here we go. I figured I found it out. Yep, we have 60 attendees. Cool. And today, did I hear correctly that Crandor is coming on stream? Let's go. Uh, that's an exciting matchup. Someone, someone we saw last week. We'll, we'll see how he does uh, this week. Crandor says to the people, what's up, babes and babettes? That's what he said. Yeah. He said he's ready to throw down. Did you know Jaden has five toes? Uh, I've been here with ten all these time. Really? Well. 
No. Collectively. Or something I always need to remind people, you know, the Jaden fun fact of the day. He has five toes. Yeah. Well, that was last week. This week. Uh-oh. This week is that Jaden, uh, Jaden, believe it or not, always wears a beanie because he loves beans. I and actually it. saw One Piece Film Red with Jaden. Really? With him, uh, Josiah, and Andrew. It was pretty good. Is that? It's the a One movie? Piece movie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, just came out. It was, um, it was pretty cool. Was it good? The villain was basically Hatsune Miku, so that was one thing. That's the the girl from the dancing game, right? Yes. <laughs> she, it's literally, she, yeah, she's literally like a, the villain's like a pop singer who's like, oh, uh, when I sing, you all get sent to my dream realm, and my dream realm is like a paradise where I'm going to keep you all forever. Ever heard like the Greek story of like the lotus flowers where it's like, oh, okay, well basically like, you gotta, you eat the lotus flower, and then you're like, oh, this is such a great place, I gotta stay here forever. It's adapted in Percy Jackson. <laughs> Uh, they keep them in like they try to keep them in a casino forever. That's a um, there's a Twilight Zone episode like that. Cool. It's but probably like a, it's probably a, uh, it, it, also inspired from that. Yeah. Like a gangster and he dies and he's like, wait, this is amazing. And then he was like, wait a minute, I didn't do anything good. He's yeah. Like, and he realizes very quickly that it's not all it's uh, hyped up. No, it seems to be. No, let's hope it's uh, not like that for the people winning this tournament. Though. That could be something that they can hold on to and cherish. They can be a reality that they are indeed a winner. I was gonna say it's kind of funny because I feel like it's uh from what I can tell a lot of like Twilight uh, Twilight Zone like Black Mirror type like episodes, uh, they're just like oh what if a good thing but bad? Yeah. Can like, you imagine? No. Can you imagine? <laughs> I was like I can imagine, sir. Tell me more. That's good. I haven't seen a ton of Black Mirror, but I've seen a good amount of Twilight Zone episodes and they're all all very good. Stuff that just makes you think. Always, always good. Always classic. Um, now we've got uh, Zach Smells, it seems. Uh, uh, fighting against Crandor. See a little bit of his hair coming out of his beanie. That's where he keeps the beans. And the beanie, just kind of in that back little pouch. Here, watch. I'll expose his beans. Oh, God. Um, and they all fell out. If you, the bean, you, know, you can't tell because they all fell out from behind. The bean hat has the beanie, been moved, and it's back on. The bean... Oh, I'm sorry. We were trying to show the people your beans that you store in your beanie. Your hair looks very nice today, Crandor. It, it is very, very long. <laughs> Make sure that we got the little like Charlie Brown. We want Parker was telling us, I, telling the people that he stored beans in his hat. So we needed to see the beans in his beanie. Well, that's why it's called a beanie because people. It is was it, in, it was invented originally, and I think it was like 1864. Why do they call them um, beanie babies? Beanie babies. Uh huh. Um, because you you put the beanie babies inside of a beanie, and what that does is essentially like people believe that those beanie babies would like protect the beans within your beanie, ah, and then, so people would travel. You, know, you needed a way to carry your beans, and like you know in your pockets it's kind of hard because it always gets hot. And so the thing with your hair, what your hair would do is <laughs> it would kind of regulate the temperature in a way that the beanie oh, wasn't. Oh, you're like too, cooking the beans. You're, in your you're, hat. you're essentially cooking the beans, and that's why the beanies are typically so thick and warm. It's because it it kind of you're gets cooking the beans with brain power alone. Yeah, and and so it just became a way where people could kind of optically like just you know especially in a time where there wasn't microwaves, there wasn't. Yeah. Oh, we're just, seeing DK Bowser as now. As possible. So five toes, five full toes. Uh, against Zach Smells and uh, this is GIDW and Crandor. Next, the next match in winners round one. This, this is probably still round one, right? Yeah. Right. Best of uh, three. Of course. We'll see if we'll see if the five toes can beat the how three toes. I th- I think uh, watching DK Bowser matches is always really funny. Ooh, good tech chase. Because like they're just two big fellas having fun. Playing around and doing their thing, uh, but the funny thing is just that like Bowser is like really good. Yeah, for sure. DK is really bad. Uh, but you know, at the same time, Crandor is kind of taking exactly. This, so I was gonna say, the moment. I guess like, that makes it really easy to like root for DKs because they're like fighting an uphill battle, and this match is actually in Crandor's favor so far. For sure. And that's the thing, like even though DK might not be like the best character, his advantage to is good, and if you can kind of like use that to your advantage, you can definitely find yourself say, yeah. with the lead. No characters without their strengths, especially in this game. Um, Absolutely. And that's similar to Bowser, of course. Bowser can kill you. I think Bowser just like, he, he, he's, uh, he doesn't have uh, the same stringent weaknesses that a lot of other super heavies have. And so it just means he's good Ooh. because he has the benefits of being a super heavy, such as killing early. 
He doesn't have five toes. What is he gonna do? Get his shield broken. I was gonna say, that shield break is definitely gonna put this momentum heavily in Crandor's favor. I mean, like, what are you supposed to do when your shield gets broken? Oh, You're, shoot. Is that a zero to death? My guy hit him Was that a DK zero to death? Slingy dingy. Very. Was that a DK zero to death? Very, very, very sick. Gets the. My gets the word. Combo. The All monkey, right. it is not even Monday, and this guy is going wild. He's... Have you played Ape Out? <laughs> no. Oh, it's a, it's a game like Hotline Miami, but if you're a gorilla escaping Ooh. from the zoo. That's very, very exciting. And I feel like I feel like I just watched a playthrough of that. Oh, yeah. I feel like Jaden's aping out. Crandor is aping out. Oh, Absolutely. WarioWare. Ooh, small battlefield. We'll see, we'll see if that uh, changes the tides. You know, maybe, you know? First match of the day for GIDW, you know, maybe oh, yeah. it isn't super wonderful. Always, always good to see kind of let's hope he can uh, improve in the second game. Of course, and kind of, especially because kind of he's kind of picking the stage right now. Absolutely. And we'll see if the, the five-toed wonder can, can take out the, ooh, are we going to see a character switch? Maybe. Maybe. Palutena. I feel like he's literally just counterpicking Donkey Kong right now. Just uh, a little bit. I mean, Pat Lucana, you know, is an old I mean, character. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll see the nearest Yeah, two, two low tiers on <laughs> three <laughs> right now. Oh. That's obviously a joke. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, my God. That, that was a good the counter. It's very fortunate. But that was a good call out with the counters to uh, avoid getting spikes there. Absolutely deleted, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely deleted. I think something that's interesting with this is, I mean, yeah. you know, if, if Crandor times it right, like, it's pretty easy to two frame Palutena's recovery, so if you can get Palutena out off stage. I can't hear myself hurt. What did you do? I didn't do anything. Ooh, interesting. Anyways. Oh, uh now it's better. Hey. Do you see if you can still hear me? Well we well, yeah, kinda kinda um, tough, you know, Palutena definitely has a good nair. Of course Donkey Kong. Yeah. Too. Yeah, I know, okay. Um, still it sells a little bit of rain. Doesn't yeah. quite have the disjoints, but I was gonna say that uh that um Sorry, I was doing a sound check. Or, uh, okay, a little bit. Hey, we're fine. Alright, anyways. Uh, this is actually kind of even so far. Like I said, I do think that uh, JDW definitely was trying to counterpick uh, Brandor here. Um, but hey, it's a good choice. Yeah, good I was going to say, it's not a, definitely not a bad pick. Uh, we saw someone do that uh, a few weeks ago when they just went violent on someone's DK. I think they were playing against Dad and they turned violent. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, Fam yep. Famously, DK's worst matchup is because Byleth has a zero to death on DK. It is pretty much always true. And uh, there's just so much to do with uh, Byleth having like far reaching. Ooh, gets the like, trip on the down tilt. Oh, he's, that's he's another very off. quick stock from Prander. I was going to say, it, uh, I have noticed over the past few weeks, and especially um, I'm seeing it right now, Prander has definitely made a lot of improvements. Um, this year so far. Yeah. It's definitely coming through in this set right now. Yeah, it's been doing very well. Ooh. Oh, goes, that fastball. Goes for it all. That fastball is going to be a death, but he kind of yeah. he kind of accepts it. He realizes I cannot make it back with that yeah. here. I very good uh, just realization by DIDW to not get hit Another with shield but break. Does get hit with the side B. And, oh, uh, the time. Is he going to get the... Yeah, that's the... He yeah, F smashed yeah. as soon as Paolo was waking up. He didn't even use the monkey punch. He just no. He just charged it for a BL. He just said, "I'm gonna give you a clap and a handshake, and then we'll be done with this." Yeah, clap and a handshake, and that's all. Hey, my guy, my guy just charged the monkey punch without using it. He was, he just wanted, just wanted it to be known. Yeah. What we call uh, it's, it's BM in fighting. It's called BM, which is bad manners. <laughs> Where it's like, come on. That's like what teabagging is. It's like, oh, yeah. No. Oh, or, or like footstooling when you didn't really need to. That's like B. That's BM. <laughs> oh, footstooling is so fun. Though. Yeah, you gotta love it. It it is fun, and there are many t t t like opportunities where footstooling someone is technically the optimal play. <laughs> like like but, it, it's a way to to basically soft spike them without committing to anything. Yeah, I think like in good sportsmanship, it is it is fun to see that kind of stuff. Just yeah. that playful kind of like. I was gonna say the pl like, the players are all like, good sports cool, anyways. Like, but this is funny. I was gonna bring that like in round in the first like match we saw as well with uh, Baron playing. He was very sportsmanlike about it. He was like, yeah, yeah. yeah so always always cool to see just the face, yeah. See it's that. a place of positivity and joy. Yeah. So very very fun. Of course. Yeah. So now we're gonna see another matchup. Yeah, another uh, match coming up soon. I actually don't. 
recognize one of these players. We have Kanye Rest. The one and only. On the far end. And the end nearest to us. Trying to see his tag. I can't read his tag. My bad. We will see. I we'll see it. Is it endless trouble stream. now? It looks like endless now, but I actually don't know who that is. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, tune in. Stay tuned. Seems to be someone Crandor knows, which means it's probably good. Um, oh, man. Now, I admit it. Like, I have to tell you all. Donda 2. I don't have I don't have my glasses. Well, I have my glasses, but they're broken. I think. Look, there's uh From last week. From last week. Uh, so I could just wear them like this. Oh, there Solid. we go. Like, yeah, I know. If, if See, you... my, my technical director is looking at me now. He's like, and I'm like, yeah. Because last week I like put them down on the table for all five hours, and then I picked them up, and the other arm's gone. Because like, the, well, the screw is 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 uh, is gone, but the other arm just falls off. I'm like, well, oops. Uh, okay. It's not a problem because I can still see everything in front of me. I was just like, who's that guy across the room? <laughs> but it's funny. It just makes more of a surprise when they walk up. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Uh, so the, here we go. Um, we are showing up now. There, it looks like there's some playful banter between the two of them. Uh, oh, yeah. We got so many people wandering around in the back. Up. All right. Yep. Uh, big sword versus big ball. It's like baseball. I wouldn't say Puff's very big. Yeah. On your J Red, of course. A I should have. I, <laughs> I knew it was someone. I was like, I was like. Oh. Now I can see. It. I mean, if you All think right. about it, though, look at the size of Jigglypuff to be compared to the size of Ike. It's a big ball. It's a big ball. That's true. I think it's just to compensate, you know, like Olimar. Olimar is oh, only two inches. Um, I was say, in my defense, I've never been there. Right? <laughs> now I have. Oh yeah. Especially if we win tonight, we can just say we can just have a chat, have, a, have an interview, say hi for sure. Ooh, it's the side B. Definitely, a, probably a tough matchup, just because you know, Jigglypuff doesn't have a ton of range. I can definitely there. I was gonna say, uh, yeah, but Puff probably has a hard time getting in while that sword is out. But in between um, those aerials, Tiny uh, Rush can definitely get in, and that was a very strange uh, method of extra showing. I was about to talk about that. It's like throws out an up air. There's because of like the ending like of that move, there's some time before he can throw out another move. Um, he can't do up air, up air, up air, up air. He has to do up air, up air, up air. At sort of a tempo. And if you can figure out that tempo, that's where uh, where Jigglypuff can really throw in her little like poking aerials, like forward air and back air. Yeah, I think, I think most players do just like uh, by nature just like play at a certain tempo. Yeah, exactly. Um, like you'll see people like dash in, dash out, dash in at the same tempo, maybe two or three times, and then go. Yeah. Like, so you can catch that and like recognize yeah. that. Exactly. Because this is something I say. Oh, another shield break. No, six, no successful rest follow up, and that means Pioneer gets punished. J Red playing with motion controls, he goes, Ugh, once he gets into that forward smash. So I was trying to say, though, um, this is something I say so much, it might as well be done. I say, um, but you are never really fighting against the infinite potential of a character's options. You are fighting between the actual opponent and the like patterns they have biases towards and against. Um, and of course, you have to keep in mind that sometimes people might be purposefully like concealing their hand. Like, oh, I'm not going to show you my best spiking option or whatever when you're off stage, just so you can just so you can continue feeling comfortable and thinking that's a good way to recover because I can punch it a different way for now. Um, you still have to keep in mind that like that tempo, like you were saying, they always play at, and just like what options they have a pattern for selecting, especially when it comes to uh, getting up from ledge, uh, dealing with the tech situation, and even just playing in neutral, like what move they're gonna throw out, and then like you said, the tempo is all the time, and that's what really matters to Puff here. Just flipping in while Ike's in between hits. See, just like that, right after the down air comes up, then. Then uh, IRS comes up and attacks. Mm -hmm. And you see both characters here? I was gonna say, are both at around kill percent. For Maybe sure. Very light. But of course, you know, Kanye could take this talk very, uh, you know, kind of soon. Air and no back air off the parry. That's very interesting. Ah, oh, we're gonna cat in that up B for that dash attack. Yeah, that's the thing, is that sometimes you. Like, this is kind of how, like, playing actively, reactively goes, where it's like, you're not, like, camping, but that's, that's playing it fully, fully different. But essentially, you're just standing in their ring, waiting for the moment they make an attack, and then 
counter striking immediately as they, after they throw out that um, you almost want to let you almost always want to let them go first that's what I thought was interesting actually is that like um, just the difference between games where you want to be the person moving first and games where you want to be the first playing second like what do you think is the case for chess? Um, it depends. I mean, obviously, it's, it's harder to be the person moving to the first. I mean, if, if you're looking at, like, the start of the game, of course. Jayred like, takes game one, actually. Um, I did, I did, I was kind of, like, seeing that coming forward just because of, um, that, like, mi that missed rest combo to getting punched and killed, uh, seemed to kind of just demoralize Kanye rest a little bit. But, um, he definitely still kept up the pace for the rest of that match. For sure. Anyway, sorry, what were you saying? Um, in chess, like, obviously, like, one person plays as white, one plays as black. Uh huh. Whoever's playing as white typically has the advantage, uh, especially because we get like more like uh, hot test level play. Yeah, uh, it's just like the more more people generally get their wins in the the set of chess uh, yeah. when playing as white. Yeah. Um, whereas in black, they're typically just trying to make the position make a draw. But but if you're in like a closed position, you know you typically don't want to be the person to do something because then it's easier for for the person with better set to just react and punish. Just react. Yep. I was gonna um, say. Uh, that's kind of how it applies to like in Smash. Is that like if you, if you if the other person goes before you and they are not in the perfect position to hit you, um, you can then react and punish. That's kind of, what, that's kind of the bait and punish playstyle. It's a little bit like that. And the interesting thing is that you said that people just get more of their wins in like the white. Which is funny because like in um, it's kind of the case for uh, traditional fighting games as well. The person playing on the left tends to um, have a better time than the person on the right. That is actually because of combo execution. People in the training room are used to playing as player one and hitting their command inputs from player one. So that so it takes them a little a little longer to be like, oh, I have to reverse now what I've been inputting all this time. Yeah. Because I'm facing I'm now facing the left instead of standing left. Um, it's a very interesting thing though, why uh, some people even like purposely practice as player two so that they can kind of just have that experience of like, hey, yeah, I'll go second. Yeah, I know. I think I think like approaching in games is harder, but it can be more rewarding. Uh, where it's definitely easier just to kind of sit back and react to stuff. And, uh, go for nice. Keeping, I was like, like keeping it just barely past that much. Yeah. I've seen uh, Kanye do that a few times now where he uh, lets his uh, shield get hit by the first uh, hit of up and then just uh, dashes out a little bit. Brother just backs up. I was going to say that's definitely going to get punched because Ike definitely has all of the tools in the world to poke through his thing. Thing is not exactly the uh, the best uh, way to extend your own range. This should make Sing cover the whole... Yeah, this should be a really good first option. Frame 1. So true. Frame 1 Sing would be kind of awesome. Ooh. The, well, the rest is already practiced. It does kill. I know Ike definitely not as, uh, as good as he might have been in the new game, just with, with Nair up air, but uh, still will kill. I think part of it is just him getting power crap. Um, People either moving to characters who are already in, like Cloud, or just playing characters who kind of have made it in to replace his niche. Like, uh, just being like, oh, I have a good sword. I will stay out of your range to invite you into mine where you will get hit by my big sword. And my sword is bigger than me. I'm sorry to break it to you. Yours, first? Yeah. How big is it? <laughs> Pretty big. Nice. Uh, I will say, Kanye Rust is down again um, on J Red. J, J Red very much just uh, staying vigilant, sticking to his position, holding the sword. Kanye Rust trying to mix around uh, J Red a little bit by going to the op complete opposite ledge. It is a very, like, privileged thing only a few characters get, but, like, never really need that much. You know, the. Travel around the whole stage. J Red almost takes the game there with up air. 83 after the hit. Say, I was gonna say, like, clips him with up air. Getting real close up in uh, up in this game because of Kanye Rest. J Red. That final hit will take the game. That is now the set is now 2-0 for J Red. Well played by by both players. You know, for sure. Gets that forward tilt. 
ends it out. So yeah, Kanye West was definitely holding his own despite uh, J-Red taking the win there. For sure, especially after the first game. Yeah. Hi. It is. You know, thumbs up. He's like. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna we're gonna see. Heard Zoro and Storm. Yeah. I have to say, I feel like there is not a single bracket. These two are in at the same time where they do not play against one another. The rats, the rats of AZ play again. Casey, why do you guys play every bracket you're in? Yeah, everyone. I was like, I lo I literally don't think I've seen you both enter a bracket. You don't both play. <laughs> Dorm's up here. We just gotta find Zoro. Um, like legitimately, every bracket that they both enter, they play each other. And it's very early in the bracket. It's not like they are inevitably meeting in grand finals or whatever. It's literally like, come on, dude. It's round two. It's like, yeah. This was uncalled for. It's interesting because yeah, sometimes it's like, man, I never play this person. Uh huh. And sometimes I'm like, do I always play? You're like, oh, I play this person a lot. But these two play. Literally every, every single time, time, for sure. Yeah, I mean, which you know, to be fair, you'd hope that one of them would figure out the matchup by now. For sure, I hope that makes it makes it more fun to watch, yeah. just because you know, hopefully they, they know each other well enough to like. I wonder it. if off campus tos just see like rat, rat. rat. <laughs> what if um, we put them together? Yeah, it's like fight because <laughs> they can't be seated that far away. So that they would be encountering each other so early all the time. Like what? Actually, on off-campus tournaments, that kind of makes more sense just because Storm is pretty well known. Um, at this point, anyways. For sure. GCU graduate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, GCU he alumni. It. He and, did it. And Zoro is a GCU student, um, so that's cool. We got a real GCU uh, competition here. Oh yeah. GC. Private Christian Affordable. It stand no. It stands for Grand Canyon University. That's crazy. <laughs> I think they should have more letters. It should be GCU P C A P C A GCU P C A. What school do you go to? Huh? Yeah. Like what? What? If you, yeah. Think, think, think about affordable. it. The more prestigious your school, the more letters the more, in it. it UCLA. UCLA. Yeah. The more letters, they're gonna have a, a Harvard. That's a lot. Of, that's a few letters. That's, Harvard. That's like, like seven, seven letters. letters. I mean, yeah. It's about seven letters. And GCU, that's three. You know, you kind of have to bump that up. You add the extra three letters. You kind of make it somewhere in between UCLA and Harvard. Not quite an Ivy League school, but definitely prestigious. But, like but, uh, say, say not quite Harvard, but definitely above G UCLA. Yep. Yeah, no. so, yeah, GCU, PCA. Uh, I like to think that G I like to think that GCU and Harvard have entirely different audiences. That which is sense. to say that Harvard is exclusively frequented by the children of the people who own the school. <laughs> True. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's similar with GCU. I know GCU does a lot of that kind of stuff. Like if you work for GCU, and you have kids that are going to college. That's cool because that that extends for like teachers and then all and well and, and I'm assu I'm assuming just anyone. With the like I guess they're basically. basically. What's up? We'll, yeah. we'll see this. Two rats. One's bigger than the other. Uh, I guess that's probably the easiest way to tell them apart. Uh, Kietos. I think it's uh funny. I was I'm Mexican if you did not know. Um. Some of you may be learning that for the first time. And so I said I went to Target earlier with uh, this guy, Toby Tobias. It's me, him, Ags, who's also Mexican, and then uh, Broccoli Boy, who's also Mexican. And so Toby was like, found out that me and Ags don't speak Spanish. And he was like, what? Only half of this card does, and I'm not even Mexican. Ooh, Zoro uh, SD. Yeah. I was going to say, I have unfortunately seen Zoro uh, die to that recovery. Like, relatively. Um. Even though the game is still like pretty even right now, that loss of momentum is going to hurt in the long run. Kind of like a snowball effect, if you think about it. I feel like this matchup just comes down to like who's catching the other person's jumps, and getting even with Thunderbolt. Yeah, Thunderbolt. I was gonna say actually that the reason Lawrence lost that, like uh, Zoro lost that indirect match now, is because he put himself in the position of jumping over uh, Storm and having to come down. That's the the down the energy. So that, ni that nice uh, set up into Thunder does. Uh, bring the game back to even. As I was saying, I was like, still definitely even, it's even though uh, Zoro unfortunately took the uh, loss on gaining the lead with the SD. Did you know, actually, um, that. Wait, actually, fun game. Guess which character's hitbox, I mean, hurtbox, is bigger? Which of these characters is easier to hit? I feel like. 
Just like because I'm asking it. Because you're asking, yeah. can it be Pichu? It is Pichu. That's crazy. His ears make him bigger than Pikachu. That's insane. Part of it is also just the fact that Pichu actually got nerfed so his hurt box would be bigger. Oh, And really? they never applied the same nerf to Pikachu. Interesting. That explains so much. Because Pichu was broken in the early days of Ultimate, let me tell you. And he's still really good, but again, they did, they kind of did like sufficiently nerf him. Whereas Pikachu, a very similar character, uh, never got those nerfs. So he kind of just gets to be left untouched. It's a little funny. Get the sliding forward tilt. Pretty cool. I wonder why they. I wonder why they didn't make these two Echo Fighters. So I was thinking, like, well, I guess Pichu. Well, obviously they have different hard boxes. Um, which honestly seems to be more of the decider of who's an Echo and who's not than like anything else. Because I was just thinking like, they have all the same moves. Um, Ooh, gets hit with the lingering. I say, Zoro, I say, I say, yeah, that last few hits of uh, down air. Don't storm. What was I saying? Um, Echo Fighters. Yeah, it seems like the uh, just the character model is what decides it the most, but it's like, you know, Pikachu all, all the same moves. You could argue that I guess Pichu has the self-damaging self, like, uh, self -damaging property, but like, Martha and Lucina have a different property as well, and that their swords act differently. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, I, you know, in Melee, I think Pichu was kind of created as like a joke character. Yeah. And and so they probably just kind of kept that idea. Like, that's, yeah. that's why they gave him the self-damaging yeah. property, yeah. So. I, I, I can see that just kind of carrying on that joke of like this character hurts yeah. itself. Just funny. Imagine if that was a character that like wanted rage. Oh man, Lucario. You would see a lot more Lucario. That's how I was thinking. Like, well, I mean, they would need like uh, that's like Lucario's biggest problem. Well, among other many other various glaring problems, he has. but one that's a significant. Lucario is very light. He needs to not. And he needs to not be. Have you seen those? Uh, what's his like red? Like, uh, what's he? Uh, and like, yeah, I think it's that. Have you seen the picture of him without a beard? Oh, uh, I think I have. I'm actually not quite sure. Um, sounds cursed if it's it who I'm thinking really about. It really is. It sounds really very, is. It's very upsetting, actually. I'm trying to remember. I Obviously, I know he's from, like, what's it called? Like, my myth. Good myth. Good myth. Yeah. And he's, I mean, he's, I mean, all, he's also from this, like, old. Oh, well, some old thing that I remember from. Oh, good mythical born. born. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think it's, like, older than that. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't know, I just saw it. It's like, Casey. Picture. <laughs> right the other. Storm, Storm does kind of look like that. It's a good one. Nice footstool, but there's nothing out of it. You think, you think Storm should grow a beard? I think we should. Everyone in chat, tell Storm to grow a beard. Legitimately <laughs> everyone. Do Say it. Storm, grow a beard. Right now. Right now. In the next, before the set ends. Before the set ends. That's your time. The grow, grow a beard. I, I think if you push yourself hard enough, body's good. Mind over matter, yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, Zora kind of just waiting on that ledge, getting ready to punish. Trying to close out this lead. Gets hit with it. I, was, I would say nice reversing that ledge guard with thunder. See if he can bring this back. I know Strong likes to likes to get combos. He's pretty good at it. So. I was gonna say Pikachu does have. I mean, Pichu does have like those really good combos that could close out a deficit this big. However, I feel like they're not as easy to hit on a uh, Pikachu. Since Pichu is so small as well. I don't think he just. I just think he didn't drift far enough to get that back air to keep extending that. Because you know he kind of has those. Of, yeah. Uh, up up there. Yeah. Back air drag down. And then so he started it, didn't quite, didn't quite finish it, but uh, lose the stock. Got a little bit of damage on Zoro. See if he can. Or not, or Zoro, you know, can kind of. I see. Yeah. Kinda continuing the lead. I say Storm is trying to get some damage, but uh, Zoro is pretty much building extra credit by forcing trade. Oh, gets that down here. Say so that down air does reverse. That down air makes this very winnable for either side now. Kind of zooming around there. Ooh. Yeah. Funny I was gonna say a lot of aggressive quick attacks on this while on stage. They're yep. very interesting. Yeah. I mean it's good. 
so what can you do? I mean, you know, Pikachu's obviously has a hitbox. I wonder how, like, if the frame data, like, changes. For who? Oh, for these two? Yeah. Like, uh, I'm like, sure it does. Is the is their upbeat, like, the same frame data? Oh, for upbeat? I'm actually not sure. Uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure for other moves that it does. Some of their tilts. I'm assuming. It would just, just make sense. But I'm definitely not sure if the, uh... What was the specific uh, move you asked about? Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm definitely not sure if Uppy like changes anything about it. I think it's just still trajectory based. Storm isn't quite able to punish the the great attack, but doesn't get hit with the slender. So you know we're chilling. It's kind of even even percents here. That four Storm sure. brought it back. Ooh, doesn't quite get it. Get that. Running in with that dash attack to punish uh, Storm's reckless down air is 204 Zoro. It up. You know, strong though. Did get very close. Very good. Yes, Storm out of Storm might be out of practice. Might be a little bit out of practice because Storm has been. Uh, I heard Storm has been cooped up playing Destiny 2 for weeks. <laughs> Let's go. You see uh, that? No, I haven't. Uh, I need a little bit of water real quick. It's like, I'm gonna get a little bit of water real quick. I'll be right back. That's why I got the. Yeah, keep occupying the people, Parker. I got the the Brita filter with the water. Always, always a good choice. Well, yeah. For for anyone wondering, um, today is Friday. Why it's called Firefox Firefox Fridays. So we do we do fulfill at least one of the one of the one of the names of the the tournament. You know, there there isn't a lot of fire unless you unless you count these combos that that are happening. You know, people kind of get some cracked combos. Uh, pretty pretty legit. You know, it is fire though. Life groups right there. You see that on the shirt. Uh, All right, guys, no I'm back now. There's no foxes. And Firefox? Yeah, no foxes. Yes, there is. He looks true. So we, about we see foxes occasionally, and and like I said, it is Friday. It is Friday. And here we are, once again, with Squambo and Shy. That is a very exciting match. Both of these uh, very uh, high bar players. Oh yeah. Shy has actually won an FFF this season. Pretty cracked. I hope Squambo can do the same. Absolutely, he does. You know, I like seeing the Yoshi. Yoshi, you know, people have their opinions on Yoshi. I think Yoshi's a funny character. I don't know if you played Yoshi's Crafted World. Amazing game. Yoshi's Willy World is in this game. Pretty legit. As a scan, anyways. Very cool. I think I've only played Yoshi's Crafted World and and Yoshi's Story. And that's kind of it. I say, I think yeah, I think I only played like the OG Yoshi's Yoshi game where. Yeah. Uh, you got that baby Mario, and he's like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> that game is very fun. I guess I've played that, too. You should... So, Yoshi's Story? Amazing game. It has a great soundtrack. Yeah. He plays the different Yoshis. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. I think I heard about that. What do you think about Yoshi's The Stage? That is now banned. I personally do not love it. Uh, is it bad for Greninja? I don't know. Oh, you just yeah. don't like it? <laughs> I think it is. I think the slants make it too many things too inconsistent. I, I um, don't. Even though it's nice for my characters, just getting that extra kill power is very helpful. Definitely not. All right, we're going that. into round one now. See the ice climbers and uh, and well, game uh, one, right? Sword. I meant game one. Pull up the bracket link again, real quick. Both oh, these yeah. characters are very floaty. Probably going to be pretty easy to juggle. Most definitely. I was gonna say that I was like the ice climbers themselves are getting uh, separated relatively early, and I was like, oh no. Yeah, both characters very good up here. You kind of see that, you know, Spombo already at 69%. But well, now, yeah. you know, we're gonna see what Spombo can do. Already at 54. They kind of kind of class back with that. Most definitely. Good coverage. Ooh, I think he did him for a second, but but did get hit. Wasn't gonna. So I was gonna say, I was like, they they're getting separated, but not being able to get much out of it. Yeah. Um, I think I think desync ice climbers doing like down B is the scariest thing. They're just both coming at you like. That you side B, right? Down B. Oh, okay. Which, which one? A side B is the same. Oh, okay. Cause I, yeah. Okay. Because I was thinking of uh, side B because they could do a with their yeah, hammers. Also, also true. Decent guy. Oh, he hit the wrong climber because uh, Nana was the one that was frozen. What a what a body block there. Okay, yeah. he took the hit. Oh, there it is. Oh, did hit the right one there. Yeah, they got the right one that time. Upper. As the end, she's dead. But uh, it's back to 0% uh, each. However, they are uh, technically in stride advantage because of the positioning. I say, but uh, Swamp decided to try and just take it back to neutral. 
now kind of has to scramble for his climber. Parker, do you believe in the Sigma climb set? What's that? The Sigma climb set. Yeah. You're, you're a fan, you're a believer. For sure. For sure. I think anything's possible. Oh no. Okay, uh, Shy doing pretty well to keep Squambo out right now. Nair loops. Okay. It's the drop of the percent. Drop of the nair loop now. Oh, and we're back to. Man, Ice Climber does some big damage on those combos. I was gonna say, yeah, one of Ice Climber's biggest uh, strengths is just damage output because there's two of them. I saw uh, jumping with that up air. It's definitely a very close game. Other Ice Climber. Ooh, gets the freeze. Doesn't I get the. I was gonna say, yeah, sorry doing that up air there. I definitely put uh, Shy in a much better position. Essentially, almost striking the uh, like, ledge. There we go. Uh, Shy now takes the lead. And that's kind of where we're at. That kind of like, first stop. Uh, you know, combo clip. Quickly getting back. We'll see if Shy can can uh, get some extra credit here with the percent, or if combo can quick close out the stop. I was gonna say, yeah. Now it's just racking up some extra damage before the uh, before the table turn. Kind of getting walled out here by Shy. Uh, I, say I say both of them kind of waiting at uh, waiting at mid range. Why did they give Sora three moves in one? Very good. They gave uh, Hero like 20, 29 moves in one. I got combo. Oh, not snapping the ledge means that Shy does get hit by that uh, that tilt there. Did get a uh, good amount of percent though. Definitely kind of creates a, a situation where combo needs to approach. Kind of get that damage back. For sure. And in down the thunder over and over from uh, from Shy. And it just uh, it's every it's anyone's game right now though. Um, oh, grabbing the wrong climber again. It's it's really just important. Not much you can do about that. You know what I mean? It's like oh, wrong. Because you like by the time you realize like oh I have the wrong climber. It's just kind of unfortunate because you can't really react to it. You, you kind of just have to throw them away and hope they die. I realize Sora definitely has the options to kind of get uh, across all of kind of Ice Climber's gimmicks. Uh, just because, like, you can wait on ledge, you know, you can float, you can, you can do whatever. So when Ice Climber's there on the ledge, like, using that little ice press, ice. Uh, ice oh, and the last Thundaga does uh, kill Squambo there. Fall. It's okay, I was just going to remark on the fact that. Uh, what was I saying? What was it saying? Oh yeah, the, you were saying that like uh, Shy doing a really good job at keeping Combo out. It is a big help to why that uh, Nair Loop scenario was created. That's what I was saying. Yeah, I was like Shy was just doing the really good spacing to uh, keep um, keep Combo out. I forgot the specific word I was saying. Oh yeah, that is what allowed Shy to begin that Nair Loop. Is just that uh, initial way of like just waving out from Combo, waving back in Nair. Mm -hmm. Just catching the opponent off guard and getting the damage. Element of surprise. It, it's funny actually because I remember um, back in that uh, back in the recent tournament that ended with Mayoi Cola. You know the one. Uh, where Leo like Rio Mayoi Cola. But uh, I, I one of the more uh, in, one of the more um, one of the more interesting matches was uh, Leo Karama and. Leo like hits a down tilt, so there's a like, crouch move that Violet does. From a back air is just like, right about there. And Ooh. you think the hitbox should hit and it's right there. But um but it doesn't. And it ha that has happened like very many times over Leo's career, and some someone made a tweet about it, they're like, how does he do it? And Leo just replied, space. That's kinda what uh kinda what Shy is up to in this match. For sure. Ooh, big jab lock into the, the forward smash gets the gets the stock somewhat early. Yep. Double both sides, kind of covering those options, but Shy away. does not care. Like that. Yeah. Like I said, you know, we're seeing those up airs doing a lot of damage. Yeah. And again, you know, Shy getting off ledge fairly, fairly easily, which is always, always good. Don't have to really worry about that. For sure. Okay, Shy just kind of fading in and out, like I was saying, making sure to stay away from Swambo's range uh, and then spacing in. 
I was gonna say, don't be deceived. Don't be deceived by Popo holding shield. Nana is charging a smash attack. It took me a second. I'm like, what's he doing? Yeah, I was gonna say, I saw Nana was like hiding behind yeah. Popo, just holding a hammer up like this. She, yeah, Nana's just in kill mode. She's like, I need it. Nana was ready for Shy to try and get up. Ready and waiting. Ooh, makes it back to the ledge. Saves Nana and brings it back. Nice Nair the guy. Nair Nair up there. All right. Uh, they're kind of spinning back and forth, but Shy is pretty much just building up some uh, extra percent. However, these things are now back and even again. Or this thing, I mean, doesn't this match? I'm back and again. Uh, Say, Shy really just hoping to once again just wall out Swambo and then pin him to a location so that she can kind of just uh, abuse Thundaga to um, abuse Thundaga and Bulldog, honestly. To like wall out and then capitalize on the kill like that, just like in game one. Doesn't quite get it. However, Swambo does not quite die yet. Nana, no. Nana's dead. Oh, and this Bulldoga might do the job. Oh, and there we go. Sopo does not clutch it out, but. Good uh, a B by Shy. Sup Sopo never had a chance to clutch it out. Nope, Sopo. Shy did not want the smoke with that. Shy Sopo was gone. Nope. And we ain't dealing and with the Sopo. Shy is, Shy is gone like a thief in the night. Sopo blown away. And that's it. As soon as Sopo comes out, he's put back in the drawer. How do you feel like we're going through the match so far? Uh, pretty smoothly. Haven't uh, haven't had a set that's been 45 minutes. So <laughs> pretty good. You remember. Pretty good. Up. I was just gonna say that there's a lot of a uh, there's a lot, there's a lot of two O's. Um, we're sure. not really seeing many game three scenarios so far. At least not on stream. That did happen one week where it was like almost exclusively two O's, and that mm. was funny. Goes um, smoothly. However, the, cl the closer we get to uh, some best of fives, the more that's gonna definitely change. For sure. Especially because of the players that are involved, and we're we're already kind of in winners' quarters finals, so we're we're yeah. not too not too far off. Probably maybe halfway to top eight. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Ags and simply turtles on stream. See you. Do my ears believe me? Whichever, oh no, I was gonna give them a high five. Now we're gonna see. By. Yeah, Ags and they left me hanging turtles. here. You give me a high five because I walked by. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, Ags and simply turtles, both of GCU's own uh, varsity members, both of each of them. Uh, which means they're two of the play best players GCU has to offer. Um, two of them are readying up, getting their controllers nice and plugged in, getting ready to play. Yeah. Um, we're definitely seeing Sephiroth Terry here. There is no world where that is not the two characters they go. And I'm almost certain we're starting to pee. What's up? Yeah, this is the game you come to see. Evan's right. Our te oh, yeah. technical director, Evan, is right. This is the game of all time. <laughs> this is the game of all time. That the is right. And we're, we're going to see how that game turns out. Yeah, exactly. I'm excited for one. Um, Simply Turtles just hits me with a goofy smile. He goes, hello. Look at him there. Oh, he's he's a the crowd. Definitely he's a man of the people. He's waving for the crowd. Same with yeah. Axe there in the back. You yeah. There, definitely I, I, feel like, I feel like this really determines who's the people's champion. Axe or Simply Turtles. <laughs> Squ Squambo is kind of the this season's people's champion. I mean, Squambo... One mo Squ yeah, I say Squamba won multiple sets from a 200% deficit as a Sopo. I feel like that's a pretty good qualifier for people's champ. Very true. Now, here we go. Green Terry and default Sephiroth, I believe that's default. Looks you know, default. the thing is that all defaults, all Sephiroths look like default Sephiroth, <laughs> unless he's shirtless. And Agus doesn't play shirtless. Now, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, we're, we're back at it again. You're up and away. Okay, X playing a little bit aggressively. I feel, I feel, I'm wondering. I'm like, I wonder if any of these yeah. have like a bit of a chip on their shoulder. They'll be like, oh, I gotta prove myself. Yeah, he said, Ags attack. Ags attack. <laughs> I was saying, I was like, I wonder if uh, either of these two feel like they've got something to prove here just by uh, facing off against their teammate. I'm sure it's all in good fun either way. Yeah. You know, they'll definitely be reviewing these, these sets out. That's actually them. very true. This is going to be very good material for Vod Review during I, the practice. I just imagine them sitting next to each other and going, yeah. Ooh. Did that power dunk? Definitely see the, the GCU team. Just that's one of, the, that's what, that's, well, that's the thing. That's one of, uh, that's one of Terry's, uh, best aspects is that he has basically, he can kill you six ways in the Sunday. He's got tons and tons of ways to, uh, convert a combo into a kill. Uh, and most of those start with jabs or tilts, but they can end with basically any of his special moves 
as well as his command inputs. Um, and I mean, obviously, a lot of his command inputs are his special moves, but I also just mean like even the go meter moves. Um, so it's like if you if you like if you uh, XDI four jab jab power dunk and he gives you power knuckle or he gives you um, he up beam. Yeah, it uh, works. Of course, or even crack shoot like it, he has he, he has a bunch of different ways to kill you. Also, it's the fact that his recovery is so consistent. That was what a crazy. Fun. Yeah, I was like, he escapes the flare and just decides to get a Buster Wolf. I have not seen that get punished. That Did he just walk up slowly and down smash? <laughs> uh, some of the turtles here kind of, you know, taking the lead here. Yeah. You know, you get the 100%, you just take it from there. But this could be it. Ags with, uh, you know. I say, no, nope, not a chance. Uh, I mean, he knows the timing. He knows how to how to avoid it. I was gonna say, yeah. There's just there's too many easy ways to avoid that flare. As I said, a lot of times you charge it up. You're not trying to send it out. You're just trying to pressure it. And he, like, simply literally knows to not get pressured by that because he knows that that flare is not going anywhere. And then we see, you know, Ags getting the stock. No more go meter for Simply Turtles. But the attacking on damage. I, I say, kind of doesn't matter when uh, Simply Turtles has this much extra credit bu built up. But Ags, you know, kind of getting that classic. Uh, he's got the one with smash. He's got the one ring right, uh, right now too, which means it's uh, very feasible for either player. For sure. And the one wing, you know, at this point will probably stay on to the next stop, if for at least a little bit. I also, also I've, I'm not sure if they're on right now, but I know uh, Noah's parents sometimes watch these. So a uh, shout out to Noah's parents. I think Paul and Jill Ice, if they're there. Hi. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Say hi in the chat. Oh no, Ags SD. Simply yeah. Turtles, you know, we already know. Yeah, Simply Family Turtles take popping off one. right now, as they should. Okay. I found out Dad Ice has very good fast food opinions. Really? I did say I did. Paul, right? Yeah, I said, I said shout out Paul and Jill Ice. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to see it. Simply Turtles is agreeing with the shout out to his parents. Um, I mean, why would Yeah, you? I found out. Parents are the best. Found out, Dad Ice has very good like fast food opinions. We, like me, Toby, and Noah had like a 30-minute discussion about different fast food, and then we call up, or rather, Dad Ice calls Noah to talk, and we're like, "Hey, give us your opinions on this, this, and this." And he verbatim repeats everything we were saying. We're like, Let's "This go. guy knows." Base a man of culture. Where it's like uh, Tobias was talking about like, oh, how much he hates uh, White Castle, uh, and so we were like, "Hey." Dad Ice, what's your opinion on White Castle? And he was like, you might as well save yourself the drive. <laughs> White Castle, though, is a classic. I, I was going to say, I actually think the White Castle hate is a little controversial. Uh, I admittedly have never been to a White Castle, but I have had their sliders. And obviously, like, their packaged sliders are not going to be as good. Oh, but sure. I can admit they were not good at all. Oh, and Ag's getting that uh, getting in that ledge trap there. Oh, yeah. And that was, this is a the very game. early lead, to be honest. I, I went this morning with my sweet mate. We went to Taco Bell. Uh -huh. And um, he was telling me how he doesn't like Taco Bell. And he didn't get anything. I don't either. I was like, what? Um, well, it's and, fine. And, and the thing is, my opinion on Taco Bell is it's it, it's not the best thing. Yeah. But it tastes good. Yeah. And, like, if, if, if you can appreciate bad food, how much more can you appreciate good food? Yeah. Like, think about it. Like, a dog, you know, they eat the same food every day, and it's not good, and they love it. And yeah. then they, you give them something, like, slightly better, and they're like, this is the best That's day like, I used to, I used to not like uh, Taco Bell or McDonald's, but, like, now that I'm a poor college student, I beat them. Yeah. I had I had McDonald's today. It was actually pretty good. Yeah. I had Taco Bell the other day, and that was pretty good. Oh, yeah. So. See, my thing, I mentioned earlier, I'm Mexican. And so I've had some, Mexican, some other Mexican friends who were like, Oh, I don't like Kidoba because I like Kidoba. They're like, I don't like Kidoba because it's not real Mexican. And then they like Taco Bell. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Uh, but one of them made an actually pretty good argument that I actually understood a lot. Where they were saying like, well, Taco Bell's not trying to be real Mexican. That is true. Chipo Ch Chipotle and like Kidoba advertise themselves as like a Mexican grill. Whereas Taco Bell, it's like you're not expecting street tacos. You're expecting Taco Bell. Yeah, yeah. Just, just how it's like if you wanted someone to cook you up a good. A uh, good cheeseburger. You'd ask your dad, not McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You definitely go to Taco Bell and you're like, man, I want, I want like a case. That auto loop turnaround up. is doing wonders for Super Turtles. Absolutely. Like, he's, like, he's like down tilt jab, and it's like you just can't cross him up. Uh, I didn't say like 
So, so Terry can change up the speed on that uh, new probe, right? And how fast it goes. Because I saw I saw Ice kind of pairing each one at a tempo. And then I oh, think yeah. Simply Turtle slowed uh, it down. Power yes. Yeah. Slowed it down and was like, haha, pair this. It's uh, different between the uh, the button input and the command input, yes. Mm -hmm. There's like a heavy version, basically. Yeah. It's like, uh, you can do that with the Shoryukens for like Ryu and Ken as well. Really? Ba basically, most of the command inputs you can do it even for the heavy version. I did not know that. Interesting. Oh, I was going to say, oh no, having Ags locked down at ledge while uh, Simply Turtles has access to Go Meter is a very precarious situation. But Ags now has a comeback mechanic of his own with uh, One Wing. And again, sitting in that same situation from the beginning of the match of just kind of just a solid ledge trap where it's like uh, Simply Turtles is able to evade the flare, but then gets hit by uh, one of the smash tags. Oh, That's yeah, definitely yeah. something with Terry. Like his recovery goes pretty far. It might not be the best recovery, but it also takes long enough to where it lets Ags kind of set up kind those of set up. traps. Yeah, exactly. Which is like a big thing with, with Sephiroth, is to get that charge, just to create that pressure. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um, oh, nice. Yeah, nice hit with the power and sending him way far I, out. I, I don't think you go to talk yeah, about. Nice counter hit there. I said they're coming at each other from across the stages now. Oh, yeah. I don't think you go to Taco Bell, order a case of Lupa or whatever their stuff is called, and say, man, this is authentic Mexican food. You go, I love this because it's that's the most what I was random saying. thing. That's what I was saying. My friend had a good argument there. That was interesting. He turned around the side beat because he was expecting Simply Turtles to roll, and Simply Turtles stayed strong. Now, Very bold. this is where things get interesting. It is by all means ahead, and probably might get secured the left trap there. I he does not. I like Super Turtles is at nearly 160 percent. However, with Go Meter on deck, anything truly is possible, especially with moves like that. Ooh. See, this could this could turn around in Super Turtles' favor. Are we going to see another 2-0, or are we seeing a game through situation? Oh. Goes oh, I, I, say he, I was going to say he did Buster Wolf to ledge, which honestly saved him from getting hit Ooh, by and that's it. Power Knuckle. Ooh, that's unfortunate. It. I know, I, I've been hit with the same thing. That was <laughs> so you're, you're winning against Terry, and then, you know, Noah, <laughs> Simply Turtles does a great job. I say, back. call him Clutch Turtles, bro. Ooh. That's, that, is sim that is Simply Turtles' like, greatest feat, is just be playing a comeback character and oh, yeah. making, it, making it back no matter what. Yep. Um, you just get those few like, interactions and get those reasons. I was like 160. percent I was like, insane. I was like, there's no way. There's, like, there's no way yeah. he gets touched again and doesn't and, die. And, like, and something on. I've seen with Simply Turtles is just like improvement. Is that I don't think last semester I saw him doing a lot of those kind of like special go meter combos. That's what and, I think. You know, and then we saw that up till, this is what up I was till the, the power. He guy. had okay. He he. I'm doing this, but he had eggs on this platform. He was right here on the stage. He could have just hit power geyser and just killed him. Although if Ags shielded. It would have put him in a bad scenario. So he Buster Wolfed to ledge. So when Axe came down, his attack missed, and then he turned around. What's up? Yeah. Y oh, yeah, sure. Uh. <laughs> uh, hi, Dad. That's all I want to say. Bye, <laughs> hi, Simply Turtles. Bye, Simply Turtles. I hope you're proud of Noah. You should be. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> like I said, that was clutch. That was great play by both players. I really thought we were going to game three there. For sure. And then at the last moment, just kind of brought that Simply back. Simply Turtles so. brings it back. Oh, yeah. That's one to wake you up. Yeah, just a very good last stock well played by uh, Simply Turtles, you know. Ag, yeah. Of course. So, That's what I was trying play. to illustrate, though. I was like, he could have like, Power Guys or just. I mean, not Power Guys. Yeah, Power Guys would just like ended it all. He, Buster Wolves mm. to ledge to avoid the hit and then turns around and continues his, his jabbing it up. And it was like, yeah. hey, as a uh, definitely yeah. a good way to close out that stock for yeah. Simply Girls. Ooh. Stay alive to 160. Now we're going to see Schroeder and Watt. And Watt. So GCU's own versus AZ's best. Schroeder should play Olimar. I wonder how I can get that to him. Uh, I think I don't I've think heard he would, that Schroeder's going DK today. Oh, I hope that's going DK. true. That's true. Someone said DK Diddy, but I hope he just goes DK because no. that'd be more fun. Crandor 2. Crandor 2. Oh, shoot. Maybe he has twice as many toes. I say Crandor so nice. 10? Yeah. Crandor so nice, they had to say it twice. You're right. Crandor, Crandor. I actually got an offer by uh, Jaden Crandor. Uh, where he was asking if I want to help run Clan Cran Slam, and I'm like, let me think about it, cause school. Very fun. As the, cause I have school and social obligations. Like I don't, I don't. <laughs> that's that's what I mean. I like, I have friends who I like hanging out with, and I don't want to like ax off a day that I can just never hang out with them again. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> But still, pretty cool stuff. Uh, right. We are seeing the Donkey Kong versus Bowser. I mean, we did see this matchup the same with Crandor. Yep, and yep. Uh, uh, four letters.
Yeah. All right. Starbreaker. Interesting. Here we go. Okay, starting with some uh, some some quick bait and punish play from Watt and uh, quickly reversed. But it is Crandor too. Ooh, oh, gets the four there. Stroder. That's how you reverse a stock. Stroder. I that, barely that, know her. That nasty forward air. Our, our technical director is writhing in his seat. Oh, Another, no. Who cares about the fastball? That's what we Hits call resetting the, the stock. Honestly, he didn't even need to reset the stock. Cause like, I mean, like he had enough percentage to keep going. You're already winning. Yeah. Stop, stop. He's already <laughs> dead. I got before we were talking about like the intricacies of the Bowser DK matchup. Now we're just like, oh, it's the best player in Arizona. <laughs> I hope Wyatt wins. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Oh no. Wyatt is most definitely the underdog in this scenario. For sure. He's honestly just having trouble getting a word in. This is like arguing with your mom. For sure. Whereas like I was like, he's just get, he's just really getting overwhelmed at ledge, and I was like, it's Kind of unfortunate, which is funny because I was like, there's no way DK has the frame data over Bowser. <laughs> nice air dodging away from that up here, otherwise, I don't know. I mean, I mean Dunk Young back air is, is, a, is a thing in and of itself. That is true. A plus, it, plus, it's the intangible hands. That's kind of DK's best thing. <laughs> this reminds me of, I think there was a week where Dawn. Uh, Landing right. with side B. Ooh, guess the start. Here we go. Why? Okay. Suicide. This is the way to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think Bowser dies first, though. That's he a, does. So I was like. Oh yeah, batted him with that forward air. Uh, this reminds me of there was a time where Bright went Donkey Kong in bracket. Oh, bracket. Did and you get it pretty was, far? He went pretty far. He made top I, eight. <laughs> I remember seeing one of the matches, and yeah, he. I think he played I, against uh, Jumbo Jack. And like, yeah, I honestly think he made top eight, but I might be wrong. Jumbo Jack? I'm not sure. But yeah, he, he was insane. Here, let's see who's right now. I just say, yeah, I thought he made top eight, but I might be wrong. I know Dom Bright went. Uh, he went Mario for a, for a bracket and won the whole <laughs> tournament. Yep. That was like his week two Mario. Yeah. He's like, oh, that's great. That's good at the game. So we're moving on the on the game two. We'll see if, of if what can, can, you know, overcome the pressure that is Schroeder's Donkey Kong. Yep, Go. yep. Was, sorry, I was just popping up. I just saw Simply Turtles win winner semis. Anyways. Um, Oh, Bryce playing J Red in another part of the strike. That's exciting to be sure. Okay. Now, uh, Murder does have the uh, uh, game win uh, up 1 0. Again, uh, Watt taking that early advantage, but then kind of just getting it reversed on him by Stroder. Starbreaker, I suppose. I think Stroder, like, definitely used to kind of, like, getting hit and then just doing something crazy and hitting. I was going to say, he, he, like I said, uh, Watt like takes the early lead and now he takes, takes the, the stock start. lead. Hey, we take those. So no, we good do stock, take those. Good back um, You can definitely see Stroder kind of like not getting hit by kind of like the classic Bowser stuff of just kind of the empty I was, off like I was side gonna, beat. I was going to say he's, he's, he's punishing a lot of just like classic uh, and sometimes like risky laggy Bowser options. I just grab it. Yeah. He's like, Bleh. And that's something where, like, Stroder just has that that uh, experience of knowing, like, what to punish and how to punish it. Exactly. It's kind of like a, I wonder if it's almost like a muscle memory thing where it's like just the, the experience of time. Ooh, big forward smash catches the I, I heard people in the crowd go like, that. oh. That was, a, what a read. Does not quite die to it. I say, of course, he doesn't die because it's Donkey Kong getting hit across the street. Also, though, does not get hit by that down. That he, doesn't stop his he doesn't stop his landing either and gets punished for it. That's unfortunate. I was like, if he could stop uh, or at least punish for his landing. There we go, falling down there. Big down there. All right. Takes a second stock, you know what, with the lead. See what he can uh, kind of get with that. Hopefully, he can keep that stock. All right. Uh, bat it away. The, gets the two frame. I was gonna say I was like I was like why well, has to make sure to not get just get two frame over and over. It's gonna be very unfortunate. That's a, he kind of has to build up enough extra credit, and this might be very hard to do against uh, a DK that legends guards you this hard. All right, he's back in the center stage. And uh, great timing on the spot dodge. Yep. Ooh, he lives. What, what, what is what is fighting for his life to make it back to center stage? And Schroeder says no. Oh yeah. Schroeder says you got to stay at the kids' table, and it's unfortunate that Watt is now down the stock with only 13% lead. However, Watt is definitely still in this as he does have the lead right now. 
just going to be hard for him to uh, break this over Schroeder. Especially with an advantage stake like that. Ooh, call all it. the way to 96. I say, all the way to oh, 95. One second. Oh, my God. Goes for the forward air. Goes for the forward air, and the sauce was not all. worth it. This is now giving one a chance. Oh, man. Just a chance. We're going to game for three. Game three. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Melee bracket starting in the back as well. That's oh, exciting. Yeah. Definitely get hyped for that. Are they streaming them? Uh, yes, they have a different stream for Melee, by the way. Wait, uh, so if you want to see that, I too, believe they then. also have a different stream for Pokémon Tournament. So that's cool. Okay. The, well, uh, uh, we are seeing the Mario here from Sir kind of coming out. Maybe just wants to quick clean out the game. This uh, the set. We'll see. Kind of classic matchup. I know when I was playing with uh, what you know before the tournament, I was yeah. playing Mario. So maybe you know a little bit of that matchup. Hopefully, maybe. Uh, so yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, Stroh said he'd go, uh, he'd go DK or Diddy all tournament. Now he's uh, he's breaking the promise to, to indulge in the Mario. To be fair, it could just be like you can do stuff like that. That is one of Stroh's like big strengths that uh, puts him over at events like this. It's just the counterpicking ability of like he has a pretty decent ability with uh, a lot of characters that allows him. That it's like if he's if he's playing someone that he thinks uh, he has like a a, he thinks he can just can earn a win on. Uh, he can just counterpick their character. For sure. However, Watt, Watt, Watt the... is not letting up because Watt is up. Taking this to game three now. And. Uh... Oh, get the uh, side. Me. That is an incredibly intelligent option to just go for these on suicide. What there. a, what a Cause, move. Because, yeah, Mario doesn't make that back, and you're almost to 100%. Uh, you know, one more lot. You know, <laughs> it goes for it again. He, he almost goes for it again and showed him. He, he, he goes for it again. He went I, for it I, again. I, I, I was like, grab. He know. He he still knows like that's the way to win. That's that right there is why he went for that suicide side because he recognizes. Oh, he's getting into. He, he knows Stroder can just explode. I was say he knows one lost interaction when you're sitting at that high percent and the and the stocks are even. Oh yeah, but still getting this uh 53 percent already. If he gets another side beat, this is going to be very good for uh, Watt. But uh, Strode is really playing out of shield. That's a... Fireballs all over City. It's lovely. This is a very dangerous spot. We're getting a, a Ooh, misplay side Big up smash. Big up smash. Big up tilt. tilt. <laughs> this side beat. That that's falling a, forward good, air, that's crucial. Grab. And so with that jab. And someone yells in the back, get him. Oh, the up tilt. Lives, if, he turned, if he turned around side beat, it could have all right, here we go. Oh, and that'll be it. He gets Send the kill. Schroeder. What? Send Schroeder to loser. Oh, man. And parries forward. Great job, my way. Let's go. Now who's going to stop me? Own, yeah, GCU's own Schroeder. A fat PR dub. I, I remember uh, before we started, I told, now, I told Scott, clutch a fat dub. And I was going to say, him now. a lot of that is that Schroeder did SD in game two. However, we take those. For don't sure. let, don't that, let that get you down. You, you pulled out our hey, win on Schroeder. That last game was all you. Were. Like, if you got to choose it with a Bowser side B, hey, that's what you do. You, you're like those. So great job. That by was what? That was GCU's for sure. own. For sure. The, the the what? what the what the what PR win? What a guy! Very cool. I definitely oh, think you see you popping off for yeah, that. Yeah, I say everyone in the crowd was popping. That's what I was saying. I said that up front at the beginning. I'm like, I can't lie to you. What is obviously the underdog here? Stroder is not the person people are rooting for. <laughs> uh, just because he's he's the top player. He's like oh a, for it's, sure. It's like sure. it's like MK Leo. <laughs> if it's like if MK Leo showed up here, people aren't gonna be like, yeah, MK Leo, yeah. go win. We we want to see someone from GCU. Yeah, I was like Leo. people Absolutely. people people would be like awestruck of like, oh my god, best player in the world's here. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, but but they wouldn't be like rooting for him to beat everybody. Mm -hmm. You're like, come on, bro. Uh, so that is a incredible. <laughs> play by what uh, sure. no, very great see. job i'm sure everyone's feeling great for that very cool um, very congrats hyped, very congrats fun. congrats absolutely i believe we're about to see j red play bright Ooh. maybe we'll see a similar scenario <laughs> pretty pretty legit yeah i haven't seen much of j red we saw him earlier i know today. we saw him earlier yeah but that's what i was saying i was like i admittedly have not uh watched him play as much as some of these other players mm -hmm. um but i'm excited to see what he does here Especially against Bright, who I think is, again, w one of GCU's best. He is varsity, which I For meant sure. to mention, Watt is GCU varsity. We said he's Very GCU's cool. own. It's GCU's own varsity. Oh, yeah. So and it's, it's, uh, it's exciting to see a GCU varsity member be able to take on and be the best player. One of, if not the best players in the state, like, sure. like Stroder.
He's top. He's top two for sure. Absolutely. Because some people put base mage as the best player. For sure, base mage. Which makes a lot of sense. Yes. But it's just the fact that Schroeder is the more common event showing. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. To, like, in terms of like just showing up at more locals and monthlies. For sure. Now here we go. Got Bright and J Red. The Bright Mario, that's interesting. Oh man, I we were just talking about that earlier. Yeah. Already already took a tourney with the, with the the Mario. We'll see. If there was, I mean, I've like a winner. Yeah. He actually uh, took a tournament the other day. It was a two fair. Was I think it was a nine man bracket, but it was at Prescott. Uh, he won with the Mario. Oh yeah. Like I was saying, I was like, hey, it might be a nine man bracket, but that's still eight people you beat. <laughs> True. Or at least. Hey, people that you're better than. Yeah, I was, like, be I was gonna say that, but I was like, I don't want to <laughs> sound too prideful. Hey, hey, that's what I like to say. Is, if it's true, you know. Oh, the cape. That's the side. The beat. cape mix up. Actually, if you had waited on that flood, I it think. Could, if, yeah, yeah, that would. I was it. gonna say that actually would have been it, but just because I did not snap the ledge. Ooh. Flashing with that grab. Mario definitely, you know, get Par parry to combo. parry. Nice. <laughs> true combo. Doesn't quite get that. Ike Sword, obviously, always a problem, especially for characters like Mario that don't have as much range. That's what but. I was thinking. I was like, Mario's an interesting pick just because Ike can probably I mean, really beat out his range. But is it better than Incineroar? <laughs> that, that's what I was playing. I was like, that's the key equation. Because I used to play Incineroar where I'm like, oh, do I go this this character or Incineroar? I'm like, to be fair, Incineroar is always going to be losing the matchup more. Yeah. But uh, it's like one plus one doesn't equal three, but it's closer than saying that one plus one equals ten. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. It's more like the difference between one Shit, plus. It's more like the difference between one plus one equals three and two plus two equals five. They're both the same amount of wrong. It's just ones with bigger numbers. <laughs> yeah. Like that's frankly what I would say. For sure. Gets a. Uh, I don't know if you saw the hitbox shift on the Ike's up smash and both players up smash, but you know, kind of hardly dodged the Mario one. Now Mario is a two button, is a two move character. He's up smash the back air. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, and hey, it works. At least right now. Ooh, there the we go. Right There's the up smash. The turnaround was crucial. I mentioned Karama earlier. It was really cool seeing a Mario make it that far in a turn. Mm -hmm. Is the uh, Ludwig Invitational, by the way. Mario's a character that I'm like, I know the character's good. Sometimes I don't understand why it's good, but then I see Mario and I'm like, this character's good. He's he, yeah he's very he's very straightforward and very, and the things he does are all pretty good. It's, it's really nice. Um, he's kind of like a lot of characters where he just gets outpaced by people who have the same archetype but better. Ooh, oh, yeah, unfortunate. An unfortunate failed to be the wrong way. Yeah, kind of an SD there. Kind of like like Sheik and Inkling. Where it's ooh, like, gets the ooh doesn't quite get the four there. Where it's like Sheik and Inkling have bet plenty of uh, beneficial like redeeming qualities. It's just like. There are characters now who just do it better. Like, why would you play Sheik when you can play Goku? Very true. Why would you play Mario when you can play Goku? <laughs> why would you play anybody when you can play Sheik? Why would you play Joker when you can play Sheik? <laughs> Not to say they're the same character, Ooh. but just to say if you want to be carried, good out of the blue. Even stocks, last stock, unfortunate SD, but you know, does bring it back. That's, I was it's the bright special. Bright, bright plays better while he's down. Even in the darkness. Bright. The light shines through. That's a good one. Even in the darkness. He's bright. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Keep Keeping that dash, that dash attack away with blood. That's a very funny interaction. Oh, yeah. He just said, no water. Yeah. I actually just realized that it's also possible that uh, I actually have a harder time hitting Mario just he's such a small little guy. True. He's a funny little guy who runs around. Right he's, he's waiting. Now he's like, they're oh. waiting. Right, definitely That's getting like, the... Ooh, like, almost gets the kick. Like, Bright's ability to create pre pressure even just through just sheer positioning alone is like actually insane. We should, st we should study it in a lab. Doesn't get the turnaround in the up smash. Pays for it and gets the dash tag, and that'll be there, the first. That, that, that'll be connecting it. that dash tag is a very narrow win for J Red. Now 1 0, but we can see this is like a deep even. Very, ever. very tight game for sure. And we'll be moving on to game two. This is still best of three. We're in the winner's quarterfinals here, uh, and we're we're getting we're getting pretty close as the yeah. tournament narrows down. This is. Uh, I was gonna say, we're like halfway through top 16 already. That's an exciting thing to see, at least winner's side. We 
see once again Ike and Mario. We'll see see how the second game goes. Taking it to a small battlefield, definitely a good a good stage for Mario, but a good stage for Ike too. Most definitely. Uh it's honestly like one of the more even stages just because Oh, we got the wedding Mario though. Ooh. This is this is Bright's usual preferred skin. I was wondering why we didn't see it last time. See, that's the most classic John there is of like, oh I was on the wrong skin. Mm, for sure. He just recovered with cape? I've actually not seen that. It's an interesting move. Pops you up a little bit, makes you grab ledge. I see it a lot. Like I think I played a Mario in a tournament recently, and they would, uh, they just kept uh, getting ledge jumps with cave, and it feels faster. Very fast. Actually, I know. Yeah, he did do that already. Yeah, I was like trying to think. I was like, I feel that much. Doesn't quite get that. Beat. Even Starks, uh, not even Starks. Um, yeah, I was like, I was like now taking the lead. Ooh, interesting. Neither character got hit with whatever happened. Nice. I was like, uh, catching that roll with an up smash. That's something that Mario definitely has, is being able to punish people out of shield from behind him. Yeah, with that up smash, yeah. That's a thing Incineroar can do if you're standing directly behind him. Mm -hmm. Really funny, because he, he does this, he, hit, he puts his hands in front of them and hits them up, but they just barely poke behind him because of that up swing. Oh, yeah. Once again, now we are back to even stocks. Right, but a little bit of a percent. I say J Red kind of maintaining that percent lead though. Mario combos. Mario combos. Mario combos. Good DI on, on J Red's part though. Not, not, I was gonna not say, good. we've seen a lot of really good DI from Bright as well uh, when he gets hit by that first bit of upbeat. For sure. He just, he just deletes that. And he's like, no. Ooh. Not that quite killing not yet. Still? Not quite killing yet, yeah. Gonna make me concentrate just a bunch of oohs and ahs. Ooh. Ah. Uh, uh, ooh. Ooh. Uh, ah. That was a ooh. success. Was that a successful tech? I don't it might have been untackable. I, I don't think that was untackable. I, was, I don't think that was tackable. I was going to say, it might have been untackable. <laughs> it, it was a big pop. He, I'm saying he slammed into the stage for like a half a second, and I was like, <laughs> my word. Where did he go? Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from, Cotton Hydro? Yeah. And now we're seeing. A stock. He gets two for him through that down, with that down air. Yeah. Good timing. Gets the stock. It's a 2 0 for J Red. It's well played, though, by Very both well players. Uh, Absolutely valiant. Valiant efforts, as I like to say. Both uh, players. A valiant, a valiant effort. Especially when a character with a sword is like on screen. You're like, a valiant effort from Sir Ike. Yes. Sir Cloud. Do you think Ike, Ike is uh, knighted? No. Oh. No. He's like a mercenary. So, probably not. Uh, uh, now and then the other Fire Emblem characters are like literally lords, like Barth. Barth's not knighted. He's a king. He's a hero king, in fact. So pretty cool. So, I guess what should we be saying? Yeah. Lord Marth, Lord, Lord. Ike. Te technically, the main character is always called the Lord in Fire Emblem. That's kind of how it works. Yeah. There's some lore Definitely for you a, there. Definitely uh, a medieval Ooh, We got the, title. the Zek and Shy coming up to stream. Oh, yeah. So Two FFF alumni this semester. For sure, for sure. This season, as I like to say. Um, what did you see? How did they play out? We're excited! See what they do and how they do it. Um, I wonder, I mean, I'm assuming we'll see a Sora on Shai's part and uh, for the Zek, you know, either... Greninja or Young, like, I'm ex kind of expecting Greninja just because it seems like that's what he's been leaning really hard into recently. For sure. Um, the high school side bracket. Yep. Try she's definitely staying Sora because she's been like she's been hard like gunning into Sora for like a while and I think the Zex kind of the doing the same thing with Greninja right now. Ever since those like few Steve wins with Greninja, I think the Zex has kind of decided that he wants to follow main that character. I mean he's he's not dropping Young Link. It's just I've had I've seen him play Greninja a lot more. Mm -hmm. This one will be interesting because because Sora is very projectile heavy and like can make it a little hard for Greninja to approach. Yeah. Whereas Young Link, you know, those arrows. But at the same time, I'm assuming the arrows and the fireballs from Sora would just kind of cancel out. So maybe exactly. Greninja's the more safe pick just to like kind of get a more defined I say, Grenin victory. Greninja just seems so good for zone breaking that I find it hard to believe he would not play him here. For sure. Uh, the Zek actually. 
I believe that I believe the Zek won seventy nine. Yeah, am did. I not mistaken? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he won last week. Yeah. I was like, does that the Zek is one? Or three? Was it three? It might be three. I think that might have been the third one actually last week. So he's popping off. Oh, seems like we're seeing the young link. I thought it was that he won and then he was in grands but lost and then he won again. I think. I don't know. Hey, never mind. I was gonna. Well, ask, I was gonna <laughs> ask him what the, the, the match is starting well, maybe, now. Maybe later. If he wins uh, again tonight, we'll ask. Yeah, I was like, if he wins, I, no, I was like, after this game, I was like, hey, how many FFs have you won? So we are seeing the young league. Um, obviously, those arrows are coming out real fast. Makes it easier to control space. Definitely forces Sora shy to approach. So I was like, she, I was gonna say she's like trying to approach, but I was like you, you kind of don't need to. You can just jump over them. Uh, you, you don't want to be putting yourself in a disadvantage position. Gets the the yeah, nair loops. I say nair loops some more. All right. Both players already yeah, can. I say, I say both players kind of scrap them. That's uh, the double shot. So that up like, is definitely a kill on Sora because Sora is so light. Not much you can really do there. Interesting. Catching the side B with a boomerang. I think. To get countered. I think if the Zek would have gotten that uh, drag down forward, there, it's like a down tilt. Could have maybe even been the stock. So already. Good, yeah. good job by Shy not not getting hit by that. Yeah. Oh, he gets, he gets frozen all the way down. That is an important piece of information to take out. I mean, I mean, he's five percent. It might have been much more difficult to mash out. Just a mash check in general that is like maybe you can freeze him again at an earlier percent to see if he just gets cheesed. Getting the, the near combos from Shy. Uh, is that kind of up to present? Kind of brings it back. Now we're kind of. There we go. It. Yeah, I was like, test it out again. Yep, there we go. That's all you need to know. Yep. You just need to do that. Solid. At least seven more times. Always nice to kind of find a strategy like that early in the game. Well, that's that's what. Capitalize I, off of it. The, the example I usually use is like DK's um, cargo throw. Cargo throw them into stage. If they don't know how to tech, do it again. <laughs> yep. And if they learn um, how to tech, do something else. I would say if they. Well, yeah, that's the thing. The odds that they learn how to tech mid-game without you telling them, very low. Now, if they know how to tech, just are bad at doing it, again, try it again. Yeah. Um, if it's not until good. they can until they can consistently tech, then you stop doing it. Mm -hmm. That is basically how cheesing works. So it's like, do a something that is technically a very simple check of, no of like, uh, knowledge and play. If they can't do it, you just take the one, take the dub. I think that's how what I would do when I play online sometimes. Yeah. But Donkey Kong, I just want to feel good about myself, so I'd be like, "That's, that's the thing." I'm winning on on, on online. Like it, it's not even like a tech check. It's just this is a lag. <laughs> it's a lag check. It's a land that, that should, literally. That should be how they do land uh, tests. They're just like, "Hey, can you tech the <laughs> cargo throw into stage?" If no, get a land adapter for sure. Ooh, doesn't quite get that idea on that. I was if gonna the, say this is kind of a uh, ooh, definitely uh, Shy's uh, advantage here because of um, I keep saying um, uh, oops. Uh, this is definitely Shy's advantage here because she has had had him kind of locked down at ledge. Now this is coming back to neutral. I mean, and Young Link does not have trouble killing. I don't think. Uh, oh, definitely. Sora either does. Especially because the Ze uh, the Zek now has the advantage in this For sure. scenario. Um, I feel like the next kind of like. Actual hit, probably, probably gonna be it. I was gonna say, shy going way deep to try Big and uh, see if that Thundar can yep. win. Oh, the nair from the Zek pulls the win. Yeah, this is a simple one-one scenario, which means we're going to game three. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's just one-zero. Is it? But shy. That was the first game. Yeah, you're right. I for some reason I thought that was the first game. I'm. So foolish. One Parker. zero for the Zek. We'll see if uh, we'll, zero, we'll see if that can be a one one or if it will be just a two zero. We have been thinking exactly, yeah. like we said so. Game two. We're oh yeah. Hey. The Watt and Stroder was not a was not a simple two zero set. Also true. That game was intense. Try going for the Mickey Mouse skin. Oh yeah. I would say Sora. He's got very good colors. He's got very good ult in this game. Yeah, I like, uh, I like the blue one. That's up. Wisdom mode. Wisdom mode. I like or form. Technically. I have not played. I actually have played 
a Kingdom Hearts game. I forget which one. Kingdom Hearts Four. There's not a four yet. So. Three. Oh, okay. No, he's like, <laughs> what, what platform was it on? Uh, I don't remember. Either. Well, then I couldn't tell. It was oh, it was on my brother's Xbox One on then Xbox you. Game Pass. Then yeah, that was probably Kingdom Hearts. I played a little bit of it. There could have been a better punish on that uh, whipped up B. Kind of the fact that, like... And sometimes it's hard to punish stuff if you don't expect it, though. Yeah, I, I was gonna, like, that's what I, I was going to say. I don't want to say that you were, like, matching a Ferrari. That'd be mean. Because it's not even true. Like, like you said, you're not expecting him to just randomly throw out a, a, a B. So you are, you are technically acting in accordance to what he should have done. That's what I see with, like... I'll see, like, even, like, higher players do stuff where I'm like, this is a laggy option, why would you do it? And it's like, the way you did it and the situation you did it in made it so it wasn't punished. That, that's what I was going to say. I was like, it's also just like, technically, that, ca that counter, it. again, she just cheesed. cheesed. Yeah. That's how you, that's how you just cheat. Oh, okay. Save that Blazaga in your back pocket. Mm -hmm. And you just Blazaga him at mid percents. Far enough from the ledge that he just does. That, that is definitely what you got to do. In this scenario, from what from what the Zek has shown us so far of his game, get out of it. Um, okay, even though the Zek is up in the set, not only is Shy pretty far ahead in this uh, this game, we definitely know that Shy has the capacity to win this set. Just from not even just from the fact that she has won an FMF before, but also from the fact that like again, the Zek has shown kind of everything needed to uh, beat him here. Unfortunately, that is, those are just like uh, some specific scenarios. It's going to be a hard time to get into, so you do kind of just have to play it out normally. It's not it's not like an e not like a get rich quick scheme where you just oh you get him off stage and you win with uh, Thundaga and Blazaga. It's kind of just like, but if you could grapple him into those scenarios. Very nice to knock over that third Ooh. side B, and that up air does kill. Very nice uh, two stock for the shy. A little wonky, but the pull it off. Seems like the Mickey Mouse skin was the correct option. <laughs> Absolutely, and we'll be going to a game three. I do wonder if we'll see a switch from Young to Green. They definitely seem like Shy adapted while well there, kind of, most definitely, kind of turned it around. Start the battle. Sora. Definitely seems like thinking, thinking, and there, there it is, Greninja. Boom. I would say, here's the Greninja. I know this character. You do know this character. What do you have to say about Greninja Sora? Do you got any? I got any thoughts? No thoughts. I I don't think I I don't think I've lost to a Sora. Well, I, mean, I did I did lose to a Sora. Oh who? I don't. Guy? Oh it wasn't. Have you played Shy before? I think so. Even for Shy, has definitely gotten really good recently. So like even if you had been Shy, it's like that was a completely, <laughs> completely different era of Shy. Very true. Time. Very true. Um, I feel like Green is definitely going to be easier to combo. Uh, just kind of the fastball, the, those near loops are going to be. That's a good point. Going to be easier. It's also uh, not going to be quite as easy to uh, to cheese him. This is uh, specifically that uh, countering his uppy is the thing I was thinking of. I was like, that's not really going to work on Ninja. Yeah. Like obviously, he doesn't know how to get out of Bulaga. That's not going to change the face of the character. But you can't really punch his recovery as much because Green just has a better. I feel like so comboing, comboing gets a little harder for Greninja just because, uh, you know, Sora's a little floatier. One thing that Greninja does have is just the up tilt, uh, up air, just kind of keep that together. Always good. Uh, another thing is that, that uh, easier for That's a very for interesting uh, drag down there. It's because of, well, I was like, Sora is both light and floaty, and it makes the, uh, makes those combos a little harder to consistently, uh, consistently get them. Yeah. I know, I mean, like, me personally, I like playing against more fastballers, just combo-wise, I think it... They, yeah, they're combo food, basically. Yeah. Um, uh, we can see something that we'll probably see is less often for up air. That, after that's the after interesting after. thing about, like, discussing Smash characters' physics, where it's like, some of them are very easy to, like, design. You would want to be as small as Pichu and as heavy as Bowser. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to being a fastballer or being floaty, like, some characters are good because they're floaty, some characters are bad because they're floaty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's the same thing with fastballing, where it's like, Fox is good because he's a fastballer. But if 
like Donkey Kong was a fastballer, that would be yeah. a nightmare. That would, he would get nothing. He would get nothing out of it, and you wouldn't would, get multiple back airs. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was like, he would get. He would literally lose things. He would because he'd have no like follow up from it. That's something I've noticed with Greninja. Sometimes I wish he was a little floatier because I'll try to punish something with like Nair, and it'll just be you know, bit tech by. Uh, uh, definitely something that like. Have to notice, like as green is like do they tech up air? Similar like we were saying earlier, like if they don't yeah. tech, oh, kill them. Yeah. If they do tech, add more layers to it. Yeah. It's getting the forward air though. This is getting to be a pretty close game here. Very true. I say, especially if uh, Shy can uh, close this stop, then it'll be about even. However, the Zek is starting to build a lead. So you gotta be careful for that. That back throw will kill. I think that might have just been because of town and city, to be honest. I mean, obviously, the Zek is at high percent, but I just don't think that back throw is a consistent kill throw usually. Oh, something that this is Greninja's best stage. Ooh, that is going to be bad. Uh, I wonder, actually, if the Zek announced his character change before stage picking, because they are supposed to do that. He did. I was going to say, though, if I'm not mistaken, that is a that's only a strict rule for, like, the winner. Mm -hmm. um, you are losing, but then you kind of just pick your character and then go your best stage so they didn't ban it. Yeah. Uh, I know that's not always the case because obviously then someone could just the there and someone we'll could just have a Kazuya secondary and then just <laughs> always pull always pull him out in FD. Yeah. Play like All right, that was a good that was definitely a good play from both players, but that is a two one from the Zek. That is uh putting the Zek on track for another uh, top eight here at at FFF. Yep. All right, let's see how the bracket's looking. All right, it looks like some uh, some sets are progressing now. We got oh yeah, we got a uh, Watt and J Red winning on waiting on one half of winning winter semis, and. The Zek and Sipitar is waiting on the other. So the next thing we're gonna have on stream is Starbreaker and Curb Starry. Losers run two. Oh, top sixteen. The top sixteen of losers is gonna be uh, Stroder and Curb Starry. That yeah. is very interesting. We'll see if, if Stroder goes for the the Donkey Kong once. I was gonna say we're honestly probably getting this on stream because Curb Starry is part of the GC Club team. So this is gonna be really good water review for sure. Yeah, we were saying earlier, like, oh, the the Simply Turtles Ags match is probably gonna be brought over here. I'm like, nope, now it's gonna be Watt versus Strider and Cryptstarry versus Strider. I guarantee it. <laughs> All right, getting ready to go into this. This is gonna be exciting. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see who Strider opts to play as. Yeah, uh, Cryptstarry. I'm assuming was just see the the Pokemon trainer. Yeah, for sure. As we've seen in previous week. Exactly. Uh. I think it was earlier. I, I don't know if this is like real, but it's the thing I do, where I like get like like drops of water on my fingers and just like rub the bottom of my eyes like this. Hmm. I feel like I, it helps me like wake up. I don't know if it's like a real thing. Maybe. I, mean, I don't know. It's if I, 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 effect. Because like how some people wash their face, I always just like get water on my hand and just do this. Yeah. I don't know if that's real. I mean. What? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Uh, it's it's not it's not your fault, Evan Narwhal. It's just uh, some set. So we're still waiting on some other set. I I think something interesting is never it, your fault. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed, but whenever like whenever I'll get out of a pool uh -huh. after swimming. Yeah. I like if I like go if I like go underneath the water and then come back up. I like use my hands to like you know rub my eyes to like see. Well, like I'm just using water to like get rid of water, essentially. Yeah. Which is interesting. And it's probably something similar to that where it's right, like yeah, we were nice. Ready to game one we do of, see uh, the Donkey Kong. We're now in losers top 16 just to see, uh, like I said, just to see Strider play uh, against Curve Star here. And it's definitely going to be another exciting stream match, I will say, of the uh, players on across both teams. Uh, Curve Star is definitely on the higher end. Um, also, Pokemon Trainer against Donkey Kong. Like, be, no, be, be serious. <laughs> uh, which, again, obviously, it doesn't really matter that DK is. Uh, has a lot of limitations just because Stroder is pilot. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure Stroder knows very well what DK is not capable of. So we'll leverage that to show everyone what DK is capable of. Absolutely. 
But obviously, that goes for the same, same for anyone who's piloting their, their own character. So for sure. Kerbstar is definitely. Uh, definitely see them slowing the stock down. I think at the beginning, you know, it's Pearl. I was, just really gonna say, I was just going to say, I was like, if you can notice the game immediately slowed down its pace as soon as Ivysaur came out. Yeah. It went deep, but didn't, it didn't quite get anything. You know, starter we do see with the, with the lead. Yep. The Zard's coming out just to uh, correct that little, <laughs> to correct that little detail. With the missed mon the whiff monkey punch. I think that's good to do when someone's like moving around you like that and trying to get you to like panic. But yeah, just to sit there. I was, like, I was gonna say you, you can't won't. Call their blood. Li Zard living just because for being a super heavy. I was gonna say you can't you can't blame Stroder for whipping monkey punch. We know we're gonna have the crowd cheer to see a raw flare blitz at least once. It happens every time. It happens every time. Everyone's like, at least once. <laughs> Hear someone uh, cheer, Blair Blitz, when it's like, oh, they obviously should not, but it'd be really cool if it works. Ooh, smart jump. Monkey punch by Stroder. Not going to get hit with that Ivy sword down there. Uh, Could be devastating. I, have, we seen, have we seen three monkey punch whips? He hit, it. he hit it. Oh, he hit it. He hit it. Never mind. It was it was it was a good good monkey punch. I immediately had to look away for a second to do ideas. Get the eye from Strider. Definitely get the eye from Strider. Knows. They're really trading back and forth again, just even stock all around, which is honestly, as I was about to say, <laughs> a advantageous position for Strider. Um, and a good back. -up. Definitely catches that. I think that's something that like you can definitely see of like being able to catch those uh, tether recoveries. Is yeah. Because they're they're predictable when you kind of understand the physics of them. But it's something that you kind of have to like play enough to understand. Yeah. And Strider, I assure you, has played enough for sure. So well punished. Already, already has curb strike at a hundred percent. I was gonna say it. yeah. Uh, Strider's gotten more than enough extra credit. At this Doesn't point. hit the tech and goes. For the goes too deep. deep there. Now this, this is where this is where we saw hey, Watt pull his win last the, time. This wasn't for the game though. See the last yeah. one he has deep for the game. Yeah. He does ding for for the for the people. I was gonna I was gonna say I was like very similar scenario where now it's like at high percent. Oh, but this is definitely dead. That car I was like, you don't live that car. Oh, but maybe you do. Maybe. I guess maybe if you're just bu as built different as Curb Starry as you get to live that. I think Stroder didn't want to risk Curb Starry having kind of like a go to mash and just like. I was gonna say you know, he, he didn't want to risk them being able to mash out by getting. Uh, by going that deep with the cargo throw? At this point. Ooh, I would say, yep, yeah. Gets you, you, can sneeze, you can sneeze on someone at 200% and they'll die. Yeah, for sure. Sort of getting a good, good old drink of water, making sure to stay hydrated. You at home, you know, if you haven't had a drink of water in a while, you know, maybe get a drink of water. Always yeah, I need good to, always I need good to drink stay, of water myself. Always, always good to stay hydrated. I'm, I'm going to grab, grab a quick little space. Swish for the people. Yeah, water is I'm good. I'll get it out. We're we're going into game two, Enderman. seeing the Dunk Kong once more, and no more Pokemon Trainer. We're seeing the 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 Enderman, the Slenderman. We'll see. We'll see. Actually, I steps. I admit I have to kind of disagree with this with this character change. Um, even though obviously Steve is busted, and that we are seeing how busted Steve is right now, considering that was zero to sixty. Um, but you should really just stay Ooh, your main. Victory. Yeah, like. Especially against someone like Strider. I was gonna like, say yeah. you're playing. You're playing against. You're playing against the best player in the state. I do not care what you know about matchup knowledge. He probably knows more than that of you know, that matchup, anyways. Uh, I very much doubt that Kurt, that Strider has not played enough Steves to, to win. Um, we're still again still seeing great play all around. Uh, again, now even stocks once again. But it's just a thing I say a lot where it's like. I don't think there's quite as much merit to like pulling out a pocket on someone, um, especially just because like the even if you know the matchup is better, and I mean like it's not like PT isn't doing it. Anyways. Ooh, um, it's the ding dong. Even if you know the matchup is better, you have to be real sure because I mean yeah. you probably know the matchup with your main better anyways. For sure. And the thing is, like, too, just from like, a, if you're looking kind of more long term, like, if you wanna, if you wanna look back and see, you know, it, it's also nice to just kind of have that experience of like, this is what they did, this is what yeah. I can do better. That's what I was gonna say. Like, some people mentioned, like, at least there's the the benefit of like, oh well, like, if you don't pull them out, when you know it's better, like, you'll be like, oh, what if? 
And I'm like, yeah, but you have the same thing if you do pull them out and then you lose anyways. You're like, well, what if I just stayed my main? I do want to point out that... Because Curb Starry was very close in last game. Yeah. Like, that, like, I think that was more than winnable. One thing I want to point out is just, like, the rock, paper, scissors between the two. Of yeah. that first stock, Stroder took the stock by by catching Curb Starry jumping with a back air uh, near the edge of the stage. Yeah. Um, and then and then after that, we saw them on the other side of the stage where Stroder didn't expect Curb Starry to jump again and so went for a monkey punch. And Curb Starry did not. Yeah. That's game. I was gonna say there's the yeah. And the second, te second tech trick of the day. Did not. Unfortunately, jump. that is a uh, win for Stroder. Or rather, I meant unfortunately that is a loss for Stroder. Uh, but <laughs> but. but. I, I accidentally the, made it be like, oh, <laughs> unfortunately, this guy yeah. won. But I was like, yeah, this no. guy, <laughs> some yeah. some random person. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good good play by both players. Oh yeah. Um, again, I'm just not quite sure about that uh, character. First. You guys, look at my broken glasses. But of course, always fun to try out. I can I can definitely see the appeal of being like, this is yeah. fun. I wanna I wanna. Enjoy I, said, it. I was like, it's not a bad decision yeah. in terms of matchups. I'm just like, yeah. your, stay your main. <laughs> oh, uh, so we are going to go for a brief break. We will see you guys right back, just because there's a couple sets that are still running for a while. Probably going to see you guys back around for top eight. Oh, yeah. Be we'll there. We'll be back very shortly. Get ready. Have a great time. Come back. We'll see you. Bye-bye.
Oh, hello! Let's go! <laughs> we're back at it again. And, yeah, uh, I was like, just give me the count. And we're go Are we actually back? <laughs> oh, go. welcome back to MMF number 80! We're getting ready for a... Uh... Sorry, they're just setting up. Uh, Watt and J-Red on stream. They're uh, fixing it. They're fixing it up. They do be fixing it. They do be, they do be fixing it. They're, they're literally just getting their characters. <laughs> be, be a tough part. Jared on his phone. Why is he on his phone? Grr. Man, someone should set a screen time on it. That would actually be funny, you know? Kind of like a, kind of like how in melee they have like a ledge hang timer. This one's like screen time <laughs> timer. Only look at your phone for two minutes. I. It is. We'll see what himself another you know another set with him. Yeah, pretty, what, pretty what, legit, what and J Red. Let's see where they go. Absolutely. Um, that is an interesting go, thing I've heard one, proposed for this game. Um, Cause like in melee you can't ledge hang for more than a certain amount of time, and then in brawl a lot of the times uh, you could not glide for a certain amount of time. What's up? Um. Oop, big name. So uh, also they they have to switch the names. Also scores. Big first stock from what? Just kind of yep. taking away all of J Red's resources, capitalizing off of it. Yep, exactly. Well, well executed. Uh, gets the near J Red. You know, I I think it's interesting to see characters with good out of shield versus characters with good shield pressure. Definitely. Uh, with uh, that being Ike and Bowser respectively right now. Uh, Ike's near. Not a not an easy thing to punish. Uh, his uppy is also out of shield. Also uppy. Yeah, I was like. Also true. I was and like, then, if I'm not mistaken, it's his fast level out of shield. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I just mean I'll, I'll, I'll put on the flip side of like Ike. Yeah. He's trying to hit Bowser's name, and then Bowser has uh, uppy out of shield. Exactly. So we we see it in both ways for sure. Also, Bowser just has the wonderful shield pressure of having a command grab. <laughs> a command grab and a down beat that can break your shield. Hey, why shield against Bowser? Oh wait, it's because you could die at 10. Yeah. He has weeks to live. That up is not gonna kill. It is gonna it kill. It is. It just took, will take 10 years to do so. I was gonna say, I was like, no red sparks, we're at center stage, it's Bowser, he's living that. I was like, oh, there we go. The end of the down here kind of, you know, hidden. Always, always good kind of a relief part of what to see, like, ooh, no one get punished. At least out of time. Bowser definitely comes in with the ledge trapping. Does not, uh, not get hit with the side beat, but does cause it to activate, I guess, or proc. Is that up? Are going to catch him? It's not going to spike him. Real smart. Uh, now, it's smart of Watt to just go over that to not have to risk Dealing with the eruption at ledge. He said, nope. I might get punished for this, but it's not going to be as hard as I will. I was going to say, watch shields that uh, Jared's run up, and Jared kind of just called it out by grabbing. Ooh, nice. Dash back from Legend Forward Tilt. Yeah. What? On his last stock, uh, but, you know, could be the last stock for, for Jared as well. Hmm. I think he possibly could have committed to that, uh, that uh, neutral be a little bit more. Either that or he was looking for a forward tilt. I actually looked like he was trying to run back forward smash. Okay. Um, I don't know why. I mean, it, it could have been forward tilt. I could have like, miss, uh, missed seen it. That's true. I, I mean, it was a forward smash. I just mean if he meant to. Oh, but oh, I, I oh, actually, oh, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, I thought you were saying that it was a forward tilt. I'm like, I thought it was forward. <laughs> I was like, it definitely looked like a forward smash. Yeah. Ooh. Either way, I'm actually not even sure if it would reach through uh, Ike's sword. That's something there, like we were saying earlier, which is not expecting stuff, is like, what goes for the down B there? And if and if, if Jared would have just been like, oh, down B, like could have gotten a way bigger punish. But like you don't expect Bowser yeah. to down B there. Yeah. Ooh, big up smash. Nice Gets catching that with the up smash. That was such perfect timing right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Just get extra perfect. Very good. Clear as crystal. Kind of gets him near the end of it too. So. Uh, and kill. Watt honestly kind of came back on that game. For sure. It was, it was kind of back and forth for both players. That is, pr so that is pretty true. It was kind of more like yeah. a pendulum. Yeah, very very tight game. We'll see We'll see how that translates to the following games. If either player is just going to be able to kind of adapt. and, and Or or if it'll be kind of both very even matchup all the way to the end. Exactly. Uh, and now we're seeing, are we going to town and city? Ooh. We are not going to town and city. No. I was like, <laughs> I was like absolutely no shot we're going back to town and city. Yeah. I don't think either of these characters care much for town and city. Yeah, like maybe, maybe. that's the thing. Like it, it doesn't really put either of them at a super big detriment, considering I mean, they both have. Well, they just both wouldn't want to go. Is what I mean. Yeah. yeah. 
So no, neither of them has really gained an advantage there. Um, I feel like Bowser might be better because he can get out longer. <laughs> he has a little bit more mobility. Kind of funny to say. A <laughs> little crouch. That was your butt scoop. You know, both these characters gain a lot off of just tomahawk grabs, getting you to shield, and then they're grabbing you or well, grabbing you. Exactly. Um, I, I was going to say, like, they're both kind of just throwing out some land and arrows. Rising arrow. And now they're up smash, catching up that roll in. And, you know, both players, even percents. Just uh, similar to the, the other game. Nice. They, they landing, landing with the side B. Tries to catch him with the same up smash. Doesn't quite get it. Definitely something that's hard to hard to be able to tell is like, will I grab the ledge or will I go past? Always good to cover at least one. Big. Yep, and that'll another be one. Yep. Good timing. Definitely, uh, Bowser has the options to, to punish Ike. I know a lot of characters probably don't. That's the that's the that's like kind of the thing with Ike is that it's like, even though he has the trademarks of some characters that are not that good. It's just hard to punish what he does. Ooh, Again, going for that classic. He, he, that classic. He, he, he grins. What a what a <laughs> what a little devil he is. Oh man. Like I said, that's literally just optimal play because he's it really because he's at because he's at such high percentage. It's funny because that's actually a thing I used to be like, why doesn't he do that? Just do that. Yeah. Like just reset the stock. You're not gonna do much to him when you're at 190. Well, and, and now we we have characters like Steve and Kazuya who can hit you once and just kill you. And it's like, yeah. okay, why can't Bowser do that? Yeah. And not even tall characters. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Bowser's get up attack, huge. I think, if I'm not mistaken, one thing that they were practicing, like, like listening that they were applying recently in practice, is like how to just cheese out your opponent, which is kind of what we were talking about earlier. Where it's like, if you can find ways to kill someone at like 50%, just do it. There is no reason to not do it. I don't care if it makes your opponent feel bad. You win the game and they lose the game. That is the jankiest combo. The last like little down hit of up smash into back air. Yeah, it's, it's like obviously like no bad manners. Don't be like, don't be like Tom. That's for not, sure. That's that's not cheese. That's um that's all aspects of the game. Um, yeah, if you if you so if you just find easy ways to ledge guard someone. Yeah. Same with, like, with like Mario's flood and just like do it. Yeah. At this point, you know, not as much cheesing going on. Both both players at, at higher percent. Nice yeah, catching that roll with an upbeat. Definitely. Especially Bowser. Game. I guess Bowser isn't dying. Yeah. Too soon. Uh, J Red. Uh, J Red. Any moment though. Not for Just waiting in shield, though, is like, there Ooh, we go. That, that is game. Be. There is no universe where a yeah. 169 yeah. after hit Ike does not die <laughs> and, from. And it wasn't as stale too. So like, yeah, like maybe if it's super that, stale. That's actually that's actually a good that's actually a good point. I was like, he was he had been like, he was waiting. He was like throwing out up tilts yeah. and, and I, I saw before stuff. he opted for the up tilt and not for the the forward the side B. I would say the side B. Yeah, would have would have grabbed him because he got up and grabbed. I mean, he got up and yeah. shielded. Uh, like, I'm assuming what just didn't expect it. But now, what up 2 0 against uh, J Red? But this is best of three. Or Ooh. best of five, I mean. Best of five. We do see We're seeing the, the Richter. Richter. It's going to be a, a definitely tough for what a good counter pick by J Red. You'll see. For we'll sure. See uh, obviously, the recovery. Bowser's forward air can definitely, like like we were saying, cheese out Victor. But also, Richter can keep Bowser out with uh, everything. Exactly. That holy water is now being reversed against yeah. him. That's unfortunate. That's a good tool for Bowser. Just feels like nope, no holy water. That's that, that's the interesting thing. That it's like uh, the way Richter plays is probably gonna be hard for Bowser to get around. It's definitely gonna be hard for our Watt to adapt for. It's definitely gonna be a challenge here. Um, but we've obviously seen Watt uh, conquer harder tonight. So for sure. You know, he gets past this lead trapping and he does it. Yeah, I think playing against Richter, uh, what will definitely need to capitalize off of off of his advantage and, and really kind of get those early kills. Um, one thing that is is definitely tough. I, I know Richter has a, a little bit of a hard time killing, but he does it there. But still, one yeah, thing is also his uh, recovery might get hard exploited by Watt here. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that neutral B might be a trouble for uh, Ricky. Mm -hmm. 
Or even if Jay Fawad just decides to go off stage uh, and go deep with the forward air. Yeah, and you see the d damage up for the victory. Just already getting what to, to 86. That's the thing. It's not like Bowser has any damage up to snuff at. So. And the thing is, like we saw last game, Bowser's side evens it out. I do not think Richter. I mean, Richter can up air. To, I to honestly think it's better to do the to commit to the suicide moves when you're uh, ahead of stock. Like when you're even stocks and at this high of a percent deficit, it technically is still good to do. Um, but I think it's not. It, I think it's best save. Well, it's also like if you're already losing, maybe like. Do you want to... Like, I remember playing against Keeganers once. He's Kazuya. And, and he said, ooh, looks like we need a reversal because I was up, like, 90%. He just did the, the Ooh. Kazuya. He just did the Kazuya. Well, suicide. what's up now? Maybe he'll go for the... Now he'll go for, now he'll go for the Bowser side. Now it's a, it's a threat. Ooh, gets hit. He went... Axe I, on I, purpose, think he, I, think. I was going to say, I think he went low to get hit by Axe on purpose. Definitely very patient. Did you see the, uh, like, nearly grounded down air Richter did? No, I did not. All right, he gets hit by that four tilt. He was in like center stage. He like barely lifted off the ground and did it down there. I honestly almost thought it was on accident. All right, this is now definitely still uh, Watt's chance to close this out 3-0. Oh yeah, gets him already at 89. I think I think he made the I think he might have made the adaptation necessary. Doesn't quite get the back here. But Jared definitely need to stack up some damage real quick. Kind of. Can be tough. Ooh. It's hit with the, the side B. Exactly. Not, not um, going to be dying today. Quite yet. He's, I was going to say, he's just getting so much pressure thrown out onto him. Uh, he needs to he needs to get back to his safe, his his uh, happy place, basically, and turn this back around. What's he going to do to him? Nice. I was going to say, wait. He, he throws in another get up attack. It does not kill quite yet, though. And it, he does oh, not make that attack, yeah. though. 3-0 by what? Say. I yeah. was like, well an indirect kill. 3-0 by yeah. Watt. That is quite the showing. I know I know something that... It's uh, then J-Red to lose. I know what Varsity has also been practicing on is is recognizing ledge get-ups. That is like so, just, that's just one of the core things of the game you've always got to sure. look out for. And so I think that's something we saw Watt do just kind of at the end there, just kind of recognize like, oh, he's get-up attack. I, I, was, I was just going to say, I was, like, sure. get, I was like, he gets up attacks again. That's what I was wondering. I was like, why is Watt just holding a shield? I was like, go, throw out a down tilt or something. And I was like, oh, he's just like waiting. He's like, hey, let's just see what you do. So, yeah, very very well played by Watt. And then also there, like, even when you see, like, J-Red probably could have recovered, you know, with, like, an air dodge and then something. But, you know, yeah, obviously yeah, Watt he wasn't been. definitely dead there. But Watt could have just ran off forward air. And so... Exactly. So I was going to say... It was, a, it was like kind of like a lose-lose situation. Say, he didn't die from that exact hit, but that interaction was and, and his end. He no almost what. made it up. So it was, yeah. it, was a, it was a good effort. Definitely yeah. probably yeah. took the best route, but just didn't quite make it. So yeah. And to be fair, even if he had gotten back to ledge... Now at this point he's like very flustered and probably gets trapped into the same position. If he gets up, he he doesn't get up attack, gets punished for it super hard. That upbeat of Punisher was super good as well. For that's sure. a, that's one of um like Bowser's like really good counters in my opinion. Like counter, like being able yeah. to counter hit someone by just throwing upbeat out of shield. Yeah, definitely consistent um, too. I think that's something to look at. It's like if yeah, you it, if you aren't confident in like, the timing, it, it's of being a good able damage builder. All right, we're next seeing Simply Turtles versus the Zek. This is in a very exciting. Uh, uh, Matt, I just wanted to give another shout out to uh, Dad Ice and Mom Ice. Absolutely, Noah's, Noah's parents. I heard he was in chat. I, I'm saying hi to him again. I'm saying hi, Paul. Uh, Hope you're enjoying the stream. Paul, Paul said he's willing to give more uh, good fast food opinions. So I mean, I would love to see hey. that. I'd love to see some in the chat. I don't know. For sure. Um, yeah, and, and you know, why not watch your son absolutely go <laughs> crazy in Super yeah. Smash Brothers? That that is the interesting thing. Like. Simply Turtles is the GCU player here, so he's the one we want to root for. Absolutely. But at the same, at the same, or he's the one like we is in the crib. Let's root for. But we're, at the same, we do go to GCU. Time, we have a bias. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no I don't have a bias. Okay, okay. it's not a bias. It's not a bias. <laughs> it's a GCU. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a proclivity. <laughs> hey, maybe the Zek will end up going to GCU when he. Yeah, that's a good point. That's what I was gonna say. Is that um, that's the thing though. The Zek is a multi multiple time FFF tournament winner in this season alone. Uh, it's certainly no small feat to imagine that he might win this. Um, his Greninja especially has just been like really popping off, almost more so than when he was playing Youngling. Um, not, that was a nice, a nice idea to counter, but it was definitely poorly timed and allowed uh, Super Turtles to make it back up under the ledge.
perfect parrying, but he STIs out of that. There we go. I sorry, I was almost speechless for a moment trying to watch the gameplay. I was get what I was gonna say before is when he um when uh the Zek successfully got up the jab jab uh, up B. It's just kind of a repeat of what I said earlier, of where Terry has just so many ways to close out the opponent. Um, it's about mixing them up and uh Super Charles definitely just did that successfully there by now killing him with jab jab. Power down. Uh, John doesn't was actually been expecting. He's obviously not gonna do the same option both times. Work back to back. But it was uh, very smart for Super Trolls to mix up that option. And Super Trolls is now honestly taking over the momentum of this game. For sure. Already has a little bit it. of a lead. Definitely gets that percent. Start out maybe a little rough, but brings it back. And that's the thing that you know, Terry does pretty good at. Ooh, there's the big, jab jab puppy. Now it is simply puppy. Turtles' lead. Yeah. And and not quite at at kill percent. One thing one thing I do know. I don't remember much Greninja kill percent, but uh, Terry dies to down tilt up smash at 99. Really? Yeah. That's unfortunate. So, he's at the point where he will probably die. I was yeah. Gonna, I was going to Oh, he knows not to air dodge there. Good I was going to say, he doesn't quite get the up there. I remember you once telling me, like, oh, you, t you told me they were like, oh, I have a hard time fighting because you don't air dodge that much. Because yeah. Greninja just punishes yeah. people for air dodging out. Because air dodging is usually what you want to do to get out of combos. Yeah, but for Greninja, it's like, don't air dodge. Just don't do anything or jump, and like you're typically good. Yeah. Just, it's literally just DI, at least whenever, sure. I, whenever, I, whenever I had to play you, which is obviously mm -hmm. very different in terms yeah. of like levels. You see, yeah, like, so when, so when, like, he gets those down tilts, like, you can see he'll probably wait, especially at the percent that he's not quite at, like, down tilt, up tilt percentage, I mean, up smash percentage, um, and so waiting and not panicking and being able to be like, oh. This is a nether scenario. Terry's probably so clutch. This is another scenario where he's definitely close of who's going to take this. Oh, yeah. This, this another could, roll for ledge. Game and yeah, I was going to say, another roll for yep. ledge, and there's the, uh, there's a down tilt forward air. Something, something. Now that we've seen how close that was, though. Can definitely still be anyone's game, anyone's set. Rather. For sure, for sure. In terms of we see how close Simpsons is to coming out on top over the Zek, but the Zek obviously no one, to, no one to snuff at, considering he's uh, won a few of these now. For sure, and and simply Turtles though being very keen to recover because one thing that Greninja can do that when I played uh, simply Turtles I I did once because I guess he he did not expect it, but forward. I, I thought the Zek was pulling out his phone <laughs> to check the stage list, and then I saw Twitter, and I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Um, Greninja can forward smash Terry's recovery. Uh huh. Because it doesn't snap to ledge. Greninja can? Yeah. That's awesome. I did that to Simply Turtles. And is, he was just is, like, it, oh. is it a two frame option, basically? Pretty much. Okay. And it's like easy. And yeah. so that's why, like, Simply Turtles has been doing a, a very good job of, like, recovering right. perfectly low enough to not yeah. have that happen. That was you three know? dash attacks in a row. Calm down. 36. 36. He's dashing. Simply Turtles with the simple combos. I, th I legitimately think. Terry is such a good character, and it's honestly just because he is, not, not only is his options good, they're just so reliable. For sure. I think that's a big thing. The good. only- like If your character isn't reliable. Yeah. I, I, I think he's, this is controversial, I think he's probably the best FGC uh, of the four of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, I think it's either him or- It's Kazuya. obviously him or Kazuya. Yeah. But um, I think it's him, then Kazuya, and it is kind of close. Um, and then there's a pretty significant gap. Then it's Ryu, then it's Ken. Yeah. And Ken is only worse than Ryu because he's unreliable. That's like the thing. Mm -hmm. Well, there's also just he has a he technically has a better advantage, but that well he just has better quote unquote combos, like better quote unquote. Mm -hmm. um, but Ryu's advantage is still good. I mean, I just his neutral is better. I feel like it's also different just looking at like higher level play where you see like against Terra, you know, people yeah. are going to be STIing. That's out very. Of, that is very true. Whereas Kazuya not happening as much. That is definitely. Yeah, we'll we'll get that. that. That's what I was gonna say. That's the argument for me. Is that it's like I feel like uh, Terry has a better like neutral and whatnot, and he does Um, it's just the fact that Kazuya's advantage rate is so overwhelming and kind of hard to avoid once you get wrapped into it. But like you said, with uh, with with Terry, at least there are options to shield. There are options to shield. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I don't know how if I've seen Riddles mess up a Kazuya combo. That's for sure. That's true. I mean, Riddles did 
uh, soft drop Terry for Kazuya for a reason. All right, these stocks are even once again. I like the pace of the game is kind of going back a little bit. Also, this is jumping around. I was gonna say the deck is doing the classic jump camping. Uh, I'm gonna start calling that frog hopping. Ooh. I should start doing that. I, that's what I, was, I, felt, <laughs> I just realized it's like, it, it's just kind of, that's what I was realizing during the, his uh, set with e Kind of just a very reliable way to camp out your opponent. Definitely yeah. just has a really high jump. Rate. He has the second highest jump height in the game. Second to Falco, and Falco's kind of kind of floaty, doesn't have as good uh, kind of air speed. Yeah. So Greninja can camp very well if, if they choose. It's just that specific way of camping. I am very interested if he if that was like SDI or if it's literally just the fact he got the up on the platform. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's like Kirby forward throw. I was gonna say, yep, there we go. I was gonna, there's not a chance that Greninja lives very long while at 170. Hey, you never know. That's, yep. This he makes Terry it back. Make it back. But like, it's just that Terry's a magnet hand when yep. he trans he transitions from the state of kicking up. Um, no up smash. No up smash again. I love this game. Yeah, you can definitely see uh, Simply Turtles doing good just uh, to DI okay. out of that down tilt. It's just that when Terry does his up B, when he switches from the pose of his feet kicking up to just the normal standing pose, I swear his hitbox is so far. He has like he has like the most insane magnet. It I've really ever is. Seen. He's like, I'm not gonna grab the ledge. I'm gonna grab. I'm not gonna grab the ledge. I'm not gonna grab the ledge. I'm grabbing it from anywhere. Yeah, I was like, it's just it's just pure magnet hands to be honest. Like exactly. Smash four levels of magnet hands. The Zek already already at a hundred. We'll see if Sinistro can close this out. Or That's the thing. I was like, honestly, the more the Zek closes at this percent. Ooh. That was a for... very risky move by the Zek, and it does lead to him losing game two. This is now a game three scenario. I wonder if he thought he could live. I don't think he, there's no way you do. If, though, if he right? was a little higher up, I, he he could have. Okay, I, so okay. my my guess I is you he give me your two cents because yeah. you know more about. It. There's Green like a there's like a, a certain point that's like a little bit above the ledge that you have yeah. to be able to, to go from. Um, either way, it was a, a quite the quite the risky option. Did not quite pay off that time, but yeah. can respect it. We, we're one one here going to one battle. One winged field. angel. Definitely a, a better stage for. I think Ninja. I mean, I know. I don't think platforms are the are the best option for Terry. So definitely maybe annoying for a little bit, but we'll we'll allow Terry to land. So. FGC characters always want flat stages. Oh, he's gonna camp him. Uh, FGC characters, I just realized they're on battlefield. Unfortunately. Anyway, because of because they're on battlefield, um, that makes that jump that even better. Um, for sure. Yeah, FGC characters always want flat stages. It is because they are designed to be like their FGC self. And in traditional fighters, you are on a flat stage always. <laughs> so, um, imagine if they had platforms. Ooh, that, recovery. I'm surprised they both made that back. That's something um, something I've learned to never do against Terry is jump on ledge. Good. You can see that uh, almost killed there. That is. He wasn't at 99%. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Terry can just down her, and that just spikes, and you die. You didn't quite die to it, though. You're waiting to chill. You're waiting for something. Mm -hmm. I feel like you cannot afford to give up the stock lead here. For I mean, sure. I mean, Ooh. Nice mix, up I see, nice mix up with that upbeat. Yeah. It's the parry and the forward. Probably should have gone for the jab, jab, grab, like you did not. Sometimes you're jabbing, and it goes, Terry has really good shield pressure, but you just get locked into that option. And it's just kind of unfortunate because you don't want to let him act out of shield. He's doing it. Trying to poke. It's going to be a little harder for Simply now to get the kill without the KO. Yeah. The, the bing bong, whatever it does. But the what? <laughs> the bing bong? Yeah. Tries to catch the roll and doesn't quite hit it. Nice. Balls out of the pair. Woo. Ooh. There we go. I, yep. that, that's something I've seen some people do like one or two points right now. He does a like roll in uh, to get behind them because he knows. Goes for another triple death. Sometimes, so. sometimes almost reading their roll to either follow their roll or to cross up their roll because he has auto turnaround and never has to worry about what direction is fixed. Ooh, doesn't get the grab. Oh, he, I was going to say, there we go. He goes for the jab, jab, grab that time, but he's actually out of range. Guys, he's taking my advice. <laughs> 
No, he can't. He's a. He's across yeah, the room. Yeah. True. You just have like a little one of those. Yeah, uh, like a walkie-talkie. No, or or one of those little cups with the screen. <laughs> Phone cups. Yeah. Cup phones, whatever they're called. I, I heard today that in, in a set, Bright versus RDNA, that RDNA took out his phone and started ordering pizza mid-game. That is based. And it was, sounded awesome. That is incredibly based. On, on April Fool's, nonetheless. Yeah. Uh, very funny. Yeah, there's, there's that happened today. Oh, no, not today. Sorry. Oh, okay. I was like, it's not April Fool's. <laughs> it is. April it's Fool's. April Fool's. Imagine. Can you imagine? Like, you, you think it's like the middle of November? And then they're like April Fools, yeah. and you're like, oh my god, my life is online. Yeah. The Truman Show. One one April nice Fools. Air dodge through that forward air. Ooh. One April Fools, the government's gonna be like, okay, April Fools, guys, it's not April. It's like, uh, what? What? I would be bamboozled, utterly. Could be it. Ooh, big. It's not quite just yet. He's got to go. But this, I have a feeling this next few interactions will be very crucial. Oh yeah, this this could be it. Let's see if he ooh, gets the air dodge. I was gonna say the Zek put Simpatrol in a very unadvertised. Ooh, gets the down beat the and the ice is nice. The ice is nice. Hey. Ice. He's got ice in the veins. For okay. sure. Always flying. I think I think we gotta get Simply Turtles a big chain. Is he up to one? He is. Two he is up to one. Something. I thought Simply he was Turtles popping. Right, that was oh, game three. Huh. Yeah, that was game three. Oh I, yeah. So we'll we'll I see if the go. game four Simply or the game four Zek. Of that on top, yeah. Because yeah. the Zek could just force us into a game five scenario, which would be very perilous indeed. That's true. Back to PS2. Back. I like how they put up Lore Keeper Zek. I, every I, time. I feel like we didn't really see a lot of camping from the Zek, uh, as I to am what actually we might have expected. Uh, I, I, I have realized, I think it, that, that is not his play style in general. It's just if he encounters a Steve, yeah. he will be I, there. I think that's something I've noticed with the Zek, is just a very like committed player. Yeah. Uh, definitely has the will to just kind of like do what he needs to win. And that's know? what he perceives that he needs to do to win. For sure. Unless it's round one of that one of them. He decided to not. It, it is it is an order that that's like a counterplay he has to timing out every single game. I mean, because that's the but thing that is like the best strategy. I say, yeah, but that's the be it's the thing he has to do. So it's like, you can't like blame him for it. You just have to blame the game and the loser. Don't, don't hit the player, hate the game. Yeah. I saw uh, Kony talking about that. It, how in the Smash 4 days, he would have to like, he commentate over Bayos. And he'd have to like defend the Bayo players because people were like, like harassing them. And it's like, it's not their fault that broken character got put in the game. Ooh. Like, Bayo, Bayo, Bayo players don't have the option to remove Bayonetta from the game. Mm -hmm. They're just making the op. They're just taking the option that will make it take the most. Yeah. And 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 for like, I mean, obviously, Trinkets is a competitive competitive environment. So like, you're doing what you have to to win. Exactly. That's what I was saying. I, was like, I can't blame him for camping to be truthful. Ooh, doesn't good DI on that. Hey, that's what I tell people who can, who like. Complaining about that, said, I'm like, come on, you didn't even have to watch. I had to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I was the only person getting paid to watch. Ooh. I was like, there were four people who had to watch. It was me, it was you, and it was them two. Yeah. It, it was it was the Zek and Ethan. This is a going to be a very close game, I can tell. For sure. Already, Silver Turtles kind of bringing that back, even for sense. That's what uh, I was gonna almost. say. Uh, Ares' reliable, like, consistency and comeback mechanic are both going to allow him to uh, close out this deficit. That is very nice. He was going to, like, retreat to ledge if he had to, but then he realized a opportunity to take center stage and went for the advantage. Was that 99 after the hit? Now he could die to down tilt up smash. Died to down tilt up smash. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, did not quite get the tech on the platform, unfortunately. And up smash did connect, so... Uh, a win for green to play. Yeah, I, you have, they have to be like directly up on this though. But yeah, especially uh, on this stage. There's a, there's that's a what I mean by, by by directly on this stage with the, with the PS2 platforms are kind of uh, high up like, compared to like Battlefield platforms. Um, so most moves that go through platforms just don't on PS2, and if they do, they have to be directly up. 
Ooh, almost. Yeah, exactly. the SDI is out of that. Like I said, this is going to be very close. Yeah. Simple Turtles once again playing from a percent deficit. Um, but but that is, yeah. a percent deficit is almost Terry Bogart's best player. Ooh, nice little 35% combo. Keeping it, keeping it simple. That's something that uh, whenever keep my it, younger, when, whenever my younger brother and I play pickleball, if, if we start losing and we we realize at some point that we're 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 kind of lost in the sauce, that we're kind of like going for too much. Uh -huh. uh, we'll just look at them and be like, you know, we gotta get the, hit that simple sauce. You know what I'm saying? Get up, Buster um, Wolf. That's the that, That's the simplest sauce there is. To be for playing. sure. Doesn't get the up smash. Get the eye. Looking a little tight for Simply Turtles. He does not die to that. Zek to that definitely LB. keeping keeping his uh, advantage. Ooh. Simply Turtles rolling a lot. I am almost I am almost starstruck. I'm starstruck. Ooh, honestly. doesn't die. Good deal. No, he makes it back. I like Absolutely. that. Once again, forward. this is going right down to the line. It, I was gonna say he is not letting himself get he, beat up he, by that. He beat. brought it up the other game from 160. And this, oh, oh, Bush that ball, this could be it. And he's dead. There, simply turtle. <laughs> Literal applause. <laughs> the turtle does it. <laughs> Look at Zach. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that Zach pop off. Absolutely amazing. Uh, hey, mainframe, I mean. Uh, great gaming by Simply Turtles. That was, that was great. He did that it. was great gameplay for both he players. He dethroned the the Zach. So very very nice to see. And now we're gonna see. Check if Dad Ice is in the chat. And now we're gonna see winners. I don't know if we'll see it right now. Uh, right this. No, second. he's not in the chat. Unfortunate. Uh, no, we, uh, we are gonna see uh, simply turtles what in grand finals. Dad GCU. Ice is not in the chat. Let's go. All right, let's go. I was now like... GCU in grand finals. That so, is true. Exciting. Oh, that's so true. Very, very, very fun. GCU and Grant. GCU is popping off. GCU and Grant. Absolutely. Who is actually? Let me. Who's let me, in, let, let, let's in that bracket? Let me see that bracket. <laughs> I'm checking this bracket link very quickly. This is not grand finals. This is winners finals. You're a fool. Oh, it's not. I mean, I meant winners finals. My bad. So why? Why didn't simply turtles? For, I was thinking. I was like, what? <laughs> not grand finals. I was like, was what? We're not going that fast. We're going straight into winners finals. This is. I'm on a high right now. Let's All right. Go. So, oh yeah. So GCU grants is guaranteed though, because these are both varsity players. Yeah. What an exciting night for FFM esports. Let's go. GCU esports at FFM. Who is in? Who's in losers? How's that going? Uh, let's actually check real quick. Um, that is currently. Uh, J Red and Shire playing, and then uh, the Zek and uh, Pandas are playing. Which Schroeder DQ. Okay. Schroeder DQ to Pandas, which means Pandas is playing the Zek and Luden now. Oh shoot! Um, and this also goes to GCU. Yeah, Pandas is another GCU, GCU player. GCU is popping off. Uh, and then Shy and the Zek are both FFF alumni of this season, and then J Red is a. Let's go. So we got a very exciting bracket here tonight. Uh, again, like we said, GCU winners finals. Guaranteed GCU in Grands and a great lineup sitting in Losers Finals, like in Losers right now. Oh yeah. What well, already kind of taking the lead here with the the thing with Bowser and Terry is like Terry isn't blown getting... him away with power. Oh, oh yeah. Good at, at guard. Simply Turtles isn't gonna quite. Maybe I would assume get as much off of Go just because Bowser's gonna be able to take those early it's actually, stocks. It, I was gonna say it's also kind of just that's actually a good point. What I was thinking is that. Uh, He's not going to be uh, have as much uh, to rely on from those like uh, just reliable bread and butter combos. Oh, that jump killed him! No! Uh, no, unfortunate. He jumped into the last one. Well, classic error that honestly befalls a lot of players. Ooh, big damage. Uh, uh, only 20. The early jump. But I was going to say that some of those bread and butter combos actually might not be as reliable for Bowser because the damage output is just not enough considering Bowser lives so long. Um, and like you said, especially if you can't pop out Go Meter. Oh, and the that, spike! That, he right jumped in the jump zone! You Ooh. hate to see it. Jab, jab, power dunk. Woo! This is, go this is going crazy, guys. I think something with both these players too is like you don't have to focus as much on like I feel like execution a lot of the time as you can just on like that's what I'm saying. Ter neutral. Terry's very like bread and butter like uh, just 
That's Jet power to pressure the shield in neutral. Yep. And so you can you you can spend more of your brain power, I guess, kind of. Being Especially because like, how like, can I get these hits? Uh, Simply Turtles very famously does not do the command inputs. He just does like B, which makes sense. Oh, unfortunately. Uh, the, uh, that was actually like a pretty good call out, but that does give Simply Turtles the game one win. This is like this is an actually cracked winner's final set right now. I don't think they can hear you. You're trying to talk to them. I think this is the first time we all your Let's go. Is it ever as well? Yeah, in the last long while, this is definitely the first time we've had two GC play. Yeah, McDaniel doesn't count. So it may it may yeah. have it may have been this might this might be the first time two GCU players are gonna win the finals in a two year desert. Insane. Where we just have one guy in GCU's yeah. winning finals. <laughs> GCU's making it's not just bright. Yeah. <laughs> neither of these pe neither of these people are bright or McDale. <laughs> Amazing. I was like, we don't have Tanner or Dom in finals <laughs> right now. Very funny. This actually, Tom, come here. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is this also both both of these players' first time in G uh, FF Winners Finals? I was gonna say it might be. Yeah, uh, I think this might be the first time these two players are also both in Winners yeah. Finals. So this is a huge stakes for everyone involved yeah, and a close. wonderful time to watch. Uh, yeah, and it's a close game so far. Like. What was almost up last game and then died <laughs> to a to a to like a suicide mm -hmm. move kind of. Well, it wasn't technically supposed to be a suicide move. It's just the fact that he missed, like uh, it was a slight, very slight margin of error in execution. For sure. And and GCU definitely uh, turning up. Definitely see the improvement in these players. Uh, I was gonna say last bracket was like last top eight was six GCU players. Top one was the Zek. Eighth was Grandma, who was like a guy who was from Ohio, and was this was his first FFF. Um, this bracket is also a lot of GCU players in top eight, and two of them in winners finals. Why does his recovery go so far? <laughs> <laughs> like why? We, we see it again. We, I was gonna say you see it again and again. It, again, it's also just a mark of uh, Simply Turtles' reliability. Like, some people think that Simply Turtles is a little inconsistent. But I think the fact he can do that, he can know perfectly every time where he can recover from, is a pretty good mark of consistency. Uh, if he can get off one good go move, he cannot get off one good go move. <laughs> Not quite landing. He does top. live that, though, so this gives him another chance. The next time he gets hit, though, it's going to be a little different. Um, I was going to say, if you can get off one good go move, it's going to put him at a hefty percent lead for when he inevitably loses this stock. I think something to oh, no. about, like this game is since both these players, you know, I bet the nerves are, are, are definitely there. That's what I was saying. I was like, the I would be shaking. I, that's why. I, that's why I was emphasizing the fact that I think this is both players' first time in an FFF Winners Finals, and it is the first time two GCU players are both in Winners Finals. The articles write themselves. <laughs> Let's go. This is why they Tom, get scholarships. The articles write They're themselves. <laughs> I was like, this is practically doing GCU Media's job for Ooh. free. Is that kill? There's no shot. Not there we go. I was like, there is no shot. Bowser dies to that. Bowser's too thick. Oh, maybe this Power one. Dunk. Jab, jab. It doesn't die. Hit him a third time, Boom. I guess. Dash, dash attack. attack. It doesn't kill. It doesn't kill. He's too big. Bowser never dies. This is the simply turtle versus the big turtle. My guy, my guy, my guy did jump get up side B. <laughs> <laughs> What a move. The, these okay. games are close as can be. He, uh, I guess Watt was just like, this one's up for God. And then he just <laughs> ju jumps, does a side view. Because I was like, there's no shot you're going for Bowser's side there. You're down. You I mean, will die first to Bowser's side. Yeah. Unle uh, unless simply Turtles, by some act of God, mashes out of Bowser's side. And dies. And then dies. I was like, and that doesn't make it bad. And I was like, because I was like, because he could mash out of it, but there's you no way he You can mash out of Bowser's Oh, side. that's insane. Uh, that's like another, I'm pretty sure. I know you can mash out of Ganon's side. That's why Ganon's side's really bad. Ganon just can't have anything in this game. For real. If they, if, yeah, I was going to say, if they, if they gave Ganon, like, if they, if they let Ganon die second in Bowser's, uh, in Ganon's side, he would jump, like, 
a spot on the tier list. Literally. And it, everyone would love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, Sibidrill's taking a early lead in terms of time frame, obviously. What was that? Like 100. We all know this. So don't don't be typing seconds. your comments now. We get it. Has been 30 seconds. Yeah. Game. Uh, that, did he hit him while he was behind him? As you big char big bodied characters have it rough. What can I say? Yep. Paul's in the chat! Everybody pop off for Paul. Paul Ice. Let's go. Paul's back. Paul Ice, your son might win the whole tournament. How does that feel? Can we get your opinion? We love you, Paul. He's at least might he at least might make it to Grands. He is now up two stops. Let's go. Deadly Turtles definitely uh, has this uh, three stock lead now. Uh, definitely, you know, taking control of this there, game. I was like, there's no way we're seeing a three stock. Surely not. Spare, oh, spare my, spare my, uh, yep, my spare my version to... eyes. Well, now we'll there see we go. Okay, what, yeah. what can bring this back. Kind of again, the what, uh, okay, Bowser the uh, absolutely can bring this back. That's what I was like, that's another interesting thing about these like two characters is like simply Turtles. Terry, Terrence Bogard. He is very obviously designed to be a comeback-based character. It's that his whole move set is bread and butter combos, and then when he gets to a certain percent, he gets super moves that just kill you. Bowser is not designed to be a uh, comeback character, but he kind of is because he just lives to two two million percent and then kills you at like fifty. And even now, it's already like already <laughs> even stocks. And it's back to even stocks. Like we said, this could be the comeback of all time, but this could also be a 3-0 for Simply Turtles. This is one of the like closest, tightest, most amazing, brave and beautiful sets I've ever witnessed. Because I've, I've seen what bring back games like this. He, he does really Absolutely. good. Absolutely, he did that to Schroeder, twice. Absolutely. And, and so, he's already got him at 73. I was like, he's catching him with that straight up smash. This, again, this could be a interaction away from winning. Oh, right either, now. Either of them, either of them. One one read and is all it takes. One, ooh. And that's not that's not the one. I was like, that does not kill your go meter is on deck. I honestly don't think that really matters much right now because yeah. Terry could kill him either way. The, ju the jump back, forward air. What a smart man! Ooh, gets two, the, getting the two frame brings it back. Out that the game. reverse three stop. We are now going to game, game four. four. We'll see if we can we can see what can continue on this. This is the set of all time. This is the set. That is absolutely true. Um, and and let's see. It'll only it'll only get more exciting from here, folks. We're gonna we're gonna. I might see even them. after I might even after grab winner of this for a quick interview before we even go to grands. Be like, how is it? How is it? How'd, How'd you do it? it? <laughs> you do You're amazing. So that's for sure. Uh, now the stakes, you know, definitely raised a little bit. What RD kind of has the feeling of like he's bringing it back. You know, yeah. Simply Turtles uh, definitely used to at least stay kind of calm. Like you know, and just keep the lead. Not go for yep. anything too or crazy sure. or go for crazy stuff. So. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> All right. Now. Oh, no. Oh, unfortunate the, SD. The, I was going to say the directional air dodge SD. No, he was up so far. We'll see if he can. It's it's not going to be hard to bring this back to you. No. I think there's, there's two types of people. The people that SD and go, man, this sucks. I'm going to play worse. And the people that SD and go, oh, I'm just going to win. I, by I, even yeah, I got, yeah, it's like, oh, I guess I'm just going to play better. Ooh, he, already jumped, even okay, he jumped in the jump zone a second time. That's what I'm saying. Do not jump there. The shield is ooh, broken. This could be dead. I mean, like, it's 27. It's dead. That is so unfortunate to this see. This is an unfortunate uh, game, for sure. Simply Turtle is kind of losing to SD and shield break. He's at 27. But, uh, it's like again, he's just not out. That's just It's just how it's just how parents be. Parents Bogard, he's never he never he never gives up, he never dies. We might be uh, seeing a game five, but we can also see Simply Turtles here kind that's of. That's what I say. Them, yeah, so. that's what I say. Either either Simply Turtles makes a comeback here and he wins 3-1. Or we go to game five, which is even better. Ooh. And we go to game five. We go to game five. <laughs> and the thing is, like, here, like, both players, you know, it's kind of, like, evened out. It's kind of like, this is the game. I just hope like, Simba Turtles is not losing the steam. Is the Absolutely. But, just, again. I, don't be discouraged, because you, you, he's kind of, you it, can still. I say this about Bright a lot, but I feel like Simba Turtles doesn't necessarily lose steam. He kind of just rejuvenates steam after losing. Like, he, he loses steam first, and then, like, blows back harder than ever before. You know what I'm saying? But that, that is something I talk about with like uh, Bright. Where it's like Bright is a momentum-based player, but when you say that about someone, you usually mean uh, 
oh yeah, if they lose momentum, like like oh they do really good when they have momentum, but if they lose it, then it's bad for them. But right, loses momentum is always like better for him. Yeah. And simply Joe's is kind of like that too, just because of how his character works and how expertly he pilots his character. We're going back to the town and city. And again, Watt of course is also like very much expertly abusing Bowser's strengths to the upteenth degree. Both of them just doing great so far. Absolutely. And so Pet, every Pet. match has been close. Even that last game this was a little be, unfortunate. Th this will be the VOD review of all time. Oh, absolutely. You already know these players are, he, are he, going. <laughs> like I was jumping over and over and over again, just shaking the stage, you know, just killing <laughs> it. That is interesting about Bowser. It's like, I even now just watching, I feel like I'm shaking every time. The stage does shake. You see what I mean? Yeah. It's like crazy. Don't play Bowser if you suffer from computers. I, I know was, uh, someone was complaining that he, his side B whiffed. That was strange. Interesting. It feels like it should have hit. Ooh, hardly gets the spot. I, I noticed that. that oh, he, count, he, he pretty much counter hits that uh, that power knock by just throwing out an F tilt. Definitely uh, again, 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 good hit by, uh, by Watt. Nice catching with that doesn't rise, die, though, rising that? tackle. Another rising another tackle. One. It's not doesn't die. It's the I think he's doing the command input too, as you can see him kind of crouching for a little bit and then doing it. So kind of crazy. I think they it's also fly. that that um that they're on town and city and they're just converting out. Of there. Yeah. I actually wonder why he went back here. It actually well to be fair, it's it's probably his it's probably Simpatrol's best stage is not banned right now because obviously FD is banned. Also, true. and this is the next most flat stage. It's flat. It's, it's FD for a third. It's the one third FD. Yeah, and you can see already already gone to 66. Definitely that flatness. And then with that platform, you know, did help. I don't think the, platform. the, the platforms just increase his ability to kill him vertically. So it's like not even bad. For sure. This is probably Terry's like second best stage. No, I'm like. Yeah, I was just coming from the perspective of like, oh, you lost last game. Though. But um, sometimes you do just gotta stick to your guns, yeah. stay I, by your. I mean, yeah, here you can definitely see like simply throws not losing steam and being like, oh man, this stage I got unlucky. I'm Another not jab, jab, power dunk. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like, yeah. it's good for him to stay vigilant. Again, that's thing I think both players are very good at is like not losing steam, maintaining vigilance. Because there are some players that like that is kind of an issue. I'm not gonna like name names because that'd be rude. Uh, that be Star KO. Now th this next 30 percent is absolutely critical. Yeah, what definitely is going to want to close this stock? I was going to say, we've seen him bring it back. 52% already. That's what I was going to say. We saw him bring it back the last two games. So, uh, Simply Turtle is definitely going to want to. He's at 100%. All right, here we go. This is the critical moment. Ooh, there we go. There that we go. is a very it's, decisive manner. It's going to be a lot harder. Simply Turtle's already got a sufficient amount of extra credit. Again, 83% while he's still at zero. However, like if he was able to do that with Go Meter, that would have been insane. But it is now still still definitely in his advantage. Jump in the jump zone. He he was preparing. He was like down air. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. Because <laughs> I was I was expecting it too, Noah. Don't worry. Ooh, what kind of getting a little bit? Of I, I learned that forward smash would have been such a good call out, but it was very much misplaced, unfortunately. Um, Ooh, uh -oh. he gets it. that get up attack. That might Punishing be it. That get up attack. And it is. Oh. No SDI to that get up attack. He he tried. Noah, come here. <laughs> Great job by I'm both just gonna players. Do, I'm going to do a quick interview while we get the other sets. It'll be like really yeah. quick. Definitely I the closest promise. set of, of the tournament so far. Most definitely. Insane. That was insane. Yeah, Three, so two. Close. close set, close insane. games. Come on, come here. <laughs> and he did, he's in good. grand. He did all it. Right, all right, give him your headset. All right. we're, doing, we're, doing a quick, we're doing a quick interview. You're doing the interview? Yeah. Cool. Because it was a... It was a it was a, it was um. Well, not only was it a hype set, it was if I'm not mistaken, or rather if Tom's not mistaken, the first time two GCU players have both been in winners finals in like two years. Yeah. So um, that sounds true. And now you're in grants. Also, something interesting, me and sit down. You Watt. Can sit down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was like, uh, me and Watt have neither of us have ever been in grand finals. That, I, I kept saying that. Neither of you, have either of you been in winners finals? Uh, no. <laughs> That's what I said. Well, That's what I was bringing yeah, up. No. I, I was like, I don't think either of you have been in winners finals at FFF at least, mm -hmm. which means you've also never been in grands and now you're sitting in grands. Yeah. How does that got to feel? Yeah. Oh? Hatsune, Hatsune Miku, Miku Daisuke. Daisuke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give us like know. two seconds. All yeah. right, do you have like anything to say about uh, that? My, I think my parents, Maybe still watching. I don't oh, know. So you so want to say hi. hi. Hi, mom and dad. Hi, I mean, 
Yeah, that, right. that was a great yeah. showing. I got definitely the best set of all, all, all night. One of the best of the season. Yeah, and dude, um, I almost lost. Oh my! <laughs> you God. did. I was like, "What's happening, dude?" What's I had, happening? had to be interesting. Hello. I, <laughs> <laughs> you were selling, as they yeah. say, as they say in as wrestling. As they say, yeah. All right, high price. We do right. Got you. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, catching grands. Anyway. Good luck, yeah. Parker. Where is Parker? Is, Par is Parker using the bathroom? Just sit back down. All right, we're, we're, All right, we're getting the Simply Turtles commentary I don't think I've ever done this before. for loser semifinals. I mean, you know how to observe gameplay. Yeah. Uh, you've walked away, so now he's sitting back down. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's back. Uh, well, you, do, you can do at least this game. Uh, okay, okay, okay. All right, so now we're seeing the Zek and Shy in loser semis. Yeah. Uh, both of these are also FFF tournament winners of this season. Yeah, Is and what? they also played earlier in winners. So this is the fun fact. That's right? why, yeah, that's why I was hi really hyping up a minute ago as we were getting ready for your set, or even during your set. I was hyping up this top eight because it's like we've got two uh, two GCU players in winners finals, which means a GCU player is guaranteed into grand. That's one yeah. who's never been there before either way. And then our uh, our loser side was stacked because it's these two. Yeah. Then it was Schroeder and Pandas. Yeah. Uh, and then it was J Red. Yeah. And wait no. no. Wait no. No. So it's Pandas and J Red. Schroeder DQ'd to get no, wait. Pandas. J Red. Where is J Red in bracket? I don't know. Actually, let's check. <laughs> well, he's in losers. I mean. Okay. Yeah, it was J Red shy the Zek and Pandas. That's gotcha. what. Yeah. So I was right because okay. Schroeder DQ'd to send Pandas up. Okay. Okay. So now. These two have obviously conquered their opponents and are now in the loser semis. Yeah. Um, which means winner of this play is uh, Watt. How, yeah. how, do you, how would you feel about getting a run back? <laughs> getting a run back? Uh, I mean, here's the thing. If the Zek goes to Grants, then it's a run back. And if Watt goes, uh, goes to Grants, then it's still a run back. So. Yeah, so the only way you don't get a run back is if the Zek wins. Uh, no, if uh, Shy wins. I meant if Shy wins. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, if Pan does win. Oh um, yeah, which true. would be crazy. Um, that, that, would, would that would be, be insane. That would be historic. <laughs> he got the he got the Schroeder DQ, so that's, that's all we need. <laughs> that I literally like almost popped up. I was yeah, like I was like, dang! I was looking forward to see Schroeder play, but him DQing means, pe means yeah. Bennett is now in like top four. Yeah, I don't I, know. I think uh, he's fifth right now. Yeah, I was like, he's tied. I think he's tied fifth right now. Um, yeah, I mean that's crazy. Which either way, yeah. Yeah, great for him. He's great for him. All right, so we have the Zek up two stocks to one here. Yeah, uh, Shy definitely like in the advantage state right now though, so what I was gonna say is that like the Zek is gonna have a hard time building up the extra credit necessary to like guarantee a win here. Though yeah. it is definitely anyone's game at this point. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, With players of these caliber you can never count either. No. That's what I was saying. They're honestly pretty evenly matched just from what we've seen of them yeah. this year, even though we have seen the Zek want to win more at the moment. Yeah. Uh, you played this like earlier, right? Uh, yeah. I w at the time, I was like worried. I'm like, please don't camp him. Oh yeah, I thought yeah, he was yeah. gonna especially when he took you to a battlefield. So, I was like, no. From what I've heard, that's mostly just a Steve. That's thing. what I brought up. Is yeah. that from what I've observed and also heard from him, that is something he only brings out against Steve. Yeah, which, he right. thinks it's, I think an unwinnable matchup is what he says. Um, so uh, right. I, I understand the rationale. It's just unfortunate for well, the commentary. The <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was saying, I was like, he did what he had to win. Yeah, what he I had to, to win. That. I respect that. I'm like, yeah. no one gets to complain because I'm one of only four people who had to watch that set. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it was yeah. him, Ethan, me, and Parker. No one else gets to complain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Zach doesn't get to complain because he did it. <laughs> yeah. But Ethan gets to complain because he got canceled. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yes, I was like, really? The only person who gets to pay, get paid is Ethan. He didn't even get paid for it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's getting paid. Oh, no, that's true, actually. Yeah, Think so, about it. you know, don't feel bad for him. This is definitely a very close game right oh, now. Oh, yeah, though. absolutely. Uh, high percents from both players almost caught him in that nair, which most definitely would have left to an up smash. Yeah. But uh, the deck does SDI around it. Um, that is the difference I noticed between uh, your game against the Zek and uh, Watt. Watt was not really. Ooh, there's the nice. up smash there. All right, the comeback. I was gonna say that uh, the Watt was not really like SDI out of a lot of stuff. The Zek was. Yeah. Zek was SDI almost every time. Yeah. All right, I'll pass. All right, now we can have Parker back. Uh, thank you. Good. For me on good luck and congrats. Yeah, thank you. I'll see you in green. And we're back after. I should have. I should have pressed your cough button because there was. A <laughs> and you were passing it back. Insane. All right, we're going into game two. We I don't know what happened. 
Uh, Shy won. Let's it was very close, both at high percent. Why weren't you watching, Parker? I, I was. I saw the Zek ahead I'm by kidding. a lot. It's funny. Parker stood up. He walked away for like a second while I was interviewing Noah, and then the game started, even though I told him to wait. So I was like, well, we're getting the Simply Turtles commentary, even though you like immediately came back. And I was like, well, we're not trading off mid-game, so we'll just have the Simply Turtles commentary. We'll just say it's practice for SSS, because that's what we're going to be doing for a lot of SSS, is getting like those high-level players to like come onto the mic every now and then. So it, yeah. also, it also offers a break for the other commentators while still keeping the content hot and fresh. Absolutely. And, you know, we, we here at DC want to do our that, best. That, that whipped counter gets big. punished real hard by that F smash. That's something I do not use enough. Your ninja forward smash is kind of kind of broken. It, it's like nutty. What do you mean you don't use it enough? It's nutty. <laughs> Even I know this. That's what I mean. I need I know. it more. <laughs> yeah, it's like that's exactly what you're saying. Yeah, I know. Yeah, just any move where he pulls out that sword is yep. kind of. And he's got he's got forward smash. He's got aerial forward smash. <laughs> aerial <laughs> forward smash. And that's oh, all forward air is. I I and heard. That's the forward air. I heard that Sakurai actually planned to add aerial smash attacks to ultimate and then was like this is too ridiculous to implement <laughs> and then he did it's too much time yeah and then he did <laughs> i mean then he added steve to I was gonna, place a block too, i was gonna say i was like ever seen sephiroth bro technically robin actually has aerial smash attacks that's of true of weapon sword. yeah that's um, crazy he was like nah just kidding <laughs> just kidding Can you imagine how i got to like execute though I think I like, guess you'd use C stick actually. That I was playing my my suit name plays Brawlhalla, and so I was playing Brawlhalla with him. Uh -huh. And like he's telling me to do some inputs, and I'm like, my fingers are not fast enough yeah. to do this. Like this is too complex. It's like what I was joking about L canceling earlier. It's like I don't even know what that means. <laughs> so much words. I just want to play monkey and hit the funny button. It makes me feel like when people ask me for like driving directions and I don't drive. I'm like, why would I know where the, what a street is? I don't drive. I just walk from place to place and I make it there. There we go. This is now one. I was just gonna say the shy is uh the shy is down because uh, I had just one game one and there was high percent for a lot of that last uh that game. And now the Zek is up in the set count technically. Well, they're even, but Zek now has the priority. You know. Um, and they are now going into game three. This is, again, my reminder that this is best of five, so it will be whoever makes it. <coughs> whoever makes it past this game is just one step closer. To oh, yeah. <laughs> I say, and I was just, as I was talking to with Simply Girls, these players are both evenly matched, especially in terms of what we've seen from them at FFF. I mean, we already saw them on stream. Earlier. Yeah, that as well. Uh, just to, even today. Yeah, they're even more matched. Um, so, like, it's really, it's gonna be really close. Both of these are gonna be players are gonna be fighting very hard to see who makes it to uh, Grants today. Ooh, good tech. The the other uh, interesting thing we were saying, so that's something uh, super brought up, is that so I was saying, oh, how would you feel if like uh, this Scott's not here? Like, how would you feel if you had to like go for a, uh, a run back with Scott? And he brought up the fact that like if he loses, if Scott makes it to Grants. And if the Zek makes it to Grand, he'd like basically any outcome would be a run back in Grand. Mm -hmm. um, unless Pandas makes it to Grand's or Shy makes it to Grand. And, and Pandas got beat by the Zek, so. Yeah. These two also played in bracket earlier. Mm -hmm. so, so this is also a run back. It, it's all the same old, same old. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's why I was really hyping up this, this, uh, this week's top eight. Yeah, really exciting. Even though the bracket was slightly smaller than usual, it was very stacked. I can only imagine what it'd be like if Schroeder uh, didn't beat Q. Mm -hmm. um, but that just put pandas into ta into like uh, the, the loser side, like mm -hmm. higher in the loser side. Um, I believe he has to play. Oh, I think he might have to play Scott. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's this match. Then the winner plays Scott, and then the. Oh right, pandas is already out. They lost. Yeah. The, the, the winner of this plays uh, Watt, and the yeah. winner of that. Plays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, nice down tilt. Small up battlefield, better platform. Where's that dash attack up smash? It is down tilt. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, I, that's what I said down tilt that first, and I'm like, let me double check that. Yeah. All right, Shy is once again up. This is a lot closer to the game one situation than what it was in game two. Yeah, definitely very uh, polarizing. I guess. That, that is a good way of putting it. Um, although, I'm these are kind, of, these are kind of a little bit closer than some other ones. That's true. Um, uh, right now, looking a little tough. I, I, I just think either way, Grant is going to be really interesting um, because it's either a run back or not, and either outcome is cool. I know. I, do you I kind of want to see 
uh, Shine Grins just to, like, be not a run back. But, like, again, the Zek, multi-time FFF winner in this season alone, and I, again, I would not put it past him to. Even if uh, Shy is currently leading. You haven't, you said it before, because again, we saw these people play already. You don't really have any comments about the uh, Grinning Smash, right? Because you never yeah. really, play, you never really like, uh, played or lost to this Not really. I, think I, I mean, I have, and I don't remember too much of it. I know the last Sora I played, I won. Yeah. And I just remember it was like, it's hard to punish stuff, but like, yeah. there is a good it, it, it's, it's hard to punish because not only does like Sora just have a good amount of space to work with because of the Keyblade, but also, as our lovely technical director Evan Narwhal said earlier, shy spacing is insane. <laughs> Very true. Uh, he's got he's kind of doing a really good job at just constantly having a hitbox in her opponent's face, while just being able to just then demolish them once they try to come. For sure. That is a very funny way to end that game. I, I almost, like, down air, <laughs> down air is, is so laggy if it hits the stage. And it doesn't spike either, so it's like, uh, you, so you don't really use it off stage either. Well, that's a it, weird move. It, it, it can kill off stage, but you would be better using any of your other aerials. For sure. Uh, it was a good mix up. But that was, I was going to say, so that's why it's such a good mix up there. It just goes smack. Oh, I should have I should have clapped him with my controller. Uh, I sometimes forget. I'm like, I'm not always on camera. They can't see me do this. <laughs> but talking with my hands is like emphasizing. Okay, all right. We are not seeing a switch to Young Link. I think that is one of the most like critical uh, details I can emphasize here. We did see that the the first game. Yeah, uh, yeah, and it, I'm pretty sure. Actually, that did work though, right? It did. It did. Yeah, he won. He won last time when he switched to uh, Young Link. He's really trying to end this stock early. Uh, get a solid lead. Super, that is what you need to do, to be honest, when you're uh, down in uh, loser semi. Um, I'm really interested to see, like, I was thinking about how either of these two are going to match up against uh, Simply Turtles. I realized I'm trying to think about how interesting it'll be if any, either of these two match up against Slot. Like, you just have a really good um, top eight listing here. Get the upper to forward air. Not sure if that's true. I think it can be if you do it, if it's like just under the right circumstances. Yeah. But it, it's probably not on Sora though. Is the funny thing. Yeah. So. Nairs, uh, nairs, nairs for days, and then down tilts and up bears for days. <laughs> what can you say? Yep. They just keeps going. I say, like, there we go. Nair that's that's an, it's it's almost similar to Ike, in that like you hit an aerial, you're probably throwing out another one because you have a really consistent like uh, follow up. Uh, a little too early on the up smash, but it doesn't matter because there comes the up air. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, I was like, you're really just testing his mash there. It's kind of like when, uh, when like K rule buries someone. Like when most characters like bury someone, it's it's like it's like freezing them as well. Where you're just you're playing. No, Rob is who I was thinking. Of. Yeah, when Rob buries. You're playing to assume that they're going to mash out as quickly as possible. Because if they mash out fast enough, they might not get hit at all. But if they also, if they stay in the maximum amount of time while you already tried to call out them jumping out of uh, being buried or frozen, um, kind of get to get away. You either have to hard commit to not getting out, or you have to mash out literally as fast as humanly possible, like before their reaction time is even allowed to do an option. That is a very dangerous time to re-grab the ledge. But it does it does kind of pay off because the... Uh, Percent is, e is as even as ever. Even stocks, even percents. If shy takes yeah, the uh, same, that I was gonna say that third side beat. It, it was. I, I would have honestly gone for it as well because the second one connected. But because of the slight down angle on it, uh, she wasn't able to connect with the Zek, which left the Zek to kind of just pretty hard. Uh. Okay, the, this is again. This is now. This is more similar to game two than it was to game one or three. They're kind of just trading back and forth. They're like, okay, who's up to the other two to one stocks? Mm -hmm. Like. Uh, Goes for the doesn't go for the forward air, like in the other stuff. And that nice, yeah. nice, uh, nice uh, spike there. We've seen the Zek go for a few of those and unfortunately missed them. So it's nice to see one connect. True. Uh, and, and now we're seeing more the more closer sets. The two two seen in game five. Yeah. All right. They're looking over stages right now. <coughs> now, Kingdom Hearts music on Battlefield. Oh, shoot. Fall Battlefield. 
big battle for you. Big. Surely not. Don't don't tempt me. Just play on Battlefield version of Big Battle. Oh, they're just going back to PS2. Okay. Back to PS2. Now, game five scenario, like I said, most exciting FFF top eight to ever occur. Absolutely. The best one to ever happen. We've never seen greater. Perhaps we never will, but one can only hope. Now, here we go. Version Z, Igor. Is that Igor as in like, Tyler the Creator uh, album? No, it's probably Igor as in like Persona. Anyways. <laughs> uh, sorry, I realized hey. I actually had not enough gamer brain rot. Anyways. There we go, catching them on that platform. Okay, I think this might be similar to the, the game one and three and not two and four in terms of uh, by kind of solidifying a lead here. But it, it's a little too early to call though, as um, Zek is kind of pushing back to the plot, to the like. Yeah. This is an odd number to game, so. It's true. It, with such fun. That's a good point. <laughs> the evens are odds. Odds are. We'll see someone. I know up tilt's a very, a very good uh, thing tool for Greninja in this matchup. Because up yeah. tilt is a disjoint. And it kind of makes you go a little lower. That's the thing. Like, Greninja has a, so, like, you wouldn't expect it because he's like a ninja, but he has some really good disjoints. Very true. And like, she's like it, yeah, there we go. I was going to say, especially in forward air. And there it was. And F smash as well. Isn't back air also disjointed? Uh, I don't think so. I might be thinking of a different thing. There we go. Now Shy is taking the lead, but it is close as can be in terms of percent. Uh, Zex successfully getting out of the yeah. That's another thing I was mentioning. Uh, Watt was really not SDIing out of a lot of stuff that Simply Turtles was putting out. And the Zek was. The Zek was SDIing almost every time. Mm -hmm. Like, flip a coin, the Zek probably made it out. Sure. And it's funny, because you could attribute that to, oh, well, he maybe he SDIs that. He, he always SDIs out of power dump. So if Rising Tackle comes out, he gets hit by it. Or he always gets hit by one, so he always gets hit by the other. But no, he was getting out of one or the other. He was correctly guess, like, guessing one or the other. Yeah. And the thing uh, is, it's just sometimes he would get right up, he would get caught off guard. Right? Like, and the thing like, is, simply, simply Turtles won either way. Yeah, like, exactly. It was good adaptation. That's the thing. And, the, and then, that, that's why I said I think kind of um, allowed Simply Turtles to really pull out a win over uh, Watt, even though um, Simply Turtles almost lost. Covering that with a back is very smart, but it uh, that does expertly get around it. Um. Uh, oh yeah, just, just that that was a lot of what uh, allowed Watt to be to be uh, to be beaten by Simply Turtles, despite the fact that Simply Turtles almost lost from a reverse 3-0. Whereas the Zeg again was was SDI so well out of uh, Simply Turtles moves and is doing like the same with Shy. With uh, where it's like you can SDI like pretty well, you don't get hit by those numbers. Uh, that was a nice counter mix up from Ledge, for sure. And get catching the, with an upper. Get the upper. That you do not. That, and the Don, you really don't want to be above Shy when you're. You don't want to be in the air above Shy. For sure. So and it's a know, dangerous spot. Yeah. Shy's got the lead now. Yeah, I was, I, I was gonna say, yep, she has. She has the lead. Um, yeah, exactly. Almost a whole stock. There's gonna be a lot of stuff for the Zek to have to get past if he wants to win this game. Now it is a whole stock. Yeah. No. All right, so I, I sometimes there's like moments of silence, and then I like realize it. And I'm like, I need to cover the moment. Yeah, I'm like, uh, it's just, but it's just like <laughs> when the gameplay is this good, it's hard to almost not be a little awestruck. Uh, it, that's what it was like with the uh, Simply Turtles and Watt, where it was like almost so, it was so exciting, it was hard to. Stop. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely hard for. Ooh, there we go. Nair, Nair up air, and it's not quite a kill yet, but this next interaction. Yeah, that'll Just go. like that. And that's it. The pop Shy off. The, game. <laughs> <laughs> the loser's bracket pop off. I mean, hey, uh, that's that. She's now in winner's finals, so it's now her and the uh, Watt playing into grands. For sure. Let's go. All right, so we are now going to see the Shy and Watt. Play in losers finals to see who gets to challenge Simply Turtles and Grands. Oh yeah, so we'll see if we'll if we'll see a GCU Grands or if yeah, we'll we could see a run back GCU only Grand Finals. Insane. Imagine. It'd be absolutely. But we also could see Shad's second time in uh, FFF Grands this season.
for sure. Yes. For sure. So, so many, so many possibilities. So we could and see only one reality. Exactly. There's only one reality. We could see Watt's first FFF, simply Turtles' first FFF win, or Sky's second FFF win of the season. Oh yeah. So many outcomes to to bear. Regardless. Very exciting, all of them. Absolutely. Let's see. Let's yeah. see him happen. Uh, let's get right in. One of these three players remaining has got to have to make it happen. We're yeah, they, these two are current. These two are currently playing for third. <laughs> oh yeah. And so regardless, well uh, placed. Uh, obviously, good competition. Uh, everyone worked very hard for for their placings, and uh, you know, very very fun night. Yeah. Nonetheless. And uh, and yeah, I mean, we'll be seeing Bowser. Bowser. Are, are you are you coming to SSS? Parker? Probably. I think it'd be cool to commentate with the rest of would be fun. I think you're very good at it. Let's go. I think All right. Our commentary is kind of cracked. It is kind of cracked. It's kinda also, cracked. we have the benefit of like the most interesting sets always happen True. when it's you and me. True. Like EO4, the Zeg, <laughs> love it or hate it. Love it or hate it. Love it or hate it. It was like probably the best, <laughs> one of the most interesting sets that happened all year. And now, and now, Watt versus, um, Watt versus Nipple Turtles, probably one of my favorites all season. Absolutely. Well, it's it's close because Bright and Ags was also like incredible. For block. sure, for sure. Were you there for that? Yeah, that was last. You were there for that too. Like I said. Insane. Like I said. <laughs> Ooh, doesn't quite die to that side. So mutually. I know Bowser. Back air after back air. I've noticed Bowser seems to have a lot more uh, horizontal combos. This is okay. This is why I was also emphasizing the SDI stuff. Not only because it was relevant to the Zex, because I knew if if Shy won, it would be relevant to Scott. Because Sky wasn't as good. And Big up smash. That is a nice up smash to make it even. Just because it's like, I don't know if it even matters because Bowser's so big, he probably gets hit by them anyways. It's Bowser side. <laughs> Bowser side at zero! Woo! Against Ima Sora. Imagine the morale boost. Ooh. Okay, Snap. that is actually a, a good counterpoint to what I was going to say. Is that like, I don't know if, I was like, if Scott wasn't like SDI out of uh, Terry stuff, I don't know if he can get out of a lot of Sora's moves. Then I realized, I don't know if he can get out of them anyways, because Bowser's super duper big, but he just like, ever hit something with, he, he basically like reversed something with a side B. So I was like, you can side B out of Nair. That yeah. is insane. <laughs> For sure. Do that more. Yes. I mean, I'm no expert on the Sora Bowser matchup specifically. So it would be something you have to lab and experiment with. But you don't have time for that, so just try it again. Ooh, nice. Big downer. Still not a kill. kill. That is quite. That's actually very. I, I guess he wasn't that hyper. <laughs> it's also that it sent Shy up and not out. True. I was going to say, because she is playing a character that is so light that I was very surprised it did not die. Even it was, since there was 100 after hit. Yeah, you see both these characters. Like, Bowser's almost at kill percent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, not yet, though. <laughs> Shy's been at kill percent for four years. I say for like 40%. I was like, Shy was at kill percent 40% ago. Why does about 40% corrupt kill percent? I like that little that little move where you kind of just wait on the platform, went down, and like, I'm grabbing you. Yeah. Didn't quite work out, but I like the idea. Shy is taking the lead, and again, if she can get like a good loop on something or something on what, that will be a good way for her to basically close this out. Game, game one, at least. That is, that is another way, is that just catching him off the ledge. I feel like Shy would nice way for Scott to make it back. Let's go. Shy would definitely be a harder matchup, I feel like, for, for Simply Turtles. So. I don't know, because we saw how close Watt was to winning that, but Simply Turtles just had the clutch effect. That's true. So I, yeah, I feel like either I feel like I feel like either one is not gonna be any easier. Yeah, e either way. That's just how it, that's just how it works when you're playing into grand finals. I was almost gonna say that is such a calculated risk, and I'm like, no, she's a stock up. Like, well, she's a stock up. Yeah. Because if if Shy if you tough. if you risk like your entire game, I'm like, will they tech this? If they don't, they get bounced out and die. Mm -hmm. If if you tech if you like st stake the entire game on that, you are such a baller. That is awesome. But oh, yeah. she did have a stock lead. It was actually pretty safe, which just means you're smart. <laughs> For sure. Well, Down well, in city. Well, All right. That is the first game we'll be moving on to game two. If Watt can. All right. Let's go. We're going into game two on Town and City, Shy and Watt. Again, I'm actually not sure this is that beneficial, beneficial for Watt, but we will have to see. To be fair, a pretty big uh, factor here. Bowser already lives forever, and this basically gives Shy like no advent to kill Watt up. But off the side, it would actually, I would say off the side, it will actually be a little easier. Yep. Is the thing. That's the main so. thing. 
the, 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 the horizontal kills will actually be made better. The vertical kills will be made slightly worse. And honestly, the margin by which the horizontal kill power is made better is, I think, wider than the margin by which the, verti the, hori yeah, the vertical kill power is made. So I think there's honestly a net gain for Shy. Like, even if she's going to have to carry him all across the stage with an loop to get fled, uh, she still, like, does have the advantage of having a character with wider range. In terms of uh, Paraga and just the, the Keyblade Disjoint in general. Actually, can you move uh, with an up air before going for up? Very smart there. Doesn't uh, quite super armor through the side yeah. side there. Why does he definitely have to play this real save? Yeah, definitely hard for him to punish a lot of I say it's hard to punish because he just doesn't have a he doesn't have a disjoint. Even though his hitboxes are still big, his hurt boxes are also Ooh, big. Boom. Head so shot. it's like punches her in the face. I was like I was like I was like, even if uh Watt has big range himself, just that his his he's such a big target, which is not good in the final. For sure. That falling backer does send Watt past his last dog. Bowser side is now no longer an option. Although it's a, mi a mix-up, though it may be. I mean, I don't think. I feel like Sora makes it back from anywhere. That's the only problem. That's actually true. If if she was if she's able if she's like low enough percent to map out, uh, watch like loses. Yep. I don't even. I think Sora without a jump can still make it back from Bowser's side. 100. percent Especially on this stage, because the stage is relatively like. There's yeah. Not, there's not a lot of space before the stage. Dude, that was actually quite a lot. Doesn't quite die. I think, I think um, all right. Watt, Watt's gonna have to have a hefty deficit to come back from. Can't count him out because he made this far, made it this far. I would say, but like one more in there and, or just a, let, yeah, I was gonna say, left guarding scenario. Falling up air, quite, just barely misses. Nice spacing by Watt. Oh, and there, and same another, as the last game. another down air. Same stock. Same, same stock yeah. episode too. So, so you know, shy up 2-0. Shy up 2-0. What? We've seen Watt down 2-0 before. He almost won the set. <laughs> he almost won the set with a guy in grin. So this is definitely not done and done. Not. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. Oh, yeah. oh man, is the is the sweatshirt coming out? Coming off? It is. He's taking off the weights. <laughs> He's gonna fight shy in real life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said, he said, catch this overhead IRL. My guy is opening the fifth gate. He's taking off the weights. He's doing all the anime stuff, makes it joke. All right, uh, he is now, he's, he li I feel like he literally did like remove the hoodie to just increase his power and reduce the pressure on his arms. Uh, all right. To be fair, I used to do that when I would wear, uh, I would wear my jacket here. Let's go. I would just take it off in game first. <laughs> It, it, it's just one of those little things that's like a mindset change. It's like changing your character's uh, skin. I played a person and I was between each game eating the cheddar bunnies. Or the, yeah. Like, that must have been interesting. There was one time where I brought a box of Samoan cookies and I said, if you, if you take the set, I will give you one. Amazing. Did you win more or lose more? I, I actually don't know. I, I think I actually I had about a pretty good scratch at some point. Nice. It actually might have been game wins though. I might have said if you win game wins. Okay. Not sure. Oh, like the win. Ooh, there we go. That up smash. Let me see what I, I should have done is I should have been like, okay, if you beat me, you get as many cookies as games that I win. So they have an incentive to throw one game. Yeah. <laughs> you play starter. Yeah. <laughs> he really wants a cookie. All right. This is now completely even. Like I said, anyone's set still and anyone's game. The only problem is that Shy has a much smaller, uh, much smaller hoop to climb to get uh, out of losers' finals in the grand. For sure. The fact that she only has to win one more, why has to win three? Why has to win three back to back? He cannot afford any more losses. For sure. And and the thing is, that both of the players, you know, Simple Turtles, sitting in, in uh, winners. This thing, I, it's either it's either a run back, and that could be positive or negative, for, honestly, um, or. It's Shai, who he has not played all day, and honestly, I cannot begin to tell you how that matchup will play out. Uh, we, you're just going to have to stay tuned and see it. They're just, they're just waiting. 
That was a very, like, very well spaced dash by uh, kind of Watt. Around that. I was like, by <laughs> Watt, to just shimmy through that uh, Undaga. Try is kind of taking, Try is taking the percent lead, but it is Bowser, so it's like, who cares about a like a hundred percent lead? Ray. We're practically even. Yeah. Especially Think with this. would kill on a platform. Oh, not anymore. If it was top battlefield platform, yes. Here, probably not. I'm not sure actually. Because it is small battlefield. That's what I was saying. I was like, there's no top platform. So like, the Nairs are taking us to 60 percent. Where? Where? 70 percent. 80 percent. We're getting, we're getting high up there, folks. Uh, it's going on. Thundaga here is so incredibly dangerous. Oh. There, I, honestly, she would want to just cycle back to Thundaga as quickly as possible. Like, you're not getting much of a, a Faraga at 130%. That was a very good mix-up, but Watt expertly dodges around it. Yeah, very good recognition. Just a... Uh, I'm not going to hit with that. I think That's I what I was thinking. I, I, I even thought, I was like, Thundaga's coming out here, right? <laughs> yeah. There it is. Yeah. This side beat. Got to take the stock. Shia oh, yeah. almost brought him off let off the stage. That would have been very dangerous. Uh, we'll see. Well, we've seen Watt bring these back. Let's we'll see if he can do it here. Yeah, if Shia wins this, she does go to Grand. Um, Watt's got Watt's got to really get the clutch factor in, which we know he's capable of. But that up beam might make yeah. it over. Oh, it. No. unfortunately, Watt is eliminated for the bracket. But that means that Shy is going to grand finals with Simply Turtles. This might be the most exciting set we've had so far. Next, coming up. Luck round. Let's go. Wait, wait. Oh, come here. Wait, wait, wait. Move it over, Eric said. That, no, this way. No, this way. Go towards me. Oh, oh, that's perfect. Eric, oh. No, it's over. It's a. Uh, it's over, Eric. Got him. Thumbnail. I hope. One can only hope. Amazing. What will? What? What will? You? We'll see. Well, that's the thing. I. What do you mean? Uh, I I think we learned that. Oh yeah. No. Oh no. Yeah, I know. We were uh, talking before about how um like Scott. I was mentioning earlier that like Scott's not SDI is probably a problem, and I think that kind of panned out. Um, as far as that was concerned. Yeah, and now we'll see if how well Shy can. The thing was it. also just he just was not able to hold on to his own. He just kind of died there. Yeah. Uh, and unfortunate, but what can you do? You know. Uh, it, no, it, what can you do? That is the question. That's why I'm like I'm like playing my my each game through my head, and I'm just like that. that that's that's why I was also concerned. Like I, when Adam was asking, like, oh, what can you do? I thought he was talking about. <laughs> I thought he like thought Scott was playing Noah again, and I'm like, no, Scott's not playing. Scott's not playing now. Um, why, why are you so blank? I'm tired. Oh, fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. But I can't blame you. I won't be tired once this game starts because it, it's gonna be gonna be intense. So it'll be it'll be fun to see this. You know, see how Simply Turtles does. That's right. I, I was like, I was having a hard time coming up with what's happened last set because. Going into next set, and I'm really excited for next set. Oh yeah! So because next uh, set is grand finals. It's exciting um, for sure. We'll see if we'll see if the, the ice fam is. Thing. Is the ice fam is still the in the ice? chat? We hope so. One can only hope. Do it for your family. Um, Make them proud. Thank you. I know. I know. My family's been watching my commentary sometimes. I think Watt might have to watch his spacing a little. It's not. I think the main thing from tonight is that Watt is going to have to look at practicing SDI a lot. Yeah, uh, just, sure. just disadvantage in general, because like, like I said, it was it was emphasized with Noah, and that's what I I think my exact words were like. I brought it up with the Zek and um, Shy. Let's I, go. Because I knew if it's because it was relevant to the Zex game with Simply Turtles, uh, and it's relevant now in the Zex game with Shy, which means if the Zek loses, the Shy plays what, and it will be extra relevant there, and it was For relevant. Sure. For um, sure. And the other additional thing. Is not only is like why well, was not getting out of those, just like he wasn't with Simply Turtles. Uh, Adam headbanging. That's going on. That's going on. Goes GCU hard. esports clips. I am sure of it. Absolutely. Um, yeah, clip it. Yeah, clip, clip it. it. Clip it. <laughs> clip it and ship it. Uh, Adam is like our weekly meme. Let's go. We're getting very okay. I'm gonna stop talking about the last six. We're getting very close to this. They're literally yeah. getting their. I, I think another right thing now. too is just being aware of like hitboxes. Yeah. Could be tough. I think you guys. Oh, oh yeah. Thank you. Know. That that was my next main point. Space. 
He did a he did a few moments of really good spacing, especially with Thundaga, but just the fact <laughs> guy was way more in his face than he was. In All right, let's get. All it. right, he was kind of uh, he was kind of hanging back too much and not being able to. Hit it. Okay. And once right. more, you know, simply throws rough in the the green terry skin, which I would argue is the best terry skin. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, <laughs> anyways, Shy and Simply Girls now in Grand Finals. This is Game One. This is the final set of the night. Perhaps the last set you'll ever see. Who knows? <laughs> Let's hope not. Let's hope we're here next. Week. Yeah, it better not be. You better be back here next week. Absolutely. Now, Shy is kind of creating a very early. Lead. Hey, uh, but the closer he gets to 100, the closer he gets to. That is ultimately true. Cool. And having Go Meter out against Shy is really important. Uh, because Sora just dies so easily, or dies so quickly, I mean, because he's so light. For sure. He's, he was really jumping a lot as well, and I think... It'll be hard. Might, I was going to say, that might be to his detriment, because Shy can then just dare. It'll definitely be hard for Simply Throws to get those jabs. Like I, that's why I was saying he has to stay grounded as well. Um, and I think he's kind of doing that now. Um, all right, Shy building up some extra credit there, but uh, Simba Turtle is definitely making his back. Like I said, he has such a perfect room to make it when he can make it back. For sure. But I swear he has to draw a circle in him. Uh, nice. None of those people who can draw uh, like no a power knuckle. Again, I think that's another example of what you're saying of like not being able to re react to your own like punish. Because he had a jab there and then didn't do power knuckle, which he honestly should have done because it would have killed. But Shy escaped it. Uh, with that long Ooh, that was a nice good trade. recognition that if I trade this, I win. Because I, uh, I have the higher priority. Right, well, or rather, I don't have a lower priority. Alright, go go meet her back on deck. Yeah, I guess the Nair doesn't quite react to it. Alright, I was going to say, Simitrolls is kind of showing us how much it matters that um, Bob was not really able to escape a lot of what Sora was doing. Um, and again, to be to be fair to, to Watt, uh, Bowser is incredibly big bodied. Uh, Terry has a much more slender frame, actually. Um, so, like, getting out of things is just easy. But it is still important to recognize that like, that, is, that is helping a little bit. Even though, still, it is still important to recognize like that is another thing. Uh, Shy is really getting away with a lot of follow-ups. Good recognition of this, uh, just, uh, kick back over at, uh, Charlie. Nice, still being able to catch that Buster Wolf despite uh, the jump height. Again, just really good recognition from Simba all around. Uh, Ooh, goes for the power grab. I was gonna say, nice Faraga uh, by the, by Shy to set up for that side B. Simply Turtles, Simply Turtles is staying alive though. Simply Turtles is pretty far down though. Ooh, that is okay. He now knows that he can catch that Buster Wolf even though she's like floating above yeah. him. Which I mean, is interesting. The the thing with like if you if you are a fast faller and Terry goes for jab jab Buster Wolf. There's no it's time counter that allows Simple Turtles to recover back. Sorry, Let's go ahead. Go. Uh, if, if you get hit with Jab Jab, uh, Buster Wolf, it's not true because if you fall fast, you can shield. Yeah. Whereas, you know, with Thora here, not going to be able to shield because you're still that's in the air. That's a good point because, yeah, that's like the best way because you it's really it's one of the harder things to SDI out of. Um, and again, it's a mix up between SDI and out of that, uh, Power Dunk and uh, Rising Tackle. Yeah, Ooh, he does get that. Shy does take the win there with the up B. Um, so it's a mix-up between SDI and out of those three options. And not only is Buster Wolf one of the harder ones to SDI out of, it's almost just better, like you said, to just drop down and shield. Yeah. Um, I mean, you could SDI up. I don't know. If, 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 you're, if you're a floatier character, maybe. Yeah. Because it's almost the inverse scenario. But you're, you're right that you literally cannot fall and shield because you're floaty. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. Ashai is up game one, and it seems like they're going to Kalos. I guess they went back to change their music. Important. Island Kahura. This is actually relatively good for both of them, because I mean, obviously, like, this stage is just generally good for characters who have zoning tools, but, uh, it, or die early, because they can just stick to the center of the stage and then hope to live a while. For sure. Um, however, this is also very good for FGC characters. Like I was saying, FGC characters, they want flat stages. They want this stage, they want Town and City, and they especially want FD. So you have to ban all three, to be honest. Mm -hmm. so like we said, this, this now this stage is where you lose the vertical kill battle. Yeah, my guess would be. But that actually, rising tackle does actually still kill in this stage. It's really, really yeah, it's like. Crazy. Yeah, I mean, my my guess for the bans would just be like FD, 
Town and City, and probably like small battle. Too. Should I take another early kill just from that uh, that air loop and F smash? All three nerds come out. Uh, Every capitalizing with a uh, dash attack. Yeah. Again, there we go. Now, now, that's the thing. It's almost hard to tell if the nair loops not connecting are a mess up of execution, a mess up of. Oh, okay, if it's like shy messing up on execution, if it's simply rules succeeding on SDI, or if it's kind of a mix of both. I think it's probably a mix of both, where Simmons is is doing all he can to get out, but it's also uh, only getting up because shy is kind of like flubbing down. Definitely see Simply Turtles uh, just like ledge drafting not being quite as effective against Shy. Shy one just doing a good job to kind of avoid that. There we go. I think yeah, we're gonna see that. I think we're gonna see Jab Air Bust Wolf every time. For sure. Because Shy can't SDI out of it, and like we said, he also can't do the best option, which is to just drop down. Yeah. Simply Turtles bringing this percent back as much as possible. I have noticed Shy has thrown out a lot of um, counters trying to call out options has not worked the same time. She has mostly been doing it to try and catch his recovery like yep, that, and it, it, just like I'm saying. And again, it's just not working because Simply Turtles are timing well enough to just make it past that. That Ooh. upper that upper sends yeah, him we'll to the stratosphere. That. Now, again, this is a very winnable scenario. Shy is at rel low high percent, which is still just fine for Terry, and Simply Turtles is practically at zero. Technically, he's like one nair hit away. We, okay, that's another thing we're seeing. We're seeing a lot of jump, jump get up for Raga uh, to kind of just set up to either side B or like nair. And a lot of it is like get off ledge, drop off ledge, then jump. I, I, I almost wonder if um if power, I, I mean not power, can I power wave get to this? That, that'll do the film. That, that is that does, exactly 100? Is that exactly 100%? Like I said, this is so winnable. He just has to, again, move. 27. He has to avoid that Keyblade as much as possible. 27%. That's not a kill not yet because kill. it's Kalos. Let's go. Ooh. The two frame. There we go. He's still living. I was going to say that was a very smart recognition by Ooh, Shy good match, to fire. go for that two frame. Oh, that's oh frame. unfortunate. That was very good recognition by Shy that, okay, finally realizing jumping down and countering is basically never working. Mm -hmm. I should just stay up in two frame him. Because sure. that's kind of the that's kind of the dark evil truth about Smash Ultimate. You don't want to be ledge guarding, you want to be ledge trapping. Almost, it's almost always less worth it to go deep. Like especially if they're far out, especially on a stage like this, it's almost never worth it to go deep if you because if you screw up, you just die for it, even yeah. though you had the advantage. And even if you don't die for it, you just give up stage control. Whereas if you just ledge trap, you maintain stage control. You don't risk yourself going off stage. You don't throw away. Like any of that, you don't, you don't have to stop being grounded. So going back to Kalos, Shy is up 2-0 again. Shy is the one coming from losers, which means she is one game away from a reset. So Ooh, Shy does, not gonna... so, so uh, Shy does have to win one more game to hit the reset, but then we'll have to win three more to um, actually win the tournament. Whereas Simply Turtles will still have that three-game cushion of, of, course. of adaptation and comeback and momentum. Yeah, and Shy does, you know, have the moment now simply, uh, as we were saying earlier, yeah. does is not one to get discouraged. Yeah, definitely yeah, keep that. I, I thought it'd been an interesting. Very good. Um, Let's get it. That was, that was, again, good record. There we go. Good record by Shy. Like, I don't know that. Uh, power -up. That was definitely not good. That up tilt back. Um, I was like, you need to be using counter, like. Are you okay? Can't really use it to let trap like that because it's gonna be uh, easy to stall. And then uh, but in situations like that, where you can do it, uh, he tried the two frame with the dash attack. Uh, not work. There we go. Poking the shield. Power dunk does not, not kill because I have 160. Away. That's crazy. I, I, it is across the stage. It's it's so strange because it's like on one hand this is obviously ter one of Terry's best stages um, in terms of just like being so fun. Uh, but the other thing is like. And this is definitely the only flat stage that is not banned right now. Like, I guarantee FD is banned. There is literally no world. Well, and against Sora, do you want to play on, like, Battlefield? Yeah, exactly. Oh so it's like, but it's weird because even though he has benefits to playing on this stage, there are so many detriments where it's kind of, at least in my mind, I'm like, is this stage pick worth it right now? Because you, but again, it's also just like Noah has a resilience where he's like, he can recognize, no, this is the better option even if I'm not. 
I'm not losing it on it because it's the stage. Yeah, it's the better of the two evil. Yeah. <laughs> that's the good, that's a good thing to recognize in general. Your state, your best stages are gonna be pretty objective based on magic. Like, if FD is good on Donkey Kong, that's not gonna change just because you lose to Donkey Kong. Yeah. Once. Well, like uh, I said earlier. Like, ha so, so it's like you have to have the resilience to recognize the fact that that stage is better for you is objective. Um, it is some other factor that you need to actually work on. Yeah. That is making you. Leave. I mean, like I, I, as I mentioned earlier, like, Town and City is great to do best stage, but like, whenever I play Sonic, like, I ban Town and City. That's the other thing. That's why I mean it's ba it's objective based on magic. Because it's like that's the other thing to recognize good. is that there are stages where you might get a benefit, but the opponent gets the yeah. All right. Now we're gonna zero in onto the extra gameplay for this um, last stock. Game. This could be the last stock before the reset. However, this is definitely far and above in range for Simple Turtles to uh, bring this back and just keep the uh, keep shy loser, keep shy in losers back. Ooh, good tomahawk by Ooh, gets there the downer and that'll the downer. All right. This is now two one. If we can. If Simply Turtles yeah. wins two more games, That's there is it. no reset, you just win. Yeah. And, and you know, why not close it out? Exactly. Shy needs one more game, and then the reset happens. There's still another best of five to play. Now we'll see what stages a lot. Bo both players have a lot of room to work with. Right now. Ooh, smash them. I, I can see the pick. I feel like... Well, that's the thing. Again, this is one of the more flat stages. And it's small, which is never good for Sora. Mm. Sora can carry characters along the whole stage with Nair loops. That's good. You can carry them along the whole way. Hit them with an F smash and kill them off the side. However, uh, Sora does not have the benefit of characters like Cloud and Sephiroth where the sword is so ridiculously big. It basically covers the whole stage. Um, or at least half. Des despite that, Keyblade is still very, very destroying. Simply Turtles starting already with the lead. I say starting with a strong lead, and like I said, this is a situation where Shy could die. Like right where they were there, where Shy was barely yeah. off the ledge, that could be a situation where Shy could die. Oh, you get down to side beat. That's it. That's yeah. it. Hey, exactly. I was like, I was like, just a nice meaty power up, just like that. Okay, calling out that counter because again, Shy has been loving the counter off stage. Which isn't even a character specific thing, it's just a shy specific thing that she's been really uh, excited all game. No, it's, and it's only really working. It, it worked when she was the one who was in. Uh, hey, there's the duck. When, when she was. It, it, the one time it worked was when she was off ledge and he was here. Tried to power knuckle. Now, Super Turtle is taking the lead. Already at 35. I cannot emphasize to you how important this next few seconds are. He's got... Okay, there we go. I said, he's got Go on deck, which means he could, like, create such a percent lead that it would be practically, like, unbearable to get through. Simple Drills has to bury his lead as much as possible, whereas Shy, like, with one or two um, good loops, could even it back out, like we're seeing right now. Basically, like one more interactive strike could even the percent. Whereas Simba Turtle still needs two or three to kill. Ooh, definitely two. Seems it's definitely one more. <laughs> he needs one more depending on the depending on the position of the stage. See that that uh, drop down up air again. For Shy, Simba Turtle is doing good to recognize that and not get hit by it. Also, Shy definitely STIing out of all of those uh, jab jab power dunks. I was going to say, and Simba Turtles is also doing a similar level of like actually getting away from the loop now. Uh, part of it is just like a uh, better choice of when to, um, yeah, that's the thing. Power dunk every time. Yeah. Maybe we'll see Maybe we'll see a rising tackle, maybe a power knuckle. Think about power knuckle. I don't know if it'll kill. Yeah, especially from that position of the stage, it will. Right? Even rising tackle, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if like, you can kill that on, on Smash Bros. Because there's a little bit of space between uh, flat the stage and like the blast zone. Yeah. Um, there we go. That's, that that's, that's what I said. Like I was saying, it's a thing to take note of. She jumps and Faragas anytime Faragas there. But she's trying to put you in hits. It's like throwing out a hoodie. It's like yeah, you want to just. You're not actually trying to accomplish anything with just that move. You're just trying to put them in hits so you can do something more. It was working a lot, but uh, as we saw, it's a bit you just get under it. He gets a free power knuckle, which is not, a, not only a lot of damage, but it is a free kill pretty much. 
for sure. Not a freak over the Weller. And not very close last stock here. Very we'll close last stock. Again, this could put us into game five of grand finals, which means Good grab. it would be one game from either of them, like very much throwing themselves into a winning scenario. Because Shy would hit the reset, the Paternals would win the tournament. Uh oh. Okay, this is the thing. Crucial. Side beat, like, never kills. It doesn't. It just doesn't. So that, that was like that. You just accept that loss. This could be. I was going to say. Yeah. I'm not there the, we go. Oh, not yet, though. Not Let's yet. Let's go. Not yet. Never count out Super Turtles. Turtles are, turtles are hard. That, that was such a like a intense moment of just like being frozen. Like when does he get out? Because oh, gets hit with the um, and that will be. It. I was gonna say was that because it was a re grab on the ledge? I think he just waited. Uh, I don't think that, oh, okay, I was gonna say I don't think that was a two plan. Yeah. So that was just a pressure uh, weighing in on Simple Turtles. That is now the grand finals reset, which means we're going to true finals. Um, All right. Like I said, this is a reset. They have to treat it like a reset. We need to come to. We need to, if Simba wants to still take out the win, he has to take mental reasons. For um, sure. Because this is not never too late for Simba to come back. Um, this is an incredibly intense moment in the room right now. Everyone's glued to their seats, eyes glued to the screen, except for that one guy who's on his phone. Now. We're getting right into it. Getting right into it. Um, Grand final reset. We're starting on PS2 again. Last time we were on PS2, uh, Shai did win. It's just, it's just, it's honestly, just, well, that's just because they kind of have to go back to PS2. Cause it's, again, it's a whole new set. Basically. For sure. I just saw he kind of fell out of that up, up, up deep. Yeah. Backing him out of the ice, but it does make it away. All right, dash attack. I mean, not dash attack. Uh, get up attack. That is, that is very interesting. You know, like, like you said, they just have, they've, what they've been practicing is, um, Actually, do you know if Terry has any like really solid shots? Uh, there, there's the power. There's the power. Uh, not power, not hard, power. Hardly uh, got his toes. Buster Wolf. Buster Wolf. Hardly got his toes too. That's what I'm saying. Is, like that's what I'm saying. Honestly, Buster Wolf seems like it's gonna work every time. Yeah. Uh, if she does an SDI out of it, and we haven't seen her do that yet, but she does SDI a power dunk very, very consistent. Ooh. He would have gotten that downer. I think it would have just been another downer. That's dead. the thing. Uh, Shy was Ooh, that Oh, and SDI like Sora. That is the most unfortunate thing you can see in a game, is Sora SDI. I mean, I mean, D, uh, SDI. Dying. SDI. An accident. Self-destructing. <laughs> Just for the fact that, like, that is such a good counter. Yeah. It, 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 like, even, like, its flaws are massively covered up by how it's Ooh. Did the turtles add 100? Two more Buster Wolf. I was almost expecting to get a Buster Wolf, but again, Shy was expecting it as well. That's why she was holding shield. He basically auto she auto jumps in the shield as soon as uh Spitrol comes on the way. Watch it happen again. Nope. We'll we have a down smash. From uh from, from Sora? Sora? Yeah, okay, that's what I was thinking. He uh he lives. He gets around the uh, Thundaga. Like I said, it's kinda like like Thundaga in some scenarios good for mine. Is sometimes almost just like what Zek was doing with uh Greninja Uppy. Where it's like you're not expecting it to kill, you're just giving them more problems to think about. Mm -hmm. Because then, if they don't think about it correctly, they do die anyway. That's why, um, because like we're doing stuff like that, that, that up EG, I'm trying to just blast them away with by getting back on. It's like, they're gonna get it every time. They're not gonna get hit by it. For sure. Simba Drills has gotten, has, like, has very much, like, done well to avoid Pumbaa every time. If he doesn't, it'd be very critical. Now, Ooh, goes off with the down air. Very much going deep as can be. Fun thing, I was like basically counting the pixels. Simba Turtles would have made that back anyways. Amazing. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, Shy coming, almost coming back from an SD. We can tell both of them are kind of playing at the peak of their mindset. That's what I was gonna say. Before, we were just witnessing that they had really good like pattern work. And they were good at recognizing what it, situational awareness even. Mm -hmm. Like, cause it wasn't just reading what they were gonna do because of what they've done before is mostly like recognizing the exact position they're in and assuming what they're gonna, gonna come out. And the conditioning um, by simply tools to get I was Shy gonna, to go low. Yeah, especially because Shy had already like used her counter. So like there's like no way it was coming out. Mm -hmm. So I was like now so I was like before it was like conditioning, pattern recognition, 
and um, and all of that. Uh, whereas now it's like we're just seeing them like play at the peak of mental of like their mental capacity. For sure. And that's or definitely like, a statement from from some people. That's, the like, thing. that's what I was I'm thinking. Do it. I was thinking like, oh, if Shy loses because of an SD, that's gonna suck for her. It's probably gonna put her in a bad place mentally. Uh, oh, another unfortunate SD from a directional air dodge. From twice. It's funny. I think he actually could have possibly made that back to the ledge without getting. Hit. I'm not positive. It does look like this now. But um, yeah, I was gonna say. So I was originally thinking like, oh, it's gonna suck if she loses just because of an SD. And now it's like it almost sucks more if you get. Uh, spiked that hard after like getting basically perfectly conditioned. Ooh, we're, we're here. We're hearing some members of the crowd actually go kind of crazy. Like we're hearing, uh, I say we're hearing Tom going, "Ah, gosh!" <laughs> really an exciting set. I like said it's an exciting set. It's, it's funny. It's almost not exciting. It's tense. It's like for sure. Ugh. Like we're saying, this will be Simple Turtles' first ever win ever. I'm sure his family is cheering in chat as much as can be right now. If they're not, that's it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, we need a video. Whereas again, Shy is also competing for her second FFF win. This is actually the furthest she has gotten in brackets since her last episode. Um, which I mean, it's kind of an, it's kind of redundant, obviously. Um, but just to say that um, after the FFF win, she was a um, performing not. She wasn't going quite as far in bracket as after the win. But now. She's kind of almost making a statement of like, no, I can, I can still flex. Um, whereas, Deadly Turtles will now become the next of quite a few other uh, uh, GC members to win this out. Right? It's basically like. Ooh, doesn't quite get the. It's kind of like. Deadly Turtles is just trying to put himself in good company of, the, of people like Bright showing like, I am one of the best. This is this is AZ's be like biggest local by far, and I won it. I am one of them is, is kind of the statement turf Ooh, brings it back now even stocks. exactly even stocks nearly even percent so Maturus does kind of forfeit stage control a little bit there but right. it doesn't really matter because he co completely converts it for sure and then you know here if some turtles can go up to uh that's very that's uh, very good. that's very beneficial yeah just to hold on to your moment really. Nice, not making that same mistake with the directional air dodge again. Like I said, because that's that, because that, the both times in the night he has died from a directional air dodge, it was almost certainly, it was almost certainly just a matter of, um, ooh, oh, the forward smash. smash, and it's gonna that hit. Is that's insane. Simply turtles up 2 0. Something I was wondering earlier, which we almost saw just now, is if Terry has any good ledge trump options. I was recently, like, practicing on, um, like, instant ledge trumping, yeah. which is basically, like, you, you, you get, like, right up to the ledge, you basically, Click the uh, circle in like a perfect half circle, because then you just fall under the under the ledge basically, from yeah. standing over it. For sure. And, which trumps them, which basically sends them bouncing off. And there are characters like Violet who can just go back air. And I'm like, if I was gonna say, if Simply Turtles has that option, that would be great to use because Shy is hanging on the ledge a lot. And obviously, and Simply Turtles was as well. I mean, he got punished for it uh, in the first rendition of. Grand Finals uh, in that first uh, best of five. But now here in True Finals, Simply Turtles is up 2-0. You can see he's smiling like a kid. Uh, he, I think he just put on his music right before. Let's um, go. Shy is not giving up yet, though. For sure. Um, I, I like to see how Simply Turtles definitely been just like holding certain like cards till later. Like not, That's, not just I was talking about that stuff right away. Yeah, just, like not showing your hand. It's, it's, it's a very important like, aspect. For sure. Because, like, why punish someone when it's not going to matter? Yeah. When you can like, wait. Yeah. If, like, that down air, for example. If that if that was not in a situation where it was going to kill, why use it? For sure. Because then, you can, Doesn't quite cause then you can just keep it out of her mind. Oh, you can jump in the jump zone. Don't even worry about it. Thank you. Also, I do want to emphasize to the audience, if Simply Turtles wins, he has now, he will be FFF80's winner. Like, just completely. Yeah, this, could, this is the defining game. For, for simply turtles. Whereas Shy, like, obviously there's the same level of stakes where if she loses, she now loses the whole thing. Well, not loses, she gets second. No, you mean. Yeah. Second. Uh, but second is good. No, she loses, but baby. But no, yeah, uh, if she wins this, she now swings the pendulum of momentum back in her favor, and she has two more chances. Ooh, but simply evening up the stocks. 
not allowing Shy I was to gonna say, too much ice to I was going to say, Shy will not, I, Shy and Sibidoux are now not allowing each other to leave. There's a down smash, but it's very mistimed, yeah. unfortunately, for Shy. Would have been very unfortunate had Sibidoux Turtles not grabbed the ledge. I guess, I, sometimes he just empty jumps be like, I could down air you again at any time. Yeah. I mean, I can't wait. If Noah wins, I like bet money he's gonna go. I win again. <laughs> Have you I get it for sure. Yeah. I was like, they're almost just not even. They're almost just turning that left. Ooh, long lasting. That was a it's very a long game. lasting counter. Uh, that's the other thing. Shy's counter play, as in like literally play of her counter using it, has been much better this uh, this time around. I know we did see the last game. The turtles did did grab that counter at least once. Uh, but still, here's some air loops. Simba Turtles has to get away from much here. Ooh, if, Sim if Simba Turtles can kill Shy like right around now, it is still definitely possible because Go Meter is just moments away. And we've seen uh, and Shy is, and Shy is, and Shy is very high percent. But as we saw from that, the next up B that comes out from Shy probably go. And now I was gonna say, I was just oh, gonna say he used his jump in that scenario. He wouldn't have made it back. Oh, I didn't realize that. Um, that was so. We'll see Shy take the game here. So Shy does take the game. Shy now has two more chances to become well, another winner. Well, yeah. Well, not even two more chances. Two more obstacles. Because it's like, you're not getting a chance. No, Simply Turtles is getting a chance. Simply Turtles gets an, another chance to lose a game. But Simply Turtles absolutely wants to close this out as soon as possible. Because he doesn't he doesn't want to make their, that be that pressure. Yeah. You got to go hard. Or go Though to be fair, go hard to go home. Everyone knows Simba Turtles plays pretty good under pressure. For sure. So we'll have to see. Absolutely. We know and Shy has been playing really great under pressure too. I meant to say I was almost worried that after um, after Simba Turtles brought himself up 2-0, I was almost worried that Shy was going to get discouraged and kind of just uh, play a little worse. Yeah, but, but she's not at all. But, but she's like getting resilient. She's playing even better, which is again what I love to see is that these two players are like playing the peak of their career right now. For sure. Not ever, but so far. Uh, we do know, you know Simba Turtles has beat Felix. So. That's true. That's the thing. Simply Turtles is no stranger to beating, like, really high school. For sure. And I think Shy has earned her spot as, like, a pretty high school player. Absolutely. Here in AZ. Simply getting a little, a little bit greedy on the shield there. Not being good to uh, so she is, uh, that. There we go. There's that Nair. Power, I see Power Dunk. That, there we go. Per like, oh, I said, perfectly snapping ledge with that air dodge. Oh, he flew way too far up. Put himself right above Shy. That backer misses. Oh my god, this is getting so tense. That 180. Insane. Nice waiting in the ice. That like was perfectly timed because otherwise Shy was having those hitboxes. Man. Yeah, if Shy doesn't close up this stock. There Just like that. And I say, you know, Terry 180 with go can deal a lot of damage. Like I was saying, this is sim if Simply Turtles win the tournament, it's been taking a little bit of time to get the but if Shy wins, reset the situation, and that will be game five. For sure. It is literally anyone this tournament. Who unfortunately does get the kind of, but it's Shy is kind of tearing her way through this obstacle. Who currently has the lead, but again. It's it's almost not e it's not even the most concerning when a character has a percent lead on Terry. He, okay, he, he has kill moves for days, and when he's at a high percent, he gets it's a really good. Match. So this is this is not the worst position to be in, but it's definitely not beneficial for sure. And and you know Shai's doing a very good job of keeping simply turtles just in the corner there. Of oh, just air dodging and STI out of a bunch of stuff that he's. Um, yeah. You can see simply that you can see that side from. Yeah, doesn't opt for the Buster Wolf there. I was gonna say, I think she was trying to bait. Ooh, there's the right, there's the rising tackle. Now, be? so the Turtles cannot allow himself to get hit by an air because he will immediately get taken into some sort of loop that will lead to a forward smash, or an up smash, or, or an, an up beat. <laughs> I was gonna say, or an up beat, or a down smash. There it comes. Um, there's one, there's one more chance for Jeremy to run. One more chance. There's the up air. Ooh, good pivot grab. Great tech, because that was that would have been really bad if he accidentally uh, did another directional air dodge. Um, Ooh, good mix up. Just kind of at the end there, moving to the other way. Yeah. 
I was like, we can see look, Sammy Turtles looks so angry. He's, 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 he like, wants it. He is, he wants it. He wants it more than anyone. He needs it. He's resilient. Neither of these players showing any sign of losing. Oh, I was honestly expecting a rising tackle. She kind of just floated there, but a up air will do the, will do the trick. He's waiting. That Blazaga was a, actually, honestly, a really good, um, Ooh, there we go, jab, jab, Even power stock. knuckle. This could be the last stock of the tournament. Simply Turtle brings this back, gets the, gets the grab, gets the, another grab. The, the pressure is running off the charts for, on both players to perform here. Because Simply Turtles needs to close this out to secure his momentum and win the tournament. Shy needs to close this out if she wants a chance to win it all, because she'd have to make it to the next game. And even then, Simba Turtles still has that next barrier. For sure. That, that's got to be a lot of extra pressure on Shy. That Simba Turtles could lose this and still win. For sure. Simba Turtles is doing great just getting those grabs. I was, saying, I was like, Simba Turtles is act, acting at the absolute peak. Bringing it absolutely prepared to do what it takes to win. Almost even. Again, percentage. she's going low because she's definitely trying to bait them. For but sure. But I think he knows to just stay grinding. Uh oh. If that was a jab, that was over. Yep. If that was a jab, that was completely he, he over. Took in the, he's took in the percent lead. I was gonna say no. He was just fixing positioning. He was like, "Get back off the platform." <laughs> I, oh, that backer was so dangerous. Very patient play from both players. I was gonna say both of them are just waiting for their moment because once one of them gets a single moment of advantage, it's the whole game over. Rising tackle. All right, go meters on on deck. Oh, this could be it. Buster Wolf. Oh, he wanted it. the sauce, but was it worth it? Still, both both players alive. High percent. A third chance. Hits oh it. God. Doesn't kill. All right, doesn't kill. One more chance. Again, one of them needs a single opening, and it is their tournament to win. <laughs> yeah, if people are asking for raw Buster Wolf, don't just don't make it make bad decisions. <laughs> oh no. Oh, and it kills and it Simply Turtle oh takes the win. Let's go. And a hug for both players. That's Absolutely. what we love to see. Let's go. Oh my Great god. Great gameplay by both probably players. The and very intense. Probably set. the ten. This is the loudest I've heard this MMM room get, bro. I wish they could hear it on the mic. Absolutely. All of these people are popping up so hard. Probably one of the tensest sets I've ever watched. That was crazy. We're seeing him all, everyone's giving him a hug. I would give him a hug. I, I'm just gonna hug him when I interview him. You go give him a hug. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my God. That was Let's some go. of the tensest gameplay I've seen ever. Simply ever. Turtles. Some of the tensest best gameplay from both players. Incredible job. That was close beyond close. Simply Turtles. Simply oh my God. Better. Simply Turtles doing what he does and selling his heart out. Oh yeah. <laughs> just he, selling he just those. enough. Oh my god. Absolutely amazing. I guess we're gonna do a second interview before closing this thing Elbow. out. Well, I will. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, do you have like any specific questions you want me to ask? Okay, cool. Uh, All right. Simply the best. Insane. So, yeah. <laughs> Very exciting. Oh my god. Noah's simply, family simply is goated. popping off. Yuri Let's said, go. "Simply goaded." Is Noah's family in the chat? Can we get a Can we get a Hey ya from Paul Ice and Jill Ice? All right. I'm gonna let you say what you want to say first. Uh, hi mom, hi dad. <laughs> I like it. I like to thank my mom for birthing. Keegan said, "Got me squirming." <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I was thinking about, I, I was thinking about that, but I couldn't like throw it out in the middle of the match because people weren't gonna know what it means. But I was like, Keegan's not even here. Yeah, no, he's he's a good friend of mine. I think you you would have lost if he was here. There would have been the performance. Oh yeah, the, the yeah. The performance anxiety would have been too much. Dude, yes. <laughs> congrats, there was already congrats, by the way. Congrats, yeah, by the hey, way. Thank you, thank you. I did it for you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it's because I was here. I'm sorry. I'm getting so many messages. <laughs> <laughs> what are they saying? I mean, I can't blame them. Yeah. You're the... You're the... You're the... No. Yeah. Uh, what's going on? What's going on in the chat? People are... Paul's in the chat! Oh, uh, let's go. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess you, the usual stuff is like, how did you feel going into that? This, um, is, this is, like I said, the one scenario where it's not a run back. <laughs> yeah. So... Okay, to my mindset going in Scooter was like, yeah, yeah, I got you. Uh, my mindset going in was like, we're just gonna play it like it's a set, like it's just yeah. any other set. Cause I was not trying to deal with the stress of like 
I mean, you know, is. that. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say that yeah. is like the that is like the loudest I've heard it get yeah. all season, perhaps ever. Yeah, uh, that's my round one, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did it for him. Uh, <laughs> did it for yeah. Him. Uh, no, it's uh, it was it was. It was very stressful. Yeah. Uh, I had to. I had to sell just just a little bit. <laughs> just. I, I mean, was gonna say, Noah selling you, like always. Yeah. Do you think everyone would have popped off that hard if I didn't do that? I mean, <laughs> that's I, did, I, I was yeah. saying I was like, don't lose this game because then you're selling too much. Oh like, yeah. No no, like, no 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 no. I was like no. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Calculated. Yeah. Calculated. Uh yeah no. Uh it's it's crazy. I think. Let's see. Uh, on GCU Varsity, uh, who who else has won? It's, so it's Dom. Uh, I was saying, uh, right? You're, you're, Ags, I was saying, the, your main motivation right now is to play into really good company. Also, X oh. is actually not one. It's it's oh. Dom. Yeah, so Bright and Keegan. I think it might just be Bright, Bright Keegan. Keegan is. It might just be of the current Varsity team. I yeah, think no, it. I think you're right. No, EO four, obviously. Yes, he won this. He won this team. Yeah. So yeah, I mean. So there company. were. So yeah. the people who hadn't yet were you, Watt, and X. Mm -hmm. Now now you're. Yeah, now I mean, it's just one and X. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I was, that's what I was like. You were playing. I was like, Shy was playing to prove like, hey, it doesn't matter. I've played. I've placed lower since winning. I can go win ever. But mm -hmm. whereas you're playing into a really good company. I'm yeah. Like, Great. I was. I was trying. The uh, <laughs> <laughs> the dude, the boss game. I'm gonna go home and like cry because of how much literal stress I'm. I was gonna say. Up. I, I I was I was telling Parker. I was like, okay, before I was hyping up. This is gonna be so exciting. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this isn't exciting. This is just really tense. I'm just stressed yeah, out. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I'm just stressed out. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what's uh, up? Oh, I did give it all. <laughs> you gave, you gave it all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is what I was thinking, because you said you're playing it like any other set. I thought you were talking about the reset, because after the reset, I'm like, you have to just wipe your mental sleep. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I imagine you were just playing a completely new game. Yeah. So I was like, if you go in with that stress, it's all over. Yeah. But I was saying, we also we also saw you play from a deficit before when Scott almost oh, reversed yeah. the Rio to you. And I, I mean... It, legend has it I play better from a deficit. I did say that like three times. Yeah. The uh, was I losing going into that last game or into that last stock? I don't. I think I was. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. That tracks. I remember the, the, the thing was mostly like okay, you you love you. So I got the reset. So mm -hmm. you're down and you're down in that sense. But you're not yeah. technically down because you have a. So you still have the cushion. It's technically not down, but you are. Yeah. You are mental. You feel down. Yeah, that's what I was It was mostly the mental game. And I was like saying, I was like, you play what you play well under stress. It's mm -hmm. like it's like you and Bright are the players where I'm like, you're probably you're probably doing better right now because you're yeah. sad and upset. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, just, I actually really wasn't sad because I no, went yeah. into it. I was like, all right, I just got two more sets. You that, know? That's a, like, yeah. That's I, that's I went into you had so much of a cushion. Yeah. That, that's how I was thinking of it. I wasn't sad because I lost. It's 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 kind of like losing in winners right because yeah. you're like you lost but it's like it's about losing it, it's, you like know? You, it's, yeah. it's quite literally losing in winners and then immediately playing the person oh yeah i guess it there. actually is that yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah it is exactly yeah that. uh no that's a good analogy because i mean that's true, what it is what it yeah. is it, it's not even an analogy yeah um they're pathetic. they're fun, fun, fun yeah, yeah, so yeah i'm not gonna like rush you um thinking of other questions i had Oh yeah, it's just what I was saying. Where it's like you gotta just wipe your mental. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, what do you think about how should I play? Okay. I think that I think the, that's the main goes... the main question was in my mind is like, what did she do well? What do you think she could have done better? Yeah. I was so, like about that. Um, for me, I think we did very similar things where there were things we were doing very optimally and things we were doing very not optimally. Yeah. Like he was SDIing like crazy. Do you see every no, single time? No, that's what I'm saying. She got out like every single time. She? Yeah. Okay. She got like a, out like almost every single time. It was just like the Zach. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I like kept emphasizing, okay, like what wasn't really SDIing that much. Uh, Zach is SDI in a he lot. He is, but and, not as much. And, and then Shy was like almost every time. Yeah, it no. was every. I think it was legitimately like about ninety percent of the time you mm -hmm. did power. You did um power jab. Yeah. The other ones was a. It was a little shakier, but still. Like, yeah. The power knuckle was the other one. Was like she almost o always got out of it. Yeah, it was. It was rough. Um, because like that's obviously my main source of damage. So, yeah. I think she did that insanely well. Um, things that she didn't do super well, like. I feel like the shield pressure wasn't as crazy as it probably should have been. Yeah. Um, because yours like, got insane towards the end there, by <laughs> yeah, the way. No, wow. um, yeah, no. Yeah, I, I want to look crazy. The, uh, it like the the one two of like neutral air. Yeah. If you space it right, I can't do anything about yeah, it. But that, it, yeah. But she kept on doing it like directly on yeah, top of it. Yeah. If you if you if you nair and fade away while like mm -hmm. landing. Yeah. It, you you literally cannot reach it's, into it. Yeah. Exactly. It is actually unpunishable. So I think that that's definitely something that I was taking advantage of. 
uh, for me, I feel like I was, like, how do I say this? I feel like my neutral was really bad. <laughs> like, I rolled in that, so many that, times. That, that, I, I said that. I was like, he's rolling so much. Oh, yeah, I was what aware. What are you doing? Oh, I, I was aware of it, but yeah. I was like, I don't really know what else to do. Yeah, uh, um, well, it, the thing is, it's like, you didn't stop doing it. It just started working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I was like, <laughs> spam this ice because he's nice. Galaxia. This uh, ice because <laughs> he's nice. Yeah, so but, true, Galaxia. Thank you. Um, um, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, Riley wasn't here either. So many people were coming. Yeah, like, I know. I wish Geegan could have been here, but I would have lost. You would have lost. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. I'm actually kind of glad he wasn't. Um... <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, I wasn't here for his tournament win either, so we're even. Uh, exactly, that's yeah. true. Yeah, you're like, I had that one. Next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next time, we're squared. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, back to the question. Uh, yeah. What I mean, so I wasn't I wasn't playing very good neutral, um, but I feel like my advantage state was good. Um, yeah. or it, wasn't, it wasn't like as good as it could have been, but I think it was good. Well, it, w it wasn't bad in any way. It's mostly that she was pretty concerned about finding ways out of it, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, one of the main things, um, that you kept getting around it was bad about her disadvantage, which, um, just, like, the counter abuse, which got better as the set progressed. Yeah, well, as I at, punished him for it. I was gonna say, because at, at first, she would almost always dro dro drop off of the ledge, try to counter you to stop you from rising mm -hmm. tackling, but she almost always got around it, because Terry's vertical recovery is that good. I don't think I ever got hit by it in that specific situation where in I was that going upwards. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. She, that's what I was saying. It did not work a single time. Mm. Uh, it worked later in other scenarios like, um, yeah, it's like called I'm Power Knuckle, right? Uh, burn, burn Knuckle. Burn Knuckle. I was just going to say it's Yeah, that's side B. I was just going to say, I was like, it's either Power Knuckle or Burn Knuckle and I'm not sure which. Uh, um, yeah, it was, a, that's the one that she was able to counter when you were recovering with it. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah. it, and then again, like I said, it improved later on where it became more of a call out than a, like, or yeah. rather more of a punish than a call out, which is, yeah, uh, I mean, I think that, like, <laughs> as, as weird as it is to say, I think I maybe should, like, the the down air, so the down air on the counter, when we countered and then I went all the way down with the down air, that yeah. is, that's a really interesting interaction to me because, like, it's really good, yeah. uh, it gets the kill, it gets the first game win for yeah. me, Yeah. but also it's like, when you punish someone with, like, jab, one, two, three, yeah. it's like, okay, whatever, but when you get down aired off stage to like to win the first game it's like okay i can't do that anymore you know what i mean yeah like uh, th that's what we were saying that it's like shy had sd'd in that mm -hmm. game as well which was also probably a significant reason why she lost yes. um which is unfortunate that's unfortunate sometimes it's just out of your control <laughs> sorry yeah, so uh no yeah um <laughs> oh uh anyways uh so i was saying like if you lose on an sd it sucks it really does um if you lose off of like a spike going that deep out of getting conditioned into going that low because that's what yeah. we were saying is that like Normally, and in other scenarios, she countered to try and stop you from down airing. But in that specific scenario, she had just used counter to get you off of her. Yeah. So by going that low, you you can mentally know you're like that counter is not coming out again. Yeah. The um, yeah, that's what I was saying is like because sometimes when you punish something really hard, it's like. It just it's walls off that like you can't do this anymore, right? Yeah. Whereas if you punish it with like some something not as damaging, it's kind of like yeah. it's not as big as a red flag for them, yeah. you know. So I mean I don't know. It's good though because I think that that downer was more or less a turning point. It was definitely it, it, it was it, a turning it, it point. It definitely was. It, um, it, it even was, even though she almost brought Grands back. Yeah. Um, because she was she was then up the game when when you were going to that. Well, last that game, was that was game, that last game three on the first set. Because no, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, so wait, no. The I thought the downer was um game one, the second set. Game one, the second set. Yeah, I thought it was. Uh, was uh maybe I don't know. And uh, you might be no, because right. I thought it was on Kawas, but maybe not. I'm not. I, I don't remember. Either way, uh, either way, the point the point was mostly that like it was a turning um, point. Is that she she was kind of gaining starting to gain momentum, and that mm -hmm. was kind of a way to bury it back oh, down yeah. and put it in your favor. That's what I was gonna say about the downer. It's like it's like it's not super optimal but like it gets a kill and it's like a hard cutoff for the momentum so and like i said even though it's like in any other scenario that's probably not the option you choose because it's not like optimal in that scenario since you can determine she's going this low mm -hmm. not going to counter me um she's not going to air dodge if you if she does she'll just get punished harder um it just works yeah no, it's, it's like, it's that is good. the scenario where it works yeah i mean other than that i think we both played Relatively well. I think you both played really well. Yeah, give that, it. That's what I meant to say. I was like, I was like, it wasn't that your advantage state was bad; it's that her disadvantage was pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah. I I think that there was a high amount of stress. Um, 
I kept on, I'm not, I wasn't trying to piss her off, but when I did the little dash dance um, in like center stage after getting the kill, I wasn't trying to piss her off, but I knew that that was happening, so I kept on doing it. <laughs> that, 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 that's like such an important thing, is being able to recognize your opponent's mental state, oh, and then yeah. just exploiting it over and over. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean, yeah. I'm just trying to win. <laughs> That, that's yeah. that's why I said about like for example like with the Zek where it's like you might not like that he camped Ethan out for forty five minutes, mm -hmm. but he won. Yeah, he did. Win. I mean, so it's if like it works, it works. I was like, if he was able to recognize that not only is this working, but like Ethan's not like countering it, and then it's also like if this happens to you, you just get tired of it, and no one can blame you for getting tired of it. Yeah, no. So it's like, and he's able to recognize that, and then just do it more, which yeah. is kind of what you're doing, which is like. I'm going to continue doing something yeah. that doesn't really net me any loss because mm -hmm. you're, you're just basically taunting. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, 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 a little bit. Yeah, I was like, so the main, so actually, to the the main reason I was doing it was I was like, I cannot have my mental break right now. Yeah. So I was trying to keep it loose, right? Yeah. So that's that was the main purpose of it. I was trying to like just not that was like be. I was trying to like okay, like specifically tell myself we are not getting tilted right now. We yeah. are not <laughs> mad. We are going to win. We have two sets. Don't yeah. worry. So yeah. that that was like the visual indicator of that. It, but I also knew that it was gonna piss her off. So I'm like, mm, I mean, you know. Another another funny thing was like, like when she was on Halo, there was one time. I think it was when you're playing on small. Mm -hmm. uh, but you like, while she was Halo coming down, you like jumped onto the platform on the left so that here and then you jump dropped down which means you just gave all of the stage away yeah and i'm like no but then you like completely won the interaction when she came to challenge you for it yeah so it's like who cares i guess i guess <laughs> yeah it's it's one of those things where you could have been more optimal but it worked <laughs> yeah so. i literally said i was like oh no yeah. he's now no longer in control mm -hmm. and then you just won the interaction more so i was like oh okay yeah um do you have anything else significant to say about anyone else you played tonight like what Ooh, let's see why that set was fun uh that, because that, i almost I, lost <laughs> I, i'm starting to notice a pattern with sets oh, you win yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i almost uh, lose and then i win surprise and, everyone <laughs> it's like your trademark uh um, yeah, i'm win trading bro no uh way. yeah i was gonna say that was like Probably one of my favorite sets to commentate all year was mm -hmm. that set, and then also yeah. this set because again everyone was so invested. Oh yeah, uh, I noticed <laughs> out of the corner of my eye. I think it was Eric was over there um, playing a melee set, and he looked back and he's like, "Oh, it's a hundred to zero. Like, and okay, he turns back, and then everyone starts screaming, and he turns over again and starts watching. I noticed that out of the corner of my eye. Uh -huh. I was like, "All right, <laughs> I, I, know, I got it. Eric's <laughs> watching. I got one." Uh, t Tom kept popping off as well. He was like, "Yes!" I could. So could my he my headphones are really good, uh -huh. but when the song is ending, there's nothing playing. Uh. So it's like the song is ending. It's going on repeat. Let's go! Tom is like yelling. I it, thought you were just yeah. gonna say my headphones are really good, but Tom is really. Oh, loud. that is also true. Tom is extremely. I was loud. like, if you've got like Tom and Josiah both mm -hmm. cheering for you, it's impossible to not hear them every Yeah, and Dan then. as well. Dan, yeah, yeah. Captain Crunch, absolutely. Dan, Dan didn't even take his shirt off for you. I mean, I'm not Tanner. True. Well, he didn't. He didn't do that when Tanner won. He did that when uh, Ethan won. Well, that's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you about that one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, other than that, I, I just, think let's see. Uh, the Zek was definitely the Zek has been one. a roadblock for me as of recent, and by as of recent, I mean I've never beat him. <laughs> um, did you say you studied it? Oh, I was, oh, I did. Yes, that was Dom who told me that. But you I mean, too. I did do that. Yeah, but you did do that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, me and Shane spent uh, Bethel 3D spent a lot of time reviewing that specifically because it's kind of a microcosm of like the bigger why am I losing every game? Yeah, <laughs> um, but. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, the Zek played really well, but I think that, like, the VOD review was really what helped me win that one. Um, yeah. and then, who else did I play today? I played, uh, Ags. Ags played well, but I think he definitely played- You guys played, played on stream I, as well, right? No, you didn't. Yeah, we I did. Think, did. Yeah, you? we did. You did, yeah. yeah. Uh, he, he wasn't playing at his top in an IMO, so. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Right. Um, I mean, I'm, well, I'm glad, because I won. Yeah. <laughs> No uh, like I said, there was great play by everyone tonight. So yeah, absolutely. Especially, it's a good tournament. especially from you, because you won. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you have any final thoughts, though? Final thoughts? Uh, let's see. Thank you, for tournament organizers and commentators. Uh, GCU, if you're watching, come to FFF. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, nothing else. All right. Uh, again, congrats again. Yeah, thank you. And yeah, of course. Congrats, uh, and then thanks for coming and watching, everyone. We got a shout out to our wonderful sponsors, Raising Canes and Rockstar. Um, and thank you to everyone who came tonight, everyone who watched tonight. It was one of the best ever. What's up?
Oh, yeah. And just reminding you guys, there is not going to be an FFF on the 11th, but there is still going to be, but we're going to be back on the 18th. All just right. for a reminder. Thanks again, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye.